How are y'all? Good. Boys. What's a happening? Back. Back to work to rest. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. was Project City at the house, and uh, it was uh, a fun time, though. So welcome back in. Hope all of you had uh, some good time off. I know we texted a little bit, but really, everybody was off on their own. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, it was a good good little break. Good little break. Good, uh, good, heavy weekend of doing nothing for me. That's good. But watching a lot of sports. Oh, okay. I watched the Braves take two or three from the Phillies. Yeah. Um, March Madness. Gosh, watched a lot of basketball. A lot I, of basketball. I actually watched a, almost the second half of Alabama. Yeah. Okay. That's, I mean, that, but for me, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a good game. Congratulations yeah, to the Crimson yeah. Tide, by the way. They. Uh, has uh, made it further than they ever have in the uh, the men's NCAA bracket. If you're looking at that, you got uh, UConn and Alabama well, and that's NC the bad State. News. They got to play UConn and Purdue. They're your Final Four, uh, and um, uh, it was um, wow uh, some blowouts here. So UConn and and Illinois played. Uh, they absolutely destroyed them, uh, and then Alabama beat Clemson 89-82. Uh, NC State, uh, surprise here, 76 64 over Duke. And then, uh, that ten- did surprise me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then Tennessee and Purdue, uh, close one, but Purdue hangs on to beat them 72 66. And you were educating me a little bit on Purdue, Helmsy, because I haven't seen them play. I didn't get to see any of this. Um, uh, but do you say they got a, a guy, seven a game foot changer? four, Zach Eady. Woo. And he is, uh, a giant amongst giants. <laughs> And he, uh, it, the, their deal is that you just get the ball to him. He's yeah, going to get really? 40 a game. You just get it down there to him and hope that your supporting cast picks up a few buckets along the way yeah. as well. Right. And uh, get get a couple, he'll get some offensive rebounds. You know, when, I mean, it's just a, yeah. that's their game. And UConn has been dominant from the jump. A lot of people don't think that they can, that they can, listen, they're destroying people. And, um, from the from the jump, everybody said if anybody has a chance of beating them, I and listen, it's March Madness. Anything can happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but they said Purdue is the team that may have a shot at beating them. Okay. Now that's what the experts say. So no, nothing against Alabama. Alabama can you know can beat them. Mm-hmm. Anything can happen oh, yeah. in March. Right. Okay. Of course, we're in April, but um, which so, is weird. So. But that being said, it was some good good basketball uh, throughout the NC State's fun to watch. I. I I knew they could beat Duke. Mm-hmm. I just didn't know they'd beat them like they did. Right. Like it was a – I mean, it just felt like they were in control um, most of the second half. And they got a fun guy to watch too. He's a big guy. He's mm-hmm. he's um, he's not like the guy for Purdue. He's, he's, a, he's big, almost fat, like big, big fat. Huh. But he's so jovial Joey. and fun. Anytime he scores, he's just so big <laughs> smiles. He's just a lot of fun to watch, and you could tell Tons he's a of fun, life of the say. party. Yeah, um, lefty, which makes that even a little better for some reason. I don't know. Mm. Well, um, well, now they uh, the Final Four travel to uh, Glendale, Arizona, to yeah. State Farm Stadium, and it looks like Saturday, NC State Purdue play first around dinner time on TBS, and then Alabama and UConn play. Uh, a little bit later, around eight o'clock on TBS. You know, Alabama's been doing this without one of their best players. Yeah, and and he's supposed to be back. He right? is, and yeah. so that you know that should make a difference as well. I did so. hear, I did hear that. I, I missed a lot of that. Just, it just uh, life. You know, I still got one playing and, and active, and and then you got everything else. Uh, it just, I, I I just I missed them. Uh, but I I got a a couple of uh, roll tide texts from some friend of mine. Some friends of mine, so I knew okay something's up, uh, and so yeah. then I checked the box score, and then there it was: Alabama beat uh, North Carolina, and then another friend of mine uh, that made more sense too because he texted me, and we were going back and forth. He said, "All right, man, I got to go pull my Tar Heels through, whatever." And I'm like, "Hmm, must be a good game." And sure enough, I yeah. understand why. So there's yeah. your Final Four if you're interested in the NCAA men's basketball uh, deal. Now I understand the women. Is it a rematch? LSU and Iowa play. Uh, I think uh, no, the they're women. still in the final. You got South Carolina, you got UConn, Iowa, and then who was the team? LSU. Had, That's uh, what I'm saying. LSU, LSU and Iowa play, which I think in that rematch of last year. Yeah, but it's National not in Champions. the. They're not in the final. No, no, you still. got South Carolina still in it. They're yeah. undefeated, but I think the rematch from last year's and national championship game, I think, is uh, is up next for and, them. And isn't the LSU coach? Ain't she like a 
the Malky. Big, big personality that mm-hmm. I saw something. So yeah, she's you got her and she's you got, in the news about every and week. You got the girl yeah. that shoots a good for Iowa. So that'll probably yeah. be a lot Reese, most maybe. viewed and women's game. A lot of probably. people don't a lot of people don't talk about her, but really the best basketball player, it doesn't come from either one of those teams. It comes from UConn. Paige Beckers is the best basketball hmm. player. Caitlin Clark gets all the credit and glory because she went through the points deal, but the girl for UConn is fun to watch. By the way, they had some controversy this weekend. One of the three point lines was off. Did yeah, y'all see yeah. that? In Portland, I heard they agreed yeah. to they play. Agreed to, they play, agreed it. to play it. But yeah. it looked, I mean, when you saw the wide angle shot, it was, yeah. Yeah. It was sign- I mean, it was different yeah. on each end of the floor. I heard that on the way in this. Morning. I did see notification <laughs> I, on my phone. I, I didn't click on it, but it just notified. They agreed to play, even though, the, yeah. and I'm like, what? The measurement how, was how off. Did that, how did that happen? How do you mess yeah, that up? The, how do you get that game? I don't know. You're, I don't know. I mean, that's crazy. That's a, big, was that's, a that. that's a big miss. That's a big miss. Yeah, in charge of that. So, uh, yeah, it is uh, April Fool's, hey, by the big way. Game, so, guys. Might yeah. want to get this one right. Right. Yeah, be ready for that. But tonight, I'm sitting here looking at it. It is LSU and Iowa. They play yeah. at 6, and it's then hilarious. UConn and USC play at 8. You got I think those times are Eastern. Angel, Central, then. Angel Central. Reese and uh, Caitlin Clark, and then Paige Beckers for UConn. And USC has the shooter, basketball. too. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. You must have watched a lot of basketball. I mean, you raffling off names on the women's team. Oh, yeah, I did. And I took in a Jacksonville State baseball game Friday night. Okay. How'd so they do? Got to see Mac Daddy. Uh, Friday night they lost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who were they playing? Western they? Kentucky. Western Kentucky, okay. Yeah. Yep. There you go. So, All right. So that big, network. heavy sports for yeah. me. <laughs> and watch the Miami Open finish up in okay. tennis. Ten, yeah. you watched a lot of sports. Wow. I've it. got to ask you all a question. Is, is it just me because uh, – it, does the wind blow more now than it ever has in, in your entire life? I feel like every I time I'm that. outside, I'm in 10-mile-per-hour wind. <laughs> this time of year, it's it's always, it always does this. Well, I mean, I've lived this time <laughs> you know, of year a lot. But I don't know if it's just we're more, you know, it's, it's I don't know. But I, I was in the wind every afternoon, and it, it, it was for some reason, and I don't know why, but at UAH, there, it, it's a jet stream. Every baseball game. It is slapping you in the face at least fifteen miles an hour. So that's it's like, could, is there it's, anywhere we could go and it just like be calm? It's maybe, funny you say this back off because this. Say. It, well, it's funny you bring this up because the gentleman that he worked so hard around this area, yes. and getting our you know the grounds. Nice. Oh, he was oh, here yeah. before me. This yeah, oh, yeah, well, he's yeah. still out there. And <laughs> the first thing he said to me, I said, "Hey, what are you doing?" He said, "I'm trying to beat this wind." It's and he's awful. Pine straw. He said, out. "Me and, and Speedy were talking about it." <laughs> hey, no, but Terry and I started laughing about it, and we're like, "Have we been to a ball game?" This entire year, without the wind, at yeah. least at ten miles an hour. I mean, below ten miles an hour. And and the answer was no. Yeah, it's, it's at least finally, if the wind's blowing north at home games, there it is slapping you in the face coming from left field. If it's it was at least a southwest wind, so it was hitting us in the back. But I'm telling you, y'all, we leave the house and we're like, all right, so it's um, I'm just gonna make a degree here. It's fifty five. All right, yeah, but okay, but it's, ooh, 15. All right, so we're going to have to subtract. It's going to be in the 40s. You know, every single game so do you think we is need to, slapping us Do you think face. we need to have Span on and talk about how the wind's I want to know. If, huh? I want to know. About the phenomenon <laughs> called March. I, I want to know if the wind's blowing more now or is it just me? I, 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 I'm I just telling you, I've never, I've, I've never, it's either this, okay? It's either because this is JC's first year at UAH, it's just my first time there. Or it's blowing more. I've I've never. Speedy, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you. There's gonna be some hurricanes. This year. Uh, I'm just telling y'all. Uh, it, it, you know, we've just started noticing. Is it ever below ten miles an hour? Ever? <laughs> ever? I think it has. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, not for not for this year for home games. There, it hasn't. So that that started the conversation, which well, we were. Well, like we, everything else. We all the started, winds are getting worse. Just like everything. Yeah. Else. We uh. Yeah. Really. You know. Uh, we all started laughing as parents. We're kind of joking about it, but it, about it, 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 is, it is kind of funny, though. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, try putting a tent up. Oh, even uh, better. Hey, it was blowing so hard the other day. If you got up out of your chair, it blew it over. Oh, yeah. yeah. I heard yesterday yeah. in 2025, <laughs> it's not going to be near as bad. I hope not. Because right cool. now, it's awful. <laughs> We all started laughing. I think it's global warming. I think it's I think it's the uh, Biden administration. They yeah, got the wind blowing. Blowing on. a lot of hot air. Yeah. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Well, welcome to Camp House, Gary Bynes, Spurmaster himself. 
what an honor it is today. I'm Rick Burgess uh, from the Rick and Bubba Show, and uh, uh, believe it or not, I have never been on a morning turkey hunt in my entire life. Uh, Gary took me one time in the afternoons, and Gary said, hey, I ain't really hunting them, I just bushwhacking them. And uh, so, and we didn't see anything that day, and I don't know why we didn't see anything. Well, I do. Uh, you know, you gotta be still. Right. You can't lay on your back with your gun sticking up in the air. And, you know, just like I said, I may have to get on to you this morning a little bit because, you know, if you're gonna do it, we gotta do it uh, right. After I went hunting with him one time, and, and I, I've lost a little weight. The time I weighed about 285, 290 pounds, and Gary said, hey, I just like sitting out there with a 285-pound eight-year-old. So I'm gonna try to do better. I'm usually, I'm kind of just a pure deer hunter. I know that turkey hunting is, is, is it'll, it'll get me. I got all that. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just depending on Gary, because he's the legend, has the state record, as we all know, and gonna get to go out and do a little turkey hunt. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Uh, you're not going to wear just wear your socks if you got boots to go? Do I need boots? <laughs> Thanks to the increasingly volatile price of fossil fuels like natural gas, fuel oil, and propane, homeowners around the country are switching to a water furnace geothermal heat pump. Water furnace units use the free renewable energy in your backyard to save up to 70% on heating, cooling, and hot water. And right now, save even more with a 30% renewable energy tax credit. To see how much you'd save by switching to geothermal, visit waterfurnace.com slash switch to try our free savings calculator right now. Well, the first setup didn't pan out for us, so we burned some boot leather looking for another long beard. The strong winds made it tough to hear any gobbles. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't stop. All right, we're leaning in on 22 minutes past the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Rick and Bubba Show. Uh, it is the kickoff hour. We are here, and the full staff is here, too. Everybody is in the building, ready to go. Rick and Bubba on deck, getting uh, fired up, ready to go for the day. And then we've got uh, Adler. He's here uh, already, and he's got YouTube handled. Uh, the Good Time Gang settling in. We've kind of recapped a little bit. 
Uh, and we thank all of you for being with us. 866-WE-BE-BIG. Could be unscreened phone calls uh, if you decide to chime in. You know, whenever um, whenever you uh, get a call, if you have kids that are grown with cell phones and cars and, and a life, but yet they're not quite old enough to be totally on their own, if you ever get a call from them, you know immediately if something's wrong because you can just tell by their voice. Like, hey, Dad. Yeah. I'm like, all right, what is it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean, yeah. we've all had that. I know, especially you, Greg. Yours are now grown out sure. in your own. Uh, Helmsy, I know you experience it now. Uh, and it's just it's just one of those feelings that's it's like, and it's weird times too. Like, oh, why are they calling? You know, Friday night, six o'clock. Yeah. Oh, this isn't good. That ain't normal. You know. Uh, well, honey, our our day's about to change as you sit on the couch and you got it like you like it. Mm-hmm. Honey, hey baby, what you want to watch? You want you know? Hey, let's pick up that episode. Oh, hang on, Reese is calling. Uh oh, this isn't good. Hello, hey dad. Yeah. Hey man, what's wrong? Well, and and I don't know about if y'all are like me. Don't tell me the story. Tell me what's wrong. And then we can go back and talk about the story. Well, Dad, I was... Stop real quick. Tell me what's wrong. Are you okay? What's the problem? Just tell me that first. And then we can go back and talk about how it happened. Work on details. Well, you know, go back to the Friday that was the last day here before the guys took their spring break vacation. It was that evening. And we we got it like we like it. We're looking, you know, dead ahead towards the weekend. Uh, we're going to go go get out in the wind at UAH because it's blowing harder there than ever before. Yeah, they this say. year it's a new um, record. Some meteorologists from up in Huntsville said you are right. Yeah. It's record wind. They can't even do space work there. No, so much. no, it's, it's it's awful. It's got the rocket leaning. If it you does. on five sixty five, you look over, it's leaning just a little. They had to go get the guy wired. Yeah. Back it up a um. And so uh. So anyway, uh, it, there was a terrible rainstorm that came through uh the southeast and and a lot of the state, and um. Reese was coming home uh, in the middle of that. And if you've ever driven a truck, uh, sometimes the, the back wheels can lose a little bit of, of traction at different times just because of the weight of the vehicle. I know yeah. all car, cars yeah. can, but a lot of times the truck, <clears throat> those back tires will spin a little bit. Yeah, mine does it again. Yeah, and, um, and so he was making a turn, and they did just that. They, they spun a little bit, which kind of locked up his traction control and and he just bumped a curb i mean just skimmed up against it yeah uh on his front right tire and um and and i'm like okay is everything all right he goes well my car's my truck's acting weird it's it's like feeling the front it's like vi- the it's like vibrating and um and i just kind of wanted to let you know you know he uh while we were gone he turned 20 uh on the 25th mm. uh he so um at the time, he was uh, still 19. I got to yeah. go back and look at all this here and get my days right. But so, I mean, you know, he's, uh, yeah, it was on the 22nd as this happened. And so he turned t- uh, 20 on the 25th. But um, I'm like, well, happy birthday weekend to you, my friend. Uh, he goes, yeah, I'm having to turn the steering wheel to the left about one click. Mm. So if 12's up, you know, I'm at 11. Mm, and I'm like going a crab. Yeah, I'm going down, or I'm going straight, and it seems to be driving fine, but. I've got the will at 11 to do it. And that's and not normal. I'm like, well, let me just tell you, that's I not good. i got to tell you, your tire's not going to wear well. <laughs> no, with that. no, that's not good. Well, we were already coming up because uh, UAH was hosting, and uh, we were getting all our stuff together to get out in the wind. We got our wind jackets and all that. And uh, and our sandbags that we travel with is to hold everything down. But, um, no, I'm kidding. So I was like, well, we, look, we're already coming up. Um why don't uh, why don't we f- try to figure out what to do and maybe try to get it to a, to a dealership tomorrow morning? But I mean, you're looking at a kid that you know is an electrician apprentice, and so he's got to be in the gate where he works at 5:45, or they they close it up. You can't get in. Mm. So you know you're looking at the next morning, yeah, and you almost have to have right. a plan. How's he getting there? I, I mean, if we if we got a truck, you know, so we're trying to figure all that out. And uh, we get to uh, Ernest McClarty uh, dealership on University Drive. There's a Chevy dealership there. Shout out to Steven and the crew. And I pull up, and we don't know what's going to happen. We, we're just like, hey, I think it just knocked it out of a line. We, and, they, oh, they get on the alignment sh- machine. That's cheap, isn't it? Yeah, and they oh, like, oh, like, oh yeah, it's on. It, it's out of alignment. It's out of alignment. He wow, to, it's out of alignment. Yeah, <laughs> Reese had to call out. Uh, you know, I used to say calling in, to, but now they say calling out. Well, that's a whole different discussion. 
You remember we did that whole. I remember oh, us doing that. It made no sense. It to made me. no sense. Calling yeah. in. I know. I know you're yeah. calling in, but but they call it calling out. Yeah, but uh, but there was no way for him to get to work anyway. He had to take a day, so you're losing money there. So they they say, oh yeah, it's out of a, it's out of alignment. He's like, well, Dad, I need an oil change and tire rotation anyway. Oh. Let me just get that too. Stack it, money. Yeah, and, uh, uh, and I'm like, it. okay, that crack that's, that's good. And so uh, <laughs> on Saturday mornings, you know, so most true. of them, you know, you'll look like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> um, on Saturday mornings, most dealerships only do oil change and tire rotations. They don't have a full cr- yeah. full crew there. So they're like, well, we're very limited staff, but we will do the alignment and, and get it going. So we're we're like, okay, well, let's go get some breakfast. So it's me and it's it's uh, Reese and it's Terry. We go grab some breakfast, and then the phone call comes, and I see, oh no, it's Ernest McClarty. Oh, hello, hey, Mr. Wilburn, how you doing? Good. This isn't a good call, is it? Well, no, no. It, uh, well, normally, the, unless you're telling me to come get it and you're finished yeah. with it. Yeah. Well, you know, we had it up to do the alignment, and uh, we realized that um, it looks like an alignment pin has broke off, and and so we, we need to look at the lower control arm, and he starts just, at this, point, know I've, any of it at this point, I've stopped listening because I don't know what he's saying. Yeah. And he goes, but the problem is it's got to go over to another shop, and they're not open today. And so we're not going to be able to get it to it to the first of the week. And, and I'm like, okay. And, and, and race is like, man, I got all my tools in there. I got to go get everything out. Mm-hmm. So imagine that day oh, yeah. and you're trying to get to it, the windy game that we got. Uh, and it's just a mess. And so finally uh, we realize, okay, buddy, you're going to be without a car for about a week. And mm-hmm. we start thinking about, all right, what are we going to do? And Terry's like, well, I got my car, and I could borrow my mom's. It's been a mess over the – but they have been wonderful. Ernest McClarty, they got it back within a few days, and it was a uh, few uh, control uh, – the, the lower control arm had to be replaced, and uh, alignment pin broke off. But now it, it's How back. How many days? Uh, it was uh, – they had it ready by Wednesday. Uh, and, um, and, it, and, and it looks nice. Uh, got it back Friday, though, just because of the way – we were. We couldn't yeah. get it back in time, but they did an excellent job. But how about that week right there when, when we're Terry's driving her mom's car? That's when they lost car swapping. It's, it's been a mess. But you, it's that voice that your kids say, hey, Dad. <laughs> Looking for another long beard. The strong winds made it tough to hear any gobbles, but we finally found some turkeys out in the pasture. We found a good hiding spot. Gary got busy with his Spurmaster turkey call, and things started looking promising. Stay on.
cheap job. There you go. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Watch him. They're going to fight him. Uh -huh. Get that on the I'm trying. How about a two bird day? Did you get him? I got him. Yeah, he's down. Look at him go. Son of a bitch. How about a two bird day? All right, is there another here I need to pop out? Or just put safety on? Just safety on. You believe that? <laughs> Way to Burgess. go, guys. Rick Burgess. <laughs> Doubled up <laughs> with the birds. I tell you what, that was, uh, that's teamwork right there. It's good stuff, isn't it? Ben keeping us updated on where the turkeys were. Gary, the, the spur master, has struck again. We went from we couldn't find a turkey to we had four gobblers on us. Wow. It's, I, I didn't know I'd, when y'all said, when I said, who, hey, which one you want me to shoot? And y'all said, whichever, pick one. <laughs> well, dude, and Gary was getting over about my point, and I think my point. I'm a. Hey. Pass the gravy, please. All right, we're back 25 minutes until top of the hour. So, uh, again, a shout out to uh, the folks at Landers McClarty Chevrolet there in Huntsville. Thank you so much for uh, for helping us out with uh, our handle. Um, you, you know, as a parent, and you know, look, there's bigger problems. Uh, Nobody was hurt, nobody was injured, but it's still a handle. Uh, and thanks the, to sure. the folks at Landers McClarty. I think I said Ernest one time. It's Landers McClarty. You did, but I, I didn't know any. I thought I thought you were trying to say Ernest McCarthy. No, it's and, McClarty. And I it, thought it was McCarty. It's, it's, I got the McClarty right. He was I just saying Ernest, though. It's, it's, Ernest it's, McClarty. It's, it's Landers. Landers. Landers McClarty. He had mixed Wasn't there two. used to be an Ernest McCarty? There was uh, an Ernest I, 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 McCarthy. I think that's where my oh, mind went. See, that's where I was thinking. It's, yeah. it's Landers. This is uh, oh, okay. me This is me okay. here with the staff that, that jumped in and, and really helped, uh, and there's yeah. the crew there. The guy on the far right is Steven. He's the one. He used to play a little ball. I think Look, he, UNA, he said. And you're standing a little taller because your your wallet's a little lighter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, uh, it sure was. I, I let me just Ouch. say this: I had to have my wallet that day. I yeah. couldn't leave it in the truck. No, you didn't. Uh, but they they stepped up and got us turned around. Oh, as quickly. And and uh, it's good to meet folks that care about what they do. Yeah, so, even uh, if you get the name you. wrong, it don't, yeah. don't mean you don't but appreciate it. You know what? It doesn't mean you don't appreciate it. Whenever you said. <laughs> the wind was blowing so much, he forgot. <laughs> whenever you said there was another Ernest, I think that's where my mind went, Greg, because there was. Oh, there was. I yeah, thought. there was. And uh, I had just met I the folks. That's I, where you were. I, I did too. I, I know a lot of a lot of you have had, because I think they have a number of different yeah. uh, dealerships. They do. I had yeah. never I had never met them, so it's new to me. Yeah. But um, anyway, thank y'all, uh, folks at Landers McClark. There you go. On there you university go. there. You know, that little area is blowing up. They got uh, a uh, top golf. They've got all oh, kinds of great top all golf. that right there in that little area. It's a it's a booming area. But anyway, thank y'all. We've been to Huntsville a lot. Went three times. Three times during the vacation. Three times. Took my dad to the odd appointment one time. Uh that mm. was that was awesome. Uh the the miscommunication there, but we dad and I worked through it. Uh, then went back for another midweek, and then the, the weekend, and all that kind of stuff. There but this and that. Um, oh. I bumped into uh, one of the parents at the game this past weekend. I couldn't hardly understand him because the wind was blowing so hard, and I was like, "You have to speak up." And he's like, 
man, the pollen's coming. And I'm like, the pollen, did, what'd you say? I can't tell, the pollen's got me. I didn't know, but apparently if you have bad allergies, you'll you have well, laryngitis or something. Yeah. I don't know, but he couldn't talk. Well, and you're I, telling me Lisa had the same problem? I had problem? a quiet weekend. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, things were really quiet around the is, house. Is it like, the, what, what is this? It's got to be the allergies because no, he said it was the pollen. She started The out, pollen's got me. She was in his sinus and all this, and then it moved down to you. Now I'm harking. Mm-hmm. Well, all of a sudden, two days ago, she and this is the, I ain't talking about horse voice. It's, hey. She has to whisper. Oh. Whisper voice. Whisper. Okay, so we're going through that. Just me and you know, she tried to Did you tell find stuff. yourself whispering back? Yeah. Well, at first, for two You know days, how you'll do yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I can't hear. Listen, for the first 24 hours, I thought she was trying to tell me a secret. <laughs> what, so, if you, what if you leaned in? She said, I see dead people. I mean, that's how she sounded. Right. And, Did you feed the dog? Yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> and then. Uh, and and look, she was Why in the back of the house. Such a jerk? She was in the back of the house. Had to call me on the phone because she, she couldn't holler from where she was. <laughs> so, anyway, so the grandkids come over yesterday, and they they don't know what's wrong with Lily. <laughs> they can't believe it. What's wrong with Lily? I watched her little face. It, Pace actually They're was doing telling the same thing. Pace was telling everybody they needed to whisper. He was going, "We gotta whisper." I said, "No, we don't have to whisper. It's just Lily. She's whispering." Why can we not hear Lily? And then <laughs> then Ellis, we hear him off to the side. He goes, "Pace, why is Lily?" <laughs> <laughs> they can't figure it out. But Pace honestly thought he had to whisper. And then, uh, like I say. Is she feeling better? Ellis. She feels okay. It's just She's her voice talk. is, and it ain't horse voice. It's whisper. She can't make. This is how she talks. Oh, good. Can't, can't she woke up yesterday and her, her real voice tried to come out and then yeah. went back. Cranky fish with a coffee. Yeah, you know what's funny? Even if she, even if she's mad at me, it don't sound like it. You know, <laughs> I tell you, I've had enough of that. You know, stuff like that. But again, <laughs> I, I will say it was a lot quieter. Yeah. I will say hey, that. you need to be careful here. I was saying, hey, I mean, you need to tread my blood lightly. pressure was down. And you need to tread lightly. <laughs> 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 but I wish you'd seen the kids trying to figure it out. Because <laughs> Faith was the first How's one. Lily whispering? Yeah, <laughs> we heard Ellis. Hey, what's up? With, what's up with Lily's voice? Where's the Easter eggs? It was so funny. Of course. We had a good time. The weather was beautiful. And yeah. Of course, I'm embarrassed. What? We went the lazy route. I, I got well, First of all, we had too many eggs. Yeah. We had tons of eggs, yeah. which is not a bad thing. Right. And uh, anyway, uh, they just threw them out. They like them do the meat egg hunts yeah. where they don't really hide it. We hit some. Yeah. But then they just got throwing them out. Yeah. Well, then now they do just run around and pick them all up and it's over. Sure. Yeah. When we were kids, oh, you uh, had they to, would hide them. You'd oh. find some in June and July. Exactly. Yes, yes. Because yes. the Stinking, parents they weren't the plastic kind yeah. either. I can remember we have like one egg to get and they would know where it was and they go, okay, you're warm, you're cold. On, yeah. Depending right. on where you right. were. Right. None of that. Now you'd have to be blind not to see them. Well, we're sitting I mean, there. Because, yeah. Oh, because yes. they're just laid out everywhere. Oh, yeah. So we and, and kids get to find that's almost rude because they get to snatch them from each mm, other and all that. Yeah. But so we did that and then and things were still going well. And then Riley was the hero, my son in law. They have this blow up thing, this a bouncy and a slide oh, that they bought for themselves. Yes. And all of a sudden he goes, You know, I got that bouncy thing in the car. We was using it at my parents' house yesterday. So they got that thing out and buddy. Did you feed was, water into it too? No, it don't okay. have the water. But okay. it is a Hey, it's a game changer. It's a throw down. Mm-hmm. One were, of my next door neighbors has it, but you can feed water into it so it turns into a water park. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. This was not that way, but yeah, I don't think maybe it is, but we didn't do water. Yeah. But it was, I mean, the egg thing was winding down. Yeah. They realized that there was no challenge. Right. You know, now they were tearing up some candy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it was, all the eggs had candy. Did they in compliment them? your landscaping? Uh, job that you've done? You mean the, oh, you're talking about, um, <laughs> yeah, with my mulch and all. And, and meanwhile, Lisa was going, <laughs> hey, right, get that. Jump it, hey, right. jump it, right. jump it, right. Get the job at that. Somebody pump it up, y'all. Seriously, we'd be talking about something. She'd be trying to get in on the conversation, <laughs> and then finally she'd just go and just walk <laughs> off. She wasn't mad. She knew, hey, yeah. they can't hear me. Yeah. Can't get in there. Well, the, the best the, thing um, was watching. I said, I, I knew. I said, yeah. when the kids come up, I'm not going to warn yeah. them. Yeah, and they're like, <laughs> what? The? Their little faces, and like I said, then Pace starts going. Hey. I said, no, you. He goes, we need to whisper. I said, no, we don't need to whisper. It's just Lily will be whispering. The rest of us will be talking. <clears throat> well, we put the uh, we put the uncles in charge of hiding the eggs, which was a big mistake because they just, to your point, just put them all over yeah, the place. Yeah, the, the, the art of hiding eggs is gone. Yeah. When we were kids, son, you had to you work had to. First you of all, we, we didn't have plastic eggs. Right. We had the real deal. Yeah. Well, River, uh, he gets his little uh, empty bucket, and here he goes. Oh, the and, I, and I told him, I said, you got to think like a bu- uh, like in the Easter Bunny. Well, he starts hopping in his mind. He's yeah, three. Yeah. And I'm like, no, not like that. I'm just saying, you got to think <laughs> like a, think like an Easter Bunny. Where would you hide the Easter eggs? 
And uh, they're, of course, just everywhere. He's got two new phrases. One is, this is crazy. Yeah. And then the other one's, oh, my gosh. And every time he would find this one, that's, th- this is crazy. <laughs> Here's another one. And he would just There's become, a bunch, son. Well, the Easter Bunny I, I apparently did find my wallet. Uh, and the uncles and, and dad, uh, Tyler, kept commenting on, well, the Easter Bunny never did this for us. Well, uh, that, but anytime, anytime your nan and pops, I guess, Terry just found so much joy in there. But oh, uh, they, each one of them didn't have a little yeah, package. Yeah, and uh, he, they don't understand what money is and quarters and, and dollar bills because they're more interested in the candy. Yeah. Uh, I noticed Tyler was very attracted to the dollar bills and said, here you go, son, just go ahead and give those to me, and I'll hold them for you in my yeah. wallet. Oh, yeah. That was well played. I remember if we... If there was an egg with fifty cents in it, it was a big deal. Oh, it was inflation! Yes, if you got if you got a little plastic egg and you could shake it mm-hmm. and you heard change, you just thought oh, that, hey, the, the world. I mean, it can't get any better than this. Doesn't get any better. But yes, it, this is crazy. Another one. Oh yeah. Look, pops, they're right. The, oh, the, here's another one. You want to know why? Because they're just laid everywhere. They're just everywhere. They don't yeah, work. I mean, and they'll have these events like uh, Taylor Names Church. They had one. They were like, it looked like a thousand people out there. Yeah. And they'd cut them loose on them eggs laying out in that pasture. <laughs> My goodness. And they get to going. What in the world? You got, I mean, you just got just, ah, colored eggs screaming. just everywhere. Yeah, everybody's just everywhere. Uh, so we um, we have not, we, we did what Span told us to do for years, and that is don't go get flowers before Easter. Yeah. And so Terry now says it's officially time. But our front at least pots. got some ferns. Oh, yeah. Our little, our little pots that are on the front porch, they're empty right now. So they just have the potting soil up, you know, ready mm-hmm. for the next batch or whatever. Well, they just dump some in there. So you look in there, and it's like, oh, my gosh, there's four just sitting right here. It's not even hiding. And there are more than one? I mean, yes. And, and then, and anyway, they, they just thought that was just the funniest thing. But but his new thing was he was running around screaming. Oh, couldn't believe it. No, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, funny. my gosh. These are funny nuts. This is, this is crazy. <laughs> Look, <Like> candy. <laughs> Boy, we ate a lot of candy yesterday. Oh, oh my hey. goodness. Hey, you talking about it's time to do better. My sister sent them there. these packages with a bunch of eggs and stuff, yeah. and every one of them was full of candy. Woo. And, buddy, they were tearing them up. Marin got called now. She ate, like, I, I forget how many Reese cups. Mm. It is fun watching them run around. I so, so excited. Oh, yeah. Of course, then we'd, we'd have a tragedy every now and then. Oh, clean yeah. that mess up. Inflation hasn't hurt the Easter Bunny, I've noticed. No. No. A lot of cash. We got to talk about that. Point. Well, it was just a. It was a. You and, can't. And being, that. being knew that the turkey couldn't be seen, I just simply went signaling that he went in. <laughs> don't let. Don't get me stirred up. Good stuff. Uh, well, Good it's stuff. a double. Yeah. Man, doubled up. What an opening morning. Hey. First day of turkey season. Uh, I'd like to tell y'all where we are, but Gary won't let me. <laughs> No. And you don't come here without me. <laughs> Y'all know this one I do since the first time, but tell me if we hadn't had the wind. Oh. We, the fact we were able, you were able to do all that with this wind? No, I'm telling you. Uh, no. I believe what brought them in was that Kiki. Well, I mean, Ben, I don't, I, here's what I don't understand. And Ben, I'm, a, I'm not trying to speak for you, but I felt like that Gary was a little reluctant to use his Kiki. Uh, he, was. Like he was holding the kiki well, back. Well, you know, well, I, he you probably don't want to say too much stuff. about it, but yeah. it's kind of that silver bullet, you know, yeah. that he keeps in the back pocket. But I'm gonna tell you. But you had to, you had to almost beg him. I did to that, do the look kiki. Look at that turkey guy, son. <laughs> look at him change the subject. <laughs> I know. You bet you think look, he wanted to run off. I think that was mine. That one right there is the one that I killed. He's still gobbling. I think that's something. This is the all-new Snap 4 Lux, the phone grip that doesn't suck. It's made from aircraft. All right, guys, we had a wonderful time this morning. Yeah, man, congrats to both of you. This was uh, an awesome, awesome experience. And, uh, just a, you know, every opening day is a treat, and this one right here is uh, super special. And we got to see a heck of a show. It was, oh, it was, it was, it was incredible. I, I've been hearing about turkey hunting, and I know it's so people, every time I tell people I don't turkey hunt, they think, well, what's wrong with you? And, um, you know, we were talking about my dad who just passed away in in, uh, in December, uh, and we were discussing, he used to go strike fish all the time in spring. He would deer hunt, and then he would strike fish and fish in spring. And he said, well, 
once I started turkey hunting, he said, I never caught another strike. <laughs> yes, but he got obsessed with it. He got to where he could right. call and do the mouth calls. And of course, you know, he never got to use the spur master call because he was just coming into when he got yeah. Alzheimer's. But uh, uh, yeah, when, when I knew the way my dad was, that this got a hold of him, I think I've been trying to stay away from him because I don't want to get a hold of him. Well, you're hooked well, now, right? Up too late. <laughs> you, when you turkey hunt, you got to have a good job and a good wife. Oh, you lose <laughs> uh, That's the truth. Put it down, man. Thank y'all so much for making that. Well, it, it was an incredible day here, uh, you know, well, with uh, Sawbriar Outdoors. Uh, thank you guys for documenting this. My first turkey, Gary, got him on the ground. I saw the spur master. I've heard about it. I've had others who he's guided that told me about it. But until you experience the spur master live, and in action, you ain't gonna, but we went from, I mean, at one time, I thought turkeys were gonna attack us, and, and we, we basically killed these in self-defense. Yeah. Pretty much. How'd you, was I more still this time? You kind of reminded me of uh, when uh, Barney and Goober Powell was watching Andy through the window when he was kissing. We started to kissing, uh, what's her name? You talking about Helen? Helen? Yeah. And you was doing this, you know. What? What? No, no. I, I thought I, I was supposed to. See when, that hand? When you deer it. hunt, you, you, you see a deer, what do you do? You, and all I was doing when we saw you that first gobbler is I, I was trying to let you know where the gobbler was. Well, we set up on, we had three coming in right, earlier right, this right, morning. Right. You see it's windy today. And they today. seen him move. They didn't see me move. It, it, it see, was just a yeah. Yeah, they see that stuff like that. And I don't, you know, I hated to get on to you, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. Well, it was. Uh, I felt but, like. But you know, I'm proud of you. Well, thank really you. Proud of you. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, I, this was. You know, you warned me about this. Yeah. And uh, I realize now that uh, you know the show that I'm doing right now and what I'm gonna be doing in the future. I guess you know afternoon shows are pretty good too. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope you don't get hooked on this stuff. I know, that's what I'm thinking. I might move show the afternoon. Was, so that, was, that, was that heart thumping? My heart was thumping. Uh, you know, I've, I've heard, you know, these, these that, that uh, don't a gobbler, doesn't it, it drum sometimes yeah. too, a little drum? Well, I, don't, I couldn't hear it because my heart was drumming. I mean, y'all, I went from there's a gobbler coming to there's five of them, and y'all were saying shoot, and I was like, which one? <laughs> that's what happens when that kiki starts on the spur master. Well, Dog on it. I didn't want to use the kiki, but you know. Hey, I mean, when the kiki starts, I mean, hey, they gonna outlaw us call one day, I'm telling you. They've already started to outlaw it in Mississippi. Gravy, please. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. All right, we're rolling back. It is 10 minutes until top of the hour. Another meteorologist just texted me, said the wind is up. Okay. You're not, that, that's not good stuff. Uh, we thank all of you for being with us today. 866 We Be Big. It is awesome to be back together, the full staff here, as we look back on a very busy week. You know, not only did Reese turn 20 over uh, the the, uh, the spring 20. break uh, vacation that the guys had, but um, Bubba turned 60 uh, sure last did. Wednesday. He did. So uh, we ha haven't had a chance to celebrate that either, uh, but I, we've kind of been sitting here through this hour and looking at some of the stories, uh, some men's basketball, uh, college basketball, the Final Four are set, the, the women play tonight, uh, and then we've been talking to uh, some Easter with the grandkids. Uh, now, your grandkids, Greg, I know you said that they don't like to share. Anytime they're, that they're, they're working on it. Okay. Um, Anytime that they're hunting for Easter eggs, that that is a that's a that's a tough one there. Yeah, because I think the only thing that saved it there were so many eggs that, mm -hmm. they, that they didn't have to fight okay. for them. All right, that's that good. helped. Yeah, that's good because there were plenty to get. Right now, if they were limited, yeah, we'd have seen some some baskets being dumped over and stuff oh, like that. Right. right, yeah, that's that's tough. Mm. But uh, it was it's it was fun. It was good. It's good to see them. Uh, running around like that river is a nut man he is hilarious uh and mm -hmm. him going through all those and terry just every time he would he would crack them open because now that's that's kind of what you do you use the ones that are just the plastic, plastic ones yeah. and you just crack them open and and he would he would crack them open and just throw it up like this is he can't he couldn't believe it like yeah. there's stuff in here candy look money. at this you know uh i think right. there was a ten dollar bill in one of them 
Really? Yeah. You wanted that. I yeah. know you. Yeah. Well, they, you said here, you know, you could have swapped him out of like a Sour yeah. Patch Kid yeah. gummy for that. I was like, honey, that's a, thought that was a great deal. That's a bucket of range balls. What are you doing? Yeah, did you go here? <laughs> Look here, man. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I know other news out there. We've, uh, had major league baseball officially start. We've All had right. the bridge in Baltimore go down. Man, there's so much that? that has, that's going on that we haven't talked about. you're sitting there in that boat, cause there's no brakes on the boat and you're right. going there. I can't stop. Well, this yeah. This is bad. Yeah. There's a, a lot that, a lot needs to be answered on that. And the wow. construction workers that were there filling out, po- filling up potholes and stuff that's awful awful news yeah. about them and, and tragic loss of life but so we, we've got that uh we have uh transgender day from the white house that was that landed on yesterday easter sunday that's good we'll talk about that unbelievable yeah, cannot weird. believe it uh so there's just a lot to update helmsy i know that your kids are grown now but how was y'all's easter it was good it was low-key um we didn't i mean we went to church, obviously, and then just spent time together by yeah. kind of hang out. So, yeah. you know, there's no Easter egg hunting anymore. Nah. There's kind of like, you know, Braden's like, Dad, and my buddies are watching the final Elite Eight. And so we're going <laughs> to do that, watch some baseball. Yeah. And, um, Caroline was tired from the night before hanging out with friends, so mm-hmm. she laid around all day. And that's kind of what I did. Right. Kind of laid around all day myself. Got my laptop out and just sat there the whole day. We practiced. We had – Practice. So we went. I can take you all the way. I forget. Like we were, we were Clemson and Gardner Webb. The that Friday you're talking about, where you had all the car issues. Mm-hmm. And so that was a good little trip for us. We good. we went up there and spent. I, I forget how nice Clemson's campus is mm-hmm. and how that lake surrounds it. And it's yeah, just I, yeah, I've it's heard a beautiful it. I've place. I've heard it's really nice. Um, did you run down the hill? No, but I did go over to and see Howard's Rock. Isn't mm-hmm. that what it's called? I think mm-hmm. it, I think so. And uh, I, think I went over and, and saw that. And uh, right now, where the where you run down, I, I'd like to see y'all. Clean the weeds up. I know it's really? we're not in season, but there I saw some weeds. Did you did up. you want the 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 lady gamecocks did to, to like get in the bus and ride her, and ride over there and you know get out and then just run down something like I that. do. <laughs> uh, what's <laughs> no listen something All I right, do. girls I go. let's go <laughs> <laughs> something I do when we're in other campuses is if we're staying like on campus I'll get out and walk around mm-hmm. and just Ooh, walk the campus and stuff like that. But if if we're like a mile or two away off campus. I'll, I will go in and look at different things that are going on campus. And I did that. I can't, I never get anybody to go with me. Like the <laughs> girls don't care anything about that. Yeah. And so a little um, alone time. And so I do. I get me a cup of coffee. I go get me a cup of coffee, and I just really and nice. I ride around. I looked at the football stadium. I went to the baseball stadium. Okay. And um, went talk Dabo. And <laughs> and so uh, just a beautiful place at, at Clemson. I I had for I really I forgot that lake was there. And I mean when I talk about it, it surrounds the camp, it's it's wow. just think of the most beautiful lake, and then all of a sudden you have this beautiful university as well. Mm-hmm. It'd be hard to not want to go to that yeah. place. Yeah, it kind of recruits itself. Uh, it really yeah. does. Um, so, but we had that. Went to Gardner Webb, and uh, and then we had. Um, I mean, we had a typical spring. Kids had spring break last week too, so they were just okay. in and out. Caroline was at the beach. Amanda actually went to the beach for a couple of days with her, and so there was a there was like two days where. I was kind of batching it up because mm-hmm. Braden and Maddie were in Gadsden with my parents, and um, and we were getting back on the road from our trip, and we practiced late in the week, and then I gave the girls off Saturday and Sunday so we could all kind of enjoy the mm-hmm. Easter weekend, and uh, we'll heal, we're trying to heal up. We got some injuries, but we're we leave Thursday for we're flying actually to Sam Houston, so we played oh, wow. Sam Houston and New Mexico State this weekend, so. That should be fun, hopefully, yeah. and um, so we're just preparing for that this week. So, but it was good. Easter was good. We just, you know, it was, we went, we went to the late. So I can never get our family to go to the early service anymore. Like mm-hmm. I've just, I've stopped. When, I don't know why they continue to come in and ask what service I want to go to, because when I answer it, they we never do that. Mm-hmm. So I've stopped answering that question, <laughs> getting all them up. And so, um, I here it is Saturday night. I hear. Hey, what service are we going to tomorrow? <laughs> and uh, and I and I just said, hey, y'all just need to let me know what service it is we're going to because I know y'all know where I want to go, y'all know the time I want to go, you but nobody's going to get nobody's going to go for that. So 
it we had our options were eight, nine thirty, and eleven. Or was it eleven thirty? No, it was eleven. And so I got the whole well, we we're, we're not going to eight o'clock, Dad. And I'm like, I know, I know, I'm not. I didn't expect that. <laughs> and so then it was then it was nine thirty. And I was like, there ain't nobody going at 930. Y'all act <laughs> like you're going at 930. Braden will be in the bed at 930. <laughs> Caroline will be doing her hair at 945. It doesn't work out. I'm just telling you. So we ended up at 11 o'clock. So well. <laughs> which was good because there wasn't that many people there. Oh, really? Let me rephrase that. There wasn't as many people there as there were at 930. Yeah, well, you're oh, out. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, you're beating it. Yeah. Yeah. So That's good. Well, I'm I'm uh, I'm glad you had a good time. I, there was some other stuff here too, with it being April Fool's Day that we oh, need to discuss. I just want to let everybody know this is when the media. You know, we've got we've uh, actually a, a best of bit uh, from years ago is when a station acted like they were going to drop money out of the helicopter. Oh, it, the ride. Oh, it did. Uh, so just be aware. Yeah, we just want to do our public service announcements uh, of of hey, it is April Fool's Day. So just yeah. be aware. Uh, and uh, I might have reminded some of you because you want to try to get somebody else. Normally, uh, I try to uh, get the boys. Today, I did send a text uh, that said, hey, uh, I called your mom, and she answered. You know, and, mm-hmm. and, of course, that's April Fool's because the running joke is anytime you call Terry, you, you yeah. can't get her. You I know? thought about tweeting it just, out. It just goes to voicemail. Well, uh, I, I thought I, understand. I thought about <laughs> stirring the pot this morning and tweeting out that uh, we've changed our mind and the Rick and Bubba show will continue <laughs> going on after this year. That's been a good one. And and I I, <laughs> I thought I thought if I, I can't do this to everybody because oh, but I really one. thought about it. I really like I was oh, even, yeah, even yeah. topped one up and thought <laughs> looked at it said do I hit it? Eh. That's good. <laughs> Those are the kind of things you got to watch out for, everybody. Watch out. We've done our part letting you know. We'll take a break. Rick and Bubba join us. Adler's here, the full crew. Uh, We'll get into some recaps. I know they had a very busy uh, vacation, and so we'll update that. I understand uh, Rick spent some time with Gary, turkey hunting, and a whole lot more, so don't go anywhere. We'll start next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Thank you, Gary. I tell you what, that wind was tough. Yeah, it was. It was tough. Well, you, you know, we talked about that. You, y'all told me that the, the wind works for you. Ben was talking about that because and it works you can move you. a little bit more, but you don't make so much noise. But the, then they get a little confused about where the call is. But we made it happen. And you know what? I hate to bring this up. I do. I'm sorry, bro. I really do. Gary gave up. If it had not been for Ben and Sawbriar Outdoors, yeah, well. I, I, I mean, Ben kept us going. Every time we were ready to go eat a late breakfast, Ben would, would, would get his binoculars out and he said, they're still out there. you got to keep calling. Well, it's going to be a, what them rich good folks call it now. It's not going to be breakfast. It's going to be a brunch. Yeah, I don't, we don't even know what a brunch is where we're from. Yeah. Uh, so, right, Gary, thank you, thank you so much. I Gary know. Vine, Spurmaster, Sawbriar Outdoors, thank you all for setting up a great turkey hunt today and my first ever gobbler. And uh, you know what? You don't ever forget the first time you take you take a deer, first time you take a gobbler, first time you catch a big bass. You're going to mount that one, ain't you? I'm going to mount that one. We're going to set it up at Camp House. This will be one for me. My wife's been putting a lot of things in there that I'm not sure are Camp House worthy. Y'all have heard me, heard me talking about this on the show. Uh, but right now, I'm going to put a big old gobbler right by the fireplace. Good job. Good stuff. Congratulations. I want to, where was Fauci, did, why didn't he come out and say, look, with the president saying actually can be done, mm-hmm. uh, we know a lot more now. We can get these things out much quicker. Uh, don't be concerned about, yes, you can have it quicker and safe. I never heard that. I'm glad to hear it now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and I'll yes. take it. But, yeah. but, but, the, and know. look, I don't have a problem with states governors saying we want to look at this. Yeah. But if you do, you're going to slow it down now. Now, you know, Cuomo has really doubled back and said, well, we're not going to slow it down. We're going to take the, but we're going to have people look at it too, right? You know, yeah. he was trying to kind of have it both ways. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, well, we, 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 we're we the largest city. We but, need it first, yeah. but we also, we'll, we'll look at it because <laughs> I want you to be safe. Well, yeah. what, what's happened? I'm like, what? What's, what was that? What's happened now? I'll tell you what's happened. He want, he was against Trump on rushing it to the market, but now Fauci says, well, that's just wrong, so now he didn't know what's left. Right, yeah, <laughs> and, you know, we talked uh, about how Kamala Harris in the in the Pence debate, how she was like, I don't know if I'll take – like Trump's in the lab making the vaccine himself. Right. Right. You know, uh, he was criticized, and now to, to the profit starve of the show that after the election – 
some of these folks have kind of changed their Well, the vaccine's a safe bit. now. It's, you, I, I, and you can get it there quicker and it still be safe. Mm-hmm. I realize what I'm about to say. He says way about way more about me than Dr. Fauci. Mm-hmm. But when I hear him speak, all I hear is blah, 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 blah <laughs> because of that first pitch. It has stained his legacy with me. Yeah, we can't. We, I can't respect I, I anything that it. man says because of that first pitch he tried to throw out. That and was we're, so terrible. We're yeah. talking about the baseball pitch, yeah. not not him pitching this on And I realize right. that's on me. That has nothing no, to do it's, with it's, his. It's petty, but it's real. But, but when he it's just real. started talking, I completely checked yeah. out. It's real. Right. Thank you, Hams, for planting that seed. That now gone it. Now we know the things right. I'll be thinking that right when the needle goes in my arm. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just hope he didn't try to do it. He made me us. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's liable to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Fauci attempted to, give me, he I, attempted to get me the vaccine. He gave it through my left earlobe. <laughs> yeah. And you, you brought this up yesterday, Rick. Also, here's God, a, that's just uh, that Guys, that's just uh, un, that is unacceptable. If I was him, I would go outside after that the task force press conference into the lawn of the White House and go, can I throw another one to somebody yeah. real quick? Yeah, and, let me show and you. Myself. I would have gone further because we have to punish ourselves when we do something that's unacceptable. Mm-hmm. I would have said the next sign I want on TV is one of y'all hit me in the face with a baseball bat. Right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All right, so here's another pro- – just write this down. All right, if if this hold and 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 Biden if takes hold, if this holds and Biden right. takes office, right. okay, leading up to that, the distribution of the vaccines is going to be criticized and every little bitty thing scrutinized on if something bad happens, a truck breaks down the side of the road, something like that's going to happen. And then when Biden takes office, miraculously, everything's going to start working. It well, just, just write that well, down. Still, kind of like we predicted the election. And after the election, some would be kind of pitching think, a different message. I think there might be good news for Americans who want this vaccine to the market quicker. <laughs> I think there's a certain motivation for the left to get it there quicker. So if it has problems, they can still blame Trump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they're, they're going to. They will because they you're will have four years of that either way. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Got a great email said you can trust Fauci if you want to. They had an independent group of people study the voting machines they used in the election. <laughs> <too>. <laughs> <laughs> We'll we'll get back. Your phone calls are out there, and we'll take them. We'll go phone troll coming back so we'll get more of you in. 866-WE-BE-BIG. As we mentioned, don't forget Rick and Bubba University, the podcast, out again this weekend uh, as uh, yours truly, Rick and Bubba. We take questions and calls from America, uh, and we hope you'll enjoy that this weekend. Wherever you get podcasts, it is available. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, All right, so some other things to update. So if, if Biden becomes the president in, in 2020, 2021, um, what is this going to look like? And, and you see some things that are going on. AOC and the squad, uh, they rallied outside the Democratic National Convention. They're pressuring Biden into embracing the Green New Deal. Now, now do we remember how wacky the Green New Deal is? Oh, Rick, did you – I don't know if you heard of any uh, of their little speeches, but they were saying that they are the majority, that they need mm-hmm. to – that Biden needs to get in line. This is what America wants. Oh, while we're And, and then they kind of oh. also implied, hey, we got you here, you owe us. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of that going on right now. Mm-hmm. The Biden camp <laughs> said they, they had stated previously that they will work with Congress to implement a bold agenda that – Six minutes now past the hour, another uh, hour, another day, another week in Rick and Bubba history. Another month uh, starts today. Uh, If you're listening to the show or watching it live, uh, as we roll off vacation, hope you enjoyed the best of Rick and Bubba's shows uh, last week. Our thanks to Helmsy, Speedy, and Greg for knocking those out for you. Uh, Team Rick and Bubba all back together today. The national anthem gets us started.
another show, baby. We are back. And vacation uh, was good. It, it was needed. Uh, we ain't even seen Bubba since he turned 60. It looks a little different. Uh, you guys have celebrated if you uh, follow Bubba uh, on uh, on social media, but we haven't we haven't celebrated here on the show. So today we'll celebrate Bubba's 60th birthday today. Uh, it, it is the first day of April. We've got stories from vacation. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, and Eddie Van Adler have given you the kickoff hour today. We roll forward. Uh, whether you're watching us live on YouTube, listening to us live on America's boldest radio stations or our TuneIn app, or maybe you're choosing an archive option uh, and you're catching us on the YouTube archive, the podcast archives, or maybe you're watching a best of hour on Blaze TV. Whatever the case may be, uh, we are thankful that you are here with us, whether that be live or archived, and we're excited to be back from vacation. We're missing one, uh, the silver tongue one. The man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters, man of the year, the inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master of the king's English. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill, Bubba, Bussy! How about it, Bubba? How about it, Rick Burgess, friends, neighbors, associates, everywhere. Howdy. Bubba, welcome back. Well, glad to be here, Rick. How are you? Good. I hope you had a, a wonderful vacation. Uh, I know that you uh, say so you've had a birthday. Is your birthday the 27th or 28th? 27th. 27th. Okay. I, I always get that confused. Yep. But, yep. Uh, but anyway, Wednesday. so 60 years. 60. You're the first one to turn 60. 60. I can run. I can jump. I can kick. I can stretch. Gosh, I hope that ain't birthday cake. Oh, sure. Because I don't need to be eating all that today. You don't? No. That's, woo. Do you get a little rowdy over the week? Well, it's it's been a week, you know. Oh, yeah. Hey, we've worked like a Trojan horse. Oh, it's, yeah. That's I ain't give out. Yeah. I really need a vacation right now. <laughs> I ain't give out. I'm glad to come back to get a little rest. Uh, so, yeah, this is... Uh, I thought about you. But I, I still have the smell of sheetrock dust in my do, nose. Do everything really, smells like sheetrock dust. Yeah, everything smells. You know how fine that stuff oh, is. Yeah. Oh, this was this. Did y'all get it all done? We'll get an update. We got an update well, today. It's, it's sure. pretty much. Yeah. It's still, we got to get in there. Sure. In there. Yeah, it was. Um, that 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 that. Yeah, we do have a birthday cake from Edgar's for you because I mean this is our first chance to celebrate you. Your birthday I'm fell on 60. a vacation. Fell on a vacation this year. So, you know, I mean, seriously, mm -hmm. sixty. You know, that's a big one. It that's sounds big. that's your big boy. When, when you think sixty, yeah. you think, well, that's old. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, right. that's, that's. I mean, you every one single foot in, age. You know? Listen to me, seriously. Uh, and I turn sixty later, so <laughs> I, this ain't, I'm not speaking. I'm 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 in the stands, but I'm about to get in the game. It, you know, is is this <clears throat> is I'm as good as sixty, you could say. Yeah. But you're right. We've hit an age this year, my friend. All mm -hmm. the ages up to this point, somebody. Can say, well, you know, that's not so bad. That's not right, right. But sixty, once you're sixty or on, I'm sorry, you're old. I remember. I mean, it, you, I remember there's different degrees of old. Yeah, I but remember. You're old. I remember thinking as a kid. <laughs> I remember thinking forty was old at one point. Right. You and, know, and you know, and that's and, that's kind yeah. of a city little kid. Yeah. But everybody yeah. agrees sixty on it. Oh yeah, yeah. You know? You're you're pretty much done. You know, I mean, that's it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't even know why you carry on. Well, you know, I, you know, let me tell you, let me tell you when you know it's. Listen, let me tell you when you know you're old is when. Look, I don't want to be morbid, and we do need to to talk about. You know, we did have a another death inside one of the Rick and Bubba families over the week. Over the week, but um, is um, the uh, Ryan Greenwood's mother oh, died this oh, this week? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you know, Ryan uh, spent a lot of years. Yeah, yeah uh, a lot of years, and we got to see Ryan on Saturday, Greg and I, and uh, so that got was a good visit, but. But we're at the point now that 
whenever the Lord decides. You know, now, we could be here when he returns. And, you know, when I see some of the things that are going on in our world, I think we may see him return. Yeah. Uh, but, I know he's slow to anger, but that doesn't mean he never does. Uh, but well, we're uh, closer than we've been. Good that. gracious. You talk about people just not thinking, reasoning through some simple things. But but anyway, <laughs> so so we, we're laughing and mocking God right now. So he could come back. Of course, he's got his time no matter what we do. But if we were to die our earthly death, we're now to the age where no one says, no one says. He died early. He died early. <laughs> no. Hey, 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 prime is life. <laughs> 75. I mean, I'm sorry. We, we're over in that camp now where somebody says that you passion. You know, everybody says, yeah, I will. Yeah. They had a good hey, line. Hey, had a good run. <laughs> had a good run. <laughs> he had a good line. Uh, you got early so, 60s you can kind of hang on to and think you're still. <laughs> but then once you get mid to oh, the end of oh, golly. Yeah, you better be Look making out. arrangements. And the way, time, <laughs> hey, the way time's flying right now, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So look, look, uh, look we, uh, we. And I do oh, know. How funny. Here, here's, funny. here's the thing. I am ready. That is funny. <laughs> I think I decided to go with the ham thing. <laughs> Well, yeah. You've had some big ham moments. Yeah. No, that was a good one. <laughs> Thirty-one years we finally went with a ham. <laughs> I know that's what. Right. No, you that should have heard amazing. us talking about it. Well, that should have been earlier. No, that was literally in our conversation. I said, "We don't anything to do with ham." And yeah. we've been speaking. Here, I don't think we've done a ham cake. <laughs> I don't know that we have. Uh, we've done funny. so many. Dude, probably that's has. Funny. I don't remember. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, no, that's a well, possibility. Ham, we we appreciate that. Yeah, that's a big day for hams. Yeah, right we got there. several in the building. They might come down and get a piece yeah. today. Who knows? Uh, so a beautiful <laughs> birthday cake from Edgar's. And oh, uh, they, we look, we love Edgar's. They're such we? a wonderful good people. Yes, yeah. they are. They're, great. they're they're beyond good. People. I don't forget they got they're, good they're breakfast. They're saintly people. Yeah. It ain't ain't just pastries. They got good breakfast. Oh, that's, oh, you know what else they got? I had lunch there this week, and I didn't realize how good their lunch was. Oh, really? I picked up the menu, kind of thinking. And I yeah. looked and I was like, "Wow, you know, they do it all, right?" You they know what? It. I'm kind of afraid to go into lunch there, and I've eaten there several times. It's a great place to eat. Yeah, but then I have to leave and pass the cookie counter. Oh yeah, and oh. you know them thumbprints. Oh, I'll, I'll get a dozen Those to go. Huh? I need and to I'll be buzzing like my cousin. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need to apologize, but this year at the Christmas party, y'all had something I think I ate almost all. <laughs> Yeah. I think I did. I think I ate like six. No, I, I actually made it. I actually made actually made an executive decision. We had Eggers as part of the Easter gathering at my house yesterday, and there was some leftovers, mm. and I didn't mm. bring them on purpose. Here, yeah. so just take those to the office. Ooh. I said, I think a birthday cake is coming in. If I yeah. bring that too, yes, yeah, that's yeah. funny. You said that. I had some leftovers too. I'm already broke out from something I got yeah, yesterday, so I, that's yeah. all I need to pile sugar on top of it. So the birthday cake yeah. is here. The birthday boy is mm. back. Uh, and we have a lot to talk about from uh, from the week. We've uh, had quite the Marty Bubba celebration oh, this week. I know. I saw some. Uh, well, I, saw I, hadn't even, I hadn't even put up the pictures of the main event yet. <laughs> I was holding those. <laughs> I like that sombrero. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. See? Well, they love. See, anytime they can get you, hey, this, we got to, this is what we're talking about about the election. COVID was the door in. Yeah. You know, because in the past, they start saying things like, we should just let people mail in vote. We shouldn't have to have a, a ID. We shouldn't have to have a, a signature. There shouldn't be cutoffs that you can't, you have to stop voting at a certain time. And in the past, they, they were told no, like little spoiled children. But then this time, you know what they got to say, don't you? No, you just don't care if people die, mainly black people. You want black people to die. That's what you want. And everybody's like, okay, y'all can mail in. Y'all don't have to have a signature. We can. We don't have any deadlines. Okay, just please don't call us, you know, evil. Now, keep in mind, now, if you turn around to them, remember, and say, you know, your view on where life begins, you're murderers. <gasps> How dare you call us murderers? <clears throat> but, boy, they'll call you one at the drop of a hat. Mm-hmm. So... It, it, you have to know how they play. Now, the frustrating part is sometimes it's so effective there's nothing you can do about it because you don't have enough people to push them back. you got too many people that cave into it, and sometimes these people cave in on your behalf and you can't stop them. <laughs> yeah. You know? So, but the, but so what, the, what they're – and so this is going – it's going to be interesting because, you know, there's nothing that we love more than – than leftists on leftist crime. Oh, yeah. Uh, this and, is going to be a dandy. And I mean political crime, not not physical crime. Because what's going to happen is they're going to you're going to watch the Biden administration and don't think that the squad won't say that they want to kill people. Before you know it, they'll start saying, well, you just care about the climate. You, you, I mean, well, then you, you got, you you got you, Kamala standing by yeah. uh, to be the president, who she's as far to the left as they are. 
And uh, we're going to be in a unique position. We're going to have to protect Joe Biden. Uh, it's going to be weird. Yeah. Hey, if he's sworn in in January 2-0 uh, in 2021, we, we're, we're going to find ourselves trying to see if we can keep Joe from being completely taken over by these people. I'm yeah. afraid yeah. we're going to have to take over the role weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> we are. We're going to have to start helping Joe. Yep. Yep. So, um, what was but, that other movie where the, the guy? Hey, this is lunacy. Yeah, this, it is. This, new, this new Green Deal is lunacy. Do you remember that other movie that, uh, of course, it was a movie, but it, it kind of played down the same line where uh, the, the the president had a stroke and was incapacitated, but they got this guy that looked just like him. Yes. They discovered him. Yes. Do you remember that? What? Uh, oh, uh, Dave. Dave, yeah, that's Dave. it. Thank you. Dave. Wow, wow. That's good. I'm on fire today. <clears throat> good night. Hey, 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 you, hey, you start gun season, and I'm, I'm on fire. <laughs> yeah, but you got a long one. I know. So I'm just, fine. Okay. I'm good. Uh, I, I, I'm in a pretty good place going into this weekend. I'm kind of rolling on in. I don't have a whole lot to do. So, so let's. Uh, but here's the um, the thing to say too, is children, little children, everybody up. There, there is no. We don't have anything that we've developed yet to replace. Oil. We, we don't have – it does not exist. I mean, we're working on some stuff, a little sun panel over here will help you a little bit on, on on power, and you got some windmills out there killing eagles and hawks, but but still, I mean, you know, it, it, it might do a little bit. We, Bubba, please explain to you, the, the only thing we could do, honestly, that may give us a shot is nuclear, and y'all hate that too. Oh, yeah, <laughs> not, I'm not going to have that. So, right. you know, the, the other alternative is battery, which takes electricity – Mm-hmm. Which you have to turn a generator somehow. Right. So you can dam a river up. No, y'all are not big on that. You can burn oil and gas to turn it, which we do for about what sixty seventy percent of our energy. Guys, I don't know guys. how you going how you going to do it because you're you're going to raise the demand on the uh, on the electrical grid to charge all these uh, battery cars. Guys, we what, have guys. Wait, what, how do y'all think batteries have to be charged? <laughs> yeah. Hello. You can't spit in your hand and charge them. All right, guys. Right now, your car's battery is dead. What? What do you take? Did you ever read the side of it? You got to have some kind of thing. You got to meet everybody on how to dispose of it. Now you're gonna have cars with, with the, that are nothing but batteries. Right. Okay. Uh, and and that, that how's are, that gonna work? Yeah. I mean, what are we gonna do with all of them? I'm looking forward to being educated. Where are we gonna plug them all? I in? wish oh, solar panels worked so we could generate the power we need. They help. Uh, and and they have their place and they can help, but they're not. They can't be the backbone. Supplemental, of the system. Bubba. Yeah, they're, they're supplemental. Be. Come on, they right, can win. Right, who's right. this? All right, for y'all's en- for your enjoyment, we have about a thirty second clip of the Green New Deal rally and them singing a song. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so we're about to sing a song called "We Are Standing for Our Futures." If you know the song, why do they always talk sing like along. this? If you don't know it, listen and then sing it when you figure it out. See AOC right. and Omar in the back there. We are standing for our futures. We are healing what is wrong we are standing for our futures and together we are strong we are standing for our futures we are healing what is wrong twenty-one minutes now past the hour much to unpack uh, on the show today uh, as we, we work our way back, uh, coming off the vacation, coming off Easter weekend. Uh, so all that's in play. Uh, Bubba and I were on vacation uh, the whole week, uh, even though it was active. Uh, Eddie Van Adler was on vacation all week. Uh, Adler, welcome back. I know you uh, you got to spend the time. I, I haven't uh, I haven't seen anything. Did uh, how did everything go with the kids uh, yesterday and over over Easter weekend? Did y'all? hunt for eggs did uh, did we try to get to church on time and church everybody on time. dressed up in their easter outfits and church on time. Uh-uh. yeah absolutely uh two kind of big milestones over the easter uh break um ezra's walking pretty good mm-hmm. all right good ezra's walking pretty good and then uh, i put a brush guard on the van so sweet pretty large life milestones <laughs> achieved sweet. over the break you oh, plan on uh, driving through a lot of brush <laughs> y'all it looks boss y'all got to check it out i left i parked i backed in so y'all could check it out a as brush much guard, as probably. many times as you wanted to check okay. it out but uh, yeah, installed that this weekend or over the week. How heavy is it? Uh, it was very heavy. It yeah. was a so two-person what? job, and I did it with one well, person. Because you're awesome. Yeah, oh, wait, try. wait a minute. I'm confused. As a person. Let, say that one more time. You put a brush guard on your van? I put a yeah. It's like a, just a really big bumper. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Just well, a, like a sweet ass bumper kind of thing. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, kind of thing. Like right that. out of the gate. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I mean, Easter, Easter's not even dry yet. <laughs> but, but, you know what I mean? He's just risen. I'm sorry. He's huh? I'm risen. Sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, the troop ship just landed. I'm sorry. That's, that's not, not a bad word. Not so, a bad so, word. so you didn't get to church yesterday? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, he didn't listen to the message. Sorry. So, Mr. Greg says it's You could have got away with that word if it was the Christmas message. Let me ask you this. Now, why did you. I saw the brush guard on the van. Oh, you good. did? Nice. And I thought to myself, why does he have a brush guard on the why van? Why not? Are you yeah. going to be running off road with yes. that? Yes. Strictly for yes. looks. I didn't huh? know y'all wanted to talk about it right now. I'm sending myself a picture so we can all check it out. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, <laughs> Let's uh, see this month. Well, it's a sharp <laughs> van, but it doesn't look like the kind you'd take off road running over bushes. Yeah. yeah the yeah, the reason yes. why I was thinking uh, you and I was looking, I guess Helmsy to some degree still there. Mm. And we even have an, a long-running Rick and Bubba bit about it. Is it was just so interesting yesterday, even especially when I found out that Mom was actually going to go to church with my sister, as opposed to to us. And love Mom, and would have loved and did get to see her yesterday after. But to get up on a Sunday morning, and because of it being Easter, you know, there's there's no small group meetings. It's just all services, and and it, and it didn't. It's a big not, show, baby. And, and ours didn't start till eleven. To get up with no small children, no aging parent, no anything, and just simply my wife and I go to church on Easter and mm. then meet the other adult children there uh, that were in town. That was pretty. It feels odd to have a Sunday morning that that you actually can enjoy. I mean, it really was kind of. I just remember the mayhem of mm. of trying to get kids and Easter outfits and. And everybody get there and just, as, as, as we've said on this show, uh, in a van, because I used to have a van, hating each other's guts, ready to worship the resurrection. Ready to worship the Lord. Right, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, uh, so there it is, Bubba. Well, that makes a difference right well, there. That's what I'm talking does. about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So who's driving an Amazon truck now? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not this guy in the world. Who's driving an Amazon <laughs> truck Isn't now? That dope? That's good. What's the purpose? It looks again? like oh, you, it looks like you looks. found one it, that fell off of a no, police cruiser cool. and put it on your. <laughs> yeah, it's all for love. So hold on, wait a minute. Mama so said he sick, went to the dump. Right? Did he get this for you? I <laughs> said, so hey, you had to special order that. Oh, I did. Yeah, online. I found it. Three hundred fifty bucks, free shipping. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. What a uh, great yeah. line. Has, has you recover- issues been a problem? Yeah. I mean, have you been? And now it won't bu- be. <laughs> I mean, no. Well, now, I, I will tell you mess. this. Hey, rush hour traffic, watch out. <laughs> yeah. Addie, I will tell you this. I've always, it, when I have a truck that has a hitch on it, I always put my big ball hitch in it. Oh, Just yeah. in case somebody hits me, it keeps yeah. it keeps yes. them off the bumper. It's the only yes. reason I have one. And, yes. uh, and, yeah. and hey, she'll say hello to a radiator in a minute. You tap me <laughs> from behind. You know what I mean? <laughs> you love to leave that radiator on the highway. And then <laughs> after the accident, it'll just yank the bumper right <laughs> off. It takes it with it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it, it, it's bad. It is. Um, <laughs> who's driving an Amazon van now? That that, that, that right there. That, that's that's a good line right there. Yeah. Thanks a bunch. There it yeah, is. it's At sweet. first I thought you were April Fool in this. I no way, okay. never. I would never joke about this. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Bubba, it's April Fool's Day, so we have to remind everybody we're we're becoming all Elvis station. <laughs> so, Greg, you think it's just for looks? Oh, absolutely. Nope. It's You'll functionality. Never leave. When you when are you going to go out? I mean, do you drive off road in this? Thing? I know you go camping. Maybe right? you never look in van in Eddie. the apocalypse really times. Maybe, you yeah. never know. A, a moose might come out in the middle of the road. That's no true. problem. Mm-hmm. No, no problem. Move it right off. Of Let there. me tell you something. They're watching you, for deer now. You yeah. must be expecting to see some really big possums. That, that's the thing <laughs> yeah. we really have to worry about. Uh-huh. Uh, frankly, my my uh, wife said that I look like I'm driving an Amazon delivery truck. <laughs> uh, my dad saw. I, I went out to his <laughs> wait, barn. Can I borrow that? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I could hire it out now. Yeah. Ooh. Um, my dad saw me. I was out at his barn. I was supposed to be helping them set up and we got confused on the days on which it was happening he saw the van on his security footage and thought i was just a person dropping off a package so i'm sitting there at their house waiting for like 30 minutes i'm like hey where are you at and he's like oh i thought you were just the amazon guy Mm, sorry about that okay see i didn't realize on the side oh yeah that logo you like greg yeah yeah i didn't yeah right that's funny (laughs) how about i that's all i can see now thanks for bringing that up smiley face but but, you know if i wasn't 60 tired and broke yeah i would (laughs) I would, uh, 
I, I would get a magnetic sign printed up that said Amazon driver and put it on the passenger side so he couldn't see yeah, he could it. Yeah, he'd be yeah. driving around oh, town. Yeah, that'd be a good one. But, well, so you know what's funny is you could tell since he said it, I didn't realize <laughs> sure. he'd been pummeled with Amazon stuff. Because <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. out of nowhere he screamed, who's driving an Amazon van now? And I just thought that was a funny line. I didn't realize he'd been oh, yeah. mistaken for yeah. an Amazon yeah. driver yeah, by real. his own family. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, it's it's good. We um, <laughs> we got a lot done around the house. That wasn't the only thing I did. did you get the stump removed so you can put your play set up. Got the stump removed. I finally just hired a guy. You know uh, they got told these you to stump do that. removers. Yeah. We told you to do that. grind it. That grind it. I mean, down wow, like it never amazing, was there. amazing. Yeah, yeah. money well spent yeah. there. Yeah. I do want to know really if was. you can light one on fire and it'll take care of itself. Mm, that'd be a I keep long, saying that. That'd be a, a long, hard road. So man. much. It's so Have technical. you seen that like on YouTube? Yeah. People do but, that? but, but you know, it's, it I've also forever. seen people, there's a chemical you can put in them mm-hmm. and they drill holes around. Yeah. I've never tried yeah. it. I wonder if it'll work. Hmm, but you listen. drill holes and then pour it in there and it rots it out. I had to stump well, you. Well, I saw were... like they drilled and put oil in <clears> it and lit it on fire okay. and it burned and like a week later it's gone. gone. I don't know. I wonder if all those things came to my house. That's unbelievable. It was a big stump. Too. Unbelievable and what they do. It is. Grind it up. You oh, see yeah. that big pile of sawdust? You can't believe that it's, was a stump. Crazy. <laughs> I mean, this was a huge one. I yeah. have so much mulch now. Yeah. I had like about a dozen <laughs> stumps. I was like, look, you've got the stumps to hire a guy. It's yeah. worth it to get a guy out here. Oh, yeah. That's me talking to myself. Right. And uh, y'all Between might... that or the bumper. Right. 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 Just take the bumper and push it over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's funny. Just tie it to what the What was bumper. more expensive, the bumper or the grinding of the stump? The grinding was $50 more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. That hurt. Yeah, that could have been two bumpers. Best 50 dollars ever. <laughs> yeah, oh, best oh, 50 yeah. bucks ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. Bye, bye, bye. But it was a good break. Got uh, clean the basement, too. So we were very, very busy. Sounds like, sounds like we all had uh, kind of work, vacations, get things done, wow. get on top of stuff. It wasn't so. I had a really quiet it. one. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait till he tells you yeah. that story. Yeah. And I've, heard been, I've been out in the wind. The wind's blowing more now. Than Rick ever, Speedy claims the wind's blowing more. I, saw, I heard Bubba, that. Rick and Bubba. The backbone supplemental, of the system. Yeah, they're supplemental. Come on, right. Right. can win. All right, who's All right. this? All right, for you and for your enjoyment, we have about a thirty-second clip of the Green New Deal rally and them singing a song. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so we're about to sing a song called "We Are Standing for Our Futures." If you know the song, why do they always talk sing like along. this? If you don't know it, listen and then sing it when you figure it out. See AOC right. and Omar in the back there. We are standing for our futures. We are healing what is wrong. We are standing for our futures, and together we are strong. We are oh standing gosh. for our futures, we are healing what is wrong. We are standing for our futures, and together we are Everyone, we are standing oh Come on, for our futures, oh we are Please healing look at Bubba's face. what is wrong. Do I see we something in the back that says Indigenous Environmental future. Network? What in the world is that? <laughs> we are strong. We are standing for our futures. We are here. No, no, that one guy. I am terrified. You're our future. <laughs> that one. Oh wow, one more. Still, please look at the guy in the back. He's, he's I think he's clapping because he's scared not to. <laughs> you know, look at Garak back there. Yeah, he's, he's off beat. Uh, I'll tell you what yeah. his angle is. Well, yeah, no. Bless his heart. He's trying. So why, why do they always have that same voice that this girl? <laughs> I know. I know. We want to stand for our future. We want to stand for our future, and we want to talk about it. Oh, girl, how much for you to stand at that rally and clap? I'd like to be at the rally, mm-hmm. but I'd like to have the mic. Would you rather? Well, I don't want to ask you that scenario. Never mind. What? What are you going to say? Well, I mean, people are people are really dying of it. I'm just saying, would you rather have COVID or go to that rally and clap? COVID. Okay, but you'll bet you'll be fine. You'll make it. Yeah, I mean, most yeah. people do. Right. I know, yeah, but yeah, I just right, don't want to yeah, be insensitive yeah, yeah. to those that I mean, struggling. But you know. yeah. No, you don't want to be insensitive no, to that. But no. I'll hey, let me tell you, I've seen the odds on COVID of me dying. I'll take them. Okay. Over being at that rally. Hmm. I mean, it's. I mean, it, that that may affect me the rest of my life. COVID may not have me down. I was going to say you know, long term I mean, effects of that. Right. Bubba, you would you go to a snake handling church or go to that rally? No, I go to the rally. <laughs> Will well, you be clapping in the background? <laughs> <laughs> I might have different lyrics. <laughs> I, need you, I need you there with the mask on in the background. 
standing Look, right beside AOC. Is there AOC. anybody that holds down a job in that whole bunch? Bubba, let me ask this: Would you go to <laughs> Would you go to a snake handling thing, or the new Green Deal be fully implemented into your country? I, I, I'm, I choose not to answer. <laughs> How bad both of those are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm out. Well, yeah, I'm da, out on da, that. Da, 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 da. Y- y- y'all realize the new Green Deal? You can't, you can't do that. Right. I mean, I mean, you, you, we can't, we can't. Does everybody well, know? Well, Biden's even, he's even admitted that. We want to talk about saving our country. Well, no, you don't. You're ruining it. You're not saving it. I mean, it's a bigger deal than signs and clapping hands. <laughs> this is a, this is a major ordeal. It's about kilowatt hours. Yeah. I'll, you got to understand. You can't. <laughs> It's like me saying I'm going to leave. I, I'm I'm going to trade uh, out everybody in here, and something else is going to host the show. But we have nothing there to host it. I mean, you know what you're going to hear? Dead air. You you got to have something else. Well, maybe they'll do for us what they did for California. Yeah. Robert in Oxford, Alabama. Robert, welcome to Rick and Bubba. How you doing, buddy? Doing good. So. I drive for a trucking company. I run mostly the East Coast. I run from Texas back east all over from Pennsylvania back into Idaho. A lot of these states, four primarily, uh, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Illinois, and Wisconsin, I spent a good bit of time in those states. Each one of those states, for every Biden sign I see, I see roughly 20 Trump signs. So explain to me how he mysteriously lost the election in those states. Well, you know, sadly, signs and bumper stickers don't equal votes. Yeah. Uh, But... um, I, I know what you're saying, and, you know, when you look at the rallies versus I didn't go out, uh, it, it, there's, it, it just looks strange. There was passion on both sides, but I think it was really around Trump's personality more than anything. Yeah, you, you, and, and we'll know more as time goes on as we can break down some of these numbers, but I think it was not policy-driven as much as it was personality-driven. Bubba's right, and y'all, y'all need to remember this, and I think it'll, it's still going to frustrate you. I think that because there's really no way for any of us to wrap our mind around any person of any any high degree of population level, you know, meaning numbers, any large number of people, better way to put it, that said, I tell you one thing, it really doesn't matter who the Republican candidate was. I love We're back thirty five minutes past the hour. Sarah Breath, uh, hopefully, uh, if you were gathering with family over the uh, holiday weekend, uh, you uh, you did uh, give them the gift of fresh breath. Uh, you know, yesterday uh, at our uh, gathering that was at the house, a lot of Rick and Bubba sponsors broke out. We got into deep conversations. Sarah Breath came up, uh, and we were talking uh, about how these products are just incredible because... You know, even yesterday, you know, you, 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 you get ready, you go, you, you do your TheraBreath mouthwash and your toothpaste and you go to church and you've got some, you know, fresh breath, but then you come home and everybody starts eating and everybody gets into that and now you're like, okay, well, I, my, my breath not so fresh now. Uh, well, that's where the TheraBreath lozenges come in. They do a great job. Uh, don't forget, uh, also, you know, we were talking about a lot of times when you have a vacation like we had and it sounds like we... Oh, we're doing staycations uh, and just getting things done because it was easier when you don't have to go to work. One of the things I did on uh, vacation was go to the dentist uh, because I had not been for my cleaning. Clean them. And, you know, one of the things I was talking to Dudney about, you know, the whole thing about you got to stay on top of gum disease and you look at this and all that. Well, their breath, they've got a gum rinse that is fantastic. They've got whitening products that are fantastic. So if you'd like to find them all, you can go to therabreath.com. They're at over 100 different retailers as well. Of course, how many products are at each place depends on, uh, you know, shelf size. Uh, But anyway, therabreath.com to find them all. Or you can go to rickandbubba.com and you also can find them right there under the sponsors button. Uh, all right, so uh, yesterday uh, was Easter, and I know we we'll, we can go back through the chronological things that happened while we were gone, but uh, it being Easter, the reason why I'm bringing that up now is because something came up that I want to ask Greg about beyond the fact that his wife, her voice is gone, um, better known as what happened to Lily's voice. Yeah, um, that's what the grandkids want to but, but anyway, so yesterday, here's kind of how, you know, you never know how the family is going to fall out. So my house yesterday had uh, Big Love from Atlanta, uh, Tas- Hot Atlanta yeah, Tasmo, Brody, and his wife Cameron. I pick up uh, nephew Pearson, 
Reese and niece Kenley and my sister uh, Angie, better known uh, to our family as Sissy. So and Mama all, all yesterday at the house. Ooh, blue tie. So I'm talking and I hear a familiar theme. I hear my nephew Pearson talking about how his girlfriend, oh Rick, Briley, and Lily. Greg's wife, Lisa, are in some pursuit. Fellas, when I say this, you're not going to believe what I'm about to say. You really are not going to believe what I'm about to say to rescue a stray dog. What? And I said, not again. I, I just begin to shout out to the family. <laughs> Lisa was just offering not support. Not again. Was, no. Not again. And I'm like, how have you, Greg, no, you don't no, learn no, anything? No, 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 no. Lisa was just there for moral support. I heard that she, I heard she, she didn't got go through the scene. They're setting traps for the doll. What? Well, that yeah, but that was Briley in there. But Lisa was all about it. Don't how, get me wrong. She was, was all about it. But she, did, she wasn't on the scene now, or bringing the dog to my they house. They said that she was typing because she couldn't speak. <laughs> yes. But, but, what, but, she, but the dog was not coming Greg, to my house. Greg, are you in I, this I'm, again? I'm, I'm dogged out. Greg. I had to lock Millie up yesterday so she wouldn't try to attack the kids. You know how when <laughs> and we were doing that, as you come in, we did what we call, Bubba, one of our favorites, the Gray's format. Uh huh. You had yeah. you had various sandwiches and <laughs> That's croissants good. That's and good. all kinds of stuff laid out on the on the in the kitchen on the island, and you just go get what you want. That's awesome. So of course, you know, uh, we, when the food's around, it, you know, everybody's been at church and yeah. what everybody's meeting there, and yeah. was and I, I found out I thought my kids were on time. And I was just about to be proud of, of them until they it had to admit to me they thought the service started earlier than it did. <laughs> so they really weren't on time. Well, they, they, they were oh, late for the time they thought. That. They, they were, they, they were, I, when I got there and they were already there, I said, guys, is that a way to get it done? And and also one of them says, we thought it would start 1045. Oh, yeah, I'd have kept that to myself. <laughs> but, but, I'd have been bragging. It's like, thanks, that. Dad. Appreciate it. But I'm anyway, because we're at that point now where even when our son comes home, he wants to go stay at his brother's house as yes. opposed to stay with us. Yeah. But anyway, so um, – so I'm over there getting a croissant sandwich ready, of course. And all of a sudden, I hear no, right. my nephew Pearson, and I hear the con- women are like my sister, of course. You know, she's one of those uh, animal people, and and uh, that has you know <laughs> oh, me- they me- were all has medium to large dogs inside her house. But yeah. anyway, so Sorry about so, so she <laughs> says uh, she says, oh, did y'all ever get that dog? And also, I thought, well, I'm gonna let that go because that sounds like my sister. And look, and I'm over there, and he goes, oh, yeah, you know, uh, uh, Lisa got, and I, I said, Lisa? I said, what do you mean she Lisa? She was concerned and was a part, but was well, not yeah, physically involved, but. Quote, quote, yeah, Aunt Lisa got involved with, with uh, his, oh, she his, was tore his girlfriend, Briley. She was uh, tore up about it. I said, got involved about a, a dog, a stray, yeah, there's a stray dog we're all trying to catch, uh-huh. and, and, and and Lisa's really in. They were saying something like it was living on, at the interstate under the bridge, <laughs> right. or, and, they, what? and it was scared of people. And, and So I stopped. I look, said, everybody. The dog won't come to me. I figure he don't want, he don't want me to get it. No, the other one wouldn't come. No, you would not, Bubba. I still don't. I said, everybody stop. (laughs) Everybody stop. Is my brother involved in another stray dog? And no. I heard, well, yes. His, no, his, 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 his Lisa, roundabout way. So, offering support. Now, Lisa was concerned about it and had to keep me updated right up until she lost her voice. And that kind of was, that's why I didn't have to hear about the dog that much. Okay. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, she was tore up about it, but we were not physically involved. That dog's not coming to your house. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, because I heard. Hey, that I've cat, done that... my duty on that. I got a maniac that lives with me now. Right. That I've yeah, the I, dog. I've the heard, dog. I've heard this became a big. You know how the community uh, boards or face yeah. whatever, and they're all talking about it, and they finally captured this stray dog that everybody. Of course, there's Rick, no this has been hard. going on for it, uh, at least over a week. Okay, it's got some messed up leg, and of course, I I was sitting there. And my well, sister, if I've got to trap it, maybe it don't want me to get it. Right. And my sister got upset with me because I said, well, I'm glad y'all got the dog so the vet can now put it to sleep. <laughs> right. And, 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 and everybody was like, well, I said, yeah, you don't tell what's wrong with that dog. <laughs> Just take have <laughs> Lisa <laughs> drop some food for it, Greg. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I saw pictures. Of, oh, Lisa's fired up about it. Her, oh, they were just keeping See, up. So they are involved. But not physically involved. Hey, hey you know what she's going to say. I, I, listen, well, I've well, done my part on, on so Greg. How many, days, how many days are you going to be out on this one? Greg, no, we, you, I'm not, I will not have anything yeah. to do with it. Greg, this. we've all heard this before. No. Yeah. First of all, it's real far from me. So, so that 4, All right. So, and then, so then this leads into how did your wife lose her voice? I don't know. And it, Rick, we're not it's talking. Allergies. You know when people get a horse? Well, she had... A head cold real bad, yeah. and then yeah. that going sinus, on us, and then it went to her chest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about. Hey, I'm talking. I'm talking. She has to whisper. Has she no has voice. No voice. Mm. And, Which you know, I mean, 
Put it this way. This weekend at the house, I could hear birds chirping. <laughs> you know, that I didn't even know were there before. You know, so, I, mean, I, <laughs> I didn't even know were there before. Yeah, I, mean, I had no idea. So, you know, but I mean, I wanted to heal up. Don't get me wrong. Right. I mean, one or two more days. Would she just text you if, <laughs> you, if, you, if she needed you? Would she just text she, you? She actually, she called me one time and I was like, hey, hey. Oh, and how about this? She, <laughs> she wanted a Starbucks coffee. And she, she was by herself. She realized they wouldn't be able to hear her when she ordered it. <laughs> so she came home, and I had to go with her so I could order. They she couldn't hear her. They couldn't hear her. All right, so, and you <laughs> said you heard your grandkids talking about it? Yes. They, oh, they came over here. <laughs> First of all, Pace is there, and he hears her, so he starts whispering. Right. We've got to whisper. I said, no, we don't have to whisper. <laughs> Lily's whispering. Why? I, I don't. And he's still whispering. Like, <laughs> right. And then Ellis gets there, and he, again, I, I, so I started watching their faces. I couldn't wait till she spoke to them. They are like, yeah, they all started having funny faces. And he pulled Pace off to the side. He goes, what's wrong with Lily's voice? <laughs> <laughs> of course, Pace says, I think we're supposed to whisper. I said, no, you're not supposed <laughs> they, to whisper. They don't have to whisper. But that, you know, freaks me out. But no, she is, uh, I mean, she has no voice at this moment. Can't, I, and she talks just like this. That's it. That's mm. uh, and uh, <laughs> so what else? But, Lisa, no, we, dog, hope, we hope you're feeling better. Yes, Greg, we do. Lisa was throwing her her moral support for the dog. I didn't like she was not you physically involved. involved. I tell you this, you mm-hmm. know why she wasn't? Because it was too far away. <laughs> well, I'd get your attention. <laughs> it was I, too far away, or she would have been in it. But, uh, but oh, she'll, they, you know, good, she'll say, "We got we got a house, perfect set." No, no, hey, she she Riley, wouldn't. She wouldn't take another. Bring that dog over here. We'll look after it. You know, I, I sit down on the porch. Oh, Mister Buddy I comes up. Dogs. I love Mr. Bay. He's just a good old outside dog. He'll sit in my lap. He don't chew stuff up. And then there's that other one who yeah. don't even like me, chews everything up, I was a stray dog and, and eats 24-7. She's <laughs> fat as a tick now. And births many, many, many Oh, no, that's been taken care of. <laughs> Take a sip. Well, maybe we, yeah. can, maybe we can get this dog. Hey, can we drive? Uh, how did? Can we drive to Warrior, wherever it was? Yeah, it was I don't know. Oh wow, it that was is far, far away. Uh, maybe it was. It's wow. somewhere around there. I don't know where. It's it was. too far away to care. Really, goodness yeah. gracious! Absolute. <laughs> I knew that's where you would go. Absolute. So, Greg, so I, the locals have hey, to take care of their own. Strain. That's it. I have took <laughs> care of the ones that come in my area. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. going. Nobody from Warrior yeah. is coming to pick hey, yours up. None. If it's not in your county, I mean, come that's on. That's right. Hey, ask him how the ask him how the grandkids shared, Rick. No, they didn't do bad, but, but we overwhelmed them. We had so many eggs they didn't have to fight for them. Okay. It used to be where we would hide eggs. Yeah. Now, yeah, now, like with River, them. they would just throw them. I, I'm like, what are we doing? We did the same thing. I thought that we could hide them better. Yeah. Rick and, and Ellis and, and, and Marion were in one at their church, and it was like thousands of eggs. Wow. And they cut them loose. We just saw a video of it. Oh, my goodness. It was crazy. Oh, my goodness. So, are, But are, you see a lot of that now. They just have this huge, they throw them out in the field, and the kids just take off. And here so your go. grandkids are sharing better? Well, I, again, I believe if we'd had less eggs, right, could, they would have used more bad. competition. There was more than than they needed. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, but there back. was a few things. So they never they... went after the same one. Nah, not too bad. They did. They, I was surprised. <laughs> but now after that, divvying out the candy and all, they yeah. weren't. They didn't share yeah. that at all. Uh, we'll be back 15 minutes to the top of the hour, so you're not getting involved in this straight up. No, Rick. We're moral support, moral support only, coming from Lisa. Yeah, but if, you can't, if you can't hear what your wife Famous saying, last you, may, word. you may be involved. Well, that's Bubba. Joe Biden. As a matter of fact, I'm not even a Democrat or Republican. I'm just in love with Joe Biden. And I think Joe Biden is a magnificent politician, a tremendous leader. And I cannot wait for him to be the president of, of the, these United States of America. He is the guy we need. I've waited for 47 years. Yeah, for this moment. For this great moment in history. I just don't think those numbers, I'm sure they're out there, but there's not very many. Because we're a diverse country. Just about any opinion can be found somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, sure okay? you can. Here's what, what Bubba is saying, and, we, and I think you have to understand. Now, there are, I don't know whether this election, it'll ever be proven it was tampered with or not. Do I think there were some things that went on? That should not have gone on? Yes. Do I think COVID was used to, to allow that? Yes. Do I think that swung the election? I don't know. That I don't know. Uh, do I think that Trump is going to get the presidency back? I don't know. Uh, I, that I don't know. But I think that there is, and I've been, in, I've been in these circles, and you saw some of the things that even people of faith were writing in these articles, like you John Piper's and all that, and it just kind of tilted your head. There were people that felt like that – that 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 Trump being mean and arrogant was worse than some of the moral tenets of the Democratic Party, which is shocking. <clears throat> hey, <throat> hey, shocking. 
Uh, and and the, there was a lot of I am and I'm not even anti his policies. I'm not. I'm just anti him. Yeah, I, I just I, don't like the way act. I just yeah. find him to be repulsive, and I can understand that. But you gotta. I mean, it's almost like that's almost a childish uh, way to go about the future of a constitutional republic. Pretty childish. But there's a lot of it out there. I, I just found him to be so repulsive. I just want to cast my vote against him to say no to you. You're mean. You're arrogant. I don't like you. Well, and, uh, let's take let's take Pennsylvania for mm-hmm. example. Joe Biden said he's going to do away with diesel fuel, uh, with gas, gas and oil. Mm-hmm. Uh, he wants to totally do away with it, even though almost everything that we have made comes from it in some form or fashion because of plastics. And it's going to cost Pennsylvania many, many jobs and a whole lot of revenue. They still voted for it, so. You're, you're going to – election does have consequences, as uh, President Obama said one time, uh, and you're going to pay for it. So I, I can't really feel sorry for you. Right, but see, I don't – you said it – I forget what election it was – that it's turned into American Idol. Yes, oh, absolutely. So I, I do I do. I don't think, think that, people think – I don't think they understand the consequences right. of elections. I, I really agree. don't. I right. agree. They don't, they don't know the issues, don't understand them, don't dig into them to see what's real and what's not. And as I said before – Socialism is an easy sell to the uninformed masses, and that's what they—that's what they're playing to. It's obvious that we throw around words like socialism, and we don't know what they mean. <clears throat> we throw around words fascism and fascist, and we don't know what that means. We certainly don't know what a white supremacist is. No, we have no idea. Uh, we don't know what racism is anymore. Uh, we don't know what misogyny is anymore. We don't know what sexual harassment is anymore. And, and, and that's sad because all these things I just mentioned are extremely serious. But we've, we've made them like cartoons because we, we don't fully know what we're talking and about. And we throw them around. And we throw them around recklessly. And so what you have here is a personality contest. And one of the reasons why, sir, you may not see as many signs for Biden, there's not that many people I don't think that would be proud to put one in their yard even if they voted for him. And, and I think sometimes, you know, you always talk about how the left can be scary. Let's face it, sometimes – the sold out Trump supporter can be scary. You may not want to face the wrath of them in your neighborhood. Yeah. So, so it. Uh, I, I don't. I'm not saying this is all the voice of America legitimately, but I also think don't be naive to think just because it felt like to you <clears throat> that there's no way can't people see that Trump needs four more years? I wouldn't assume that because of what we just talked about. Well, we Ameri- all, America makes these makes these wild swings yeah. on their feelings, and a that's lot. historic too. Um, yeah. And we've always said Trump was a bulldozer, and he went in there and bulldozed. Now, a bulldozer makes a mess. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're good for clearing a lot, not real good for planting a flower garden. You know? Right. And what happens is sometimes people get to looking at the pile of trees laying around it. They don't go over here and see the great foundation that's been built. Right. Uh, they don't go over and see, well, look, we got rid of this. Look, that's moved now. That's gone. So you, you think, well, can't people see that the corporate tax rate really helped our economy dropping it? Can't people see that, that, that reducing taxes, which, by the way, not for the top 1%, the top 1% didn't get their taxes reduced. No. Well, uh, you know, okay. and, and are still being taxed anywhere from 37 to 40%. But, but that, hey, this moving the we, – we, we like the way we handled ourselves with some of the wars around the world. He tried to clean that up. We, we like the, what, what he's done for our veterans. Uh, we, we like how he, what he's doing here. Uh, you know, if you're a person of faith, you like the embassy being moved to Jerusalem. If you're a Jewish person, you got to really like that. Uh- Nine minutes to the top of the hour. Rick and Bubba's show, we're back. Thank you for being with us. Our number, 866-WE-BE-BIG. Still to come, uh, we'll run down more stories from vacation, including uh, I went turkey hunting with Gary. Hey, let me tell you something. If you'll come down there, we'll get one. And uh, we'll, we'll do the recap of that coming up. We got an update from Bubba uh, from uh, uh, the tornado uh, recovery update. We've got that going on, uh, still coming up a little bit later on. Now, this is going to be a very, very active month involving all things Rick and Bubba. Uh, speaking of Bubba, he will be a part of a banquet coming up 
uh, on the 6th of April, which I think is this Saturday, right? Is that, is that the 6th? Is that the 6th? Uh, and uh, Bubba will be in Hoover, Alabama, 104.7 WZZK, uh, part of a, a, a celebrity roast of the police chief there in Hoover, which will be fun. There's a chief great panel. Me. And uh, Bubba will be there uh, coming up this Saturday if you're going to be part of that. Details uh, are there at rickandbubba.com under upcoming uh, events. Should you be roasting the police chief? I worried about that. I don't that. know about did, that. Did you, uh, is this a good decision on your part? Yeah, you know, this is a Hallman deal. So. Yeah, oh, yeah. boy, Gene, I should have known yeah. that. Hallman can get, get you to do anything, can't you? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do you have, have your lines ready to roast we'll him? Have, well, i just make it up as I go, probably. <laughs> uh, so, uh, no, we, uh, we're, we'll we have big fun. Paul Feinbaum's going to be there. Several other yeah. folks will be there, and uh, be good to see Polly again. So, uh, so if you you are in the Birmingham area or coming to Birmingham, be part of that. It'll be a blast, and you'll enjoy that. If you're looking for man churches this weekend, got a couple of those on the same day. Uh, West Mobile Baptist Church uh, coming up this Saturday. Andy Blanks will be there uh, as they continue to go through the men's discipleship strategy. Rich Wingo Saturday will be down in Laurel, Mississippi. We've had a lot of great fun with folks in Laurel. Salem Heights Baptist Church, Rich Wingo speaking there coming up this Saturday. So we got uh, a lot going on Saturday involving uh, the Rick and Bubba show directly and indirectly. Um, all right, so Bubba, we do have right here for you today, sir, mm. a birthday cake mm. from Edgar's Bakery celebrating your 60th birthday. Thank you, Edgar's. Happy birthday to you. Huh. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday, dear Bubba. Happy birthday to you. Hey, I'm 60. 60. I can run. I can jump. I'm still breathing. 60 Barely. years old. Woo. We uh, we celebrated very, uh, uh, we celebrated hard this week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we worked hard. We celebrated hard. Yeah. So did you and, start uh, uh, Marty Bubba, does, does day one, the 27th? No, 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 no. We we just look for whatever week that falls in, and we try to make it that week. Any okay. any any and, days uh, that'll work there yeah. and there. And we we went out to to dine at some new places I hadn't been to, and uh, uh, Caitlin came in from DC, awesome. which was a surprise. Sweet. I didn't think oh, she was going to come in. Oh, good. She did get here for your in. birthday. Yeah, yeah okay. she did. So uh, that was a lot of fun, and uh, we uh, we had a little get together Saturday night. Mm -hmm. uh, Betty threw a little party so for Betty me. Had a, good time. Oh, a little soiree. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> looks like you can bathe in that drink. Uh, <laughs> hey, Martina. <laughs> Hey, uh, well, you she got the birthday uh, boy's hat on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Uh, hey, somebody yeah. give me a sombrero. Sing on the blue show. Somebody say so, oh, show. Uh, so uh, yeah, we we had a we had a very good time. I'll That's I'll good. put some of those pictures up of uh, the get together Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Betty pitched a party. You know, she had swore she'd never do another birthday party for me. <laughs> I remember that after I messed up the 50th. I remember uh, that. I, remember that. I, I don't know what it is about the birthdays that land on, right on here, tens. That's, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, this was just during the week, right? Yeah, this yeah, is this is one <laughs> heck of a sombrero over there. That's right. We're in downtown Eclectic right there having a good time. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that, that looked like a lot of fun. So <laughs> Look at you. Fun to say and a great place to eat. So she yeah. swore she'd never do it again. Yeah, uh, we, uh, we, these 10 birthdays, oh, we always have problems with them. Because yeah. you, you may remember she was planning my 40th birthday. She was going to do a surprise birthday party, and I was just 39. Yeah, I remember. And I discovered the list, and I said, "Look, I'm all oh. for this, but you need to know that it's not." 40. I forgot all about that. By and, way. Twenty years ago, by the way, twenty and then, years ago. Yeah, and then on my fiftieth, we had uh, I was coaching tennis, and I did not get off the court as quick as she wanted me uh -oh. to. And uh, I caught a little grief about that, but I couldn't I couldn't leave the team out there. No, no, you can't do that. It's like the captain leaving the ship. Right, can't yeah, do that. Can't right. do that. And uh, so she had swore she'd never do it. So I guess she felt sorry for me. And uh, and we we had a get together uh, this this weekend and uh, saw a lot of folks, a lot of our neighbors, and uh, they've they've been great help. Uh, so Good many of them gracious. have come over and worked, and you know they've cut trees and helped haul boxes in, and the ones that didn't physically help have been there, you know, supporting with with supportive text and phone calls right, and. Right. 
Uh, it's been a, a, a collaborative effort. So we're about 99% in the All house. All right. That's good. A, a, with the exception of the yard. The yard is a total. Oh, well, yeah, we, we, then we take the yard, yard and say, let's put that forget over here. Forget the yard. You know, and thanks. Just forget the yeah. yard. It, it looks like happen. we have. We right. forgot the yard. Well, yeah. and thanks to Yale, Bruce Pearl was able to help you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> You can leave. Yeah, you can leave on that. Yeah. Hey, you just walk uh, out. Hey, coach. Hey. hey. What are you right. doing? Hey, oh, ignore right. the yard, coach. Right. We're but, out of the uh, rental. We're not going to worry about the yard. We already talked about that. We I don't want to worry uh, about the yard. I, I will tell you this, and there's several. I, I'll I'll highlight some of these <laughs> new eating places I enjoyed later in the week. Sure. We did get to go to a, a new place I've never been to called Truman's. Is this one you were telling Greg about? Yeah. Great. Sounds and, like a uh, place I'd like. If, you, yeah. uh, the, if you've been south of Eclectic on Highway 9, you're familiar with Truman's. Well, yeah, I, I'm and, not familiar uh, with it. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Pee Wee, the maitre d' there. <laughs> oh, uh, you don't and, think uh, Pee Wee can? Anybody <laughs> named Pee Wee you want to Well, look, with, huh? he, let me tell you, he gets after it now. He, he had, I uh, saw his truck when I was leaving, and he has a yard service and Cuts so trees. he's not just a major D, and then mm-hmm. and then you know cooks and handles all that too. Runs that's a that operation. I guy. mean, that's hey, that's right. awesome. Let Long me as tell he you washes what. his hands between. Pee Wee's one of those guys. You know, he gets after. It. Oh yeah. I mean, he he greets you hard at the door. Pee Wee. He's got he's running the, the ship. You know, it's yeah. a tight tight knit ship. Oh and, yeah. So, uh, but I I had never been to Truman's. Good before. old home cooking. Mm-hmm. Oh, what, what you, you talking about? That. What you talking about? It was good. Yeah. Golly. I mm-hmm. bet there's a field piece somewhere in there. Uh-huh. And, and, now uh, you did say that you that you celebrated so much this week that we probably you're not gonna have any cake today. So uh, I probably don't need your favorite, to have any cake. It's, it's your <laughs> favorite, <laughs> Bobby. Uh, let me Bobby. rephrase that. It sure does um, smell good, doesn't it? And uh, you I, know, Edgar's uh, <laughs> really does a lot of cakes for us. When they go, okay, well, how do you like it? I want Bubba's favorite. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, uh, got it. I'll probably have a corner piece just because I don't want okay. anybody. Well, I'll, I'll well, why be rude? And, uh, I mean, you're yeah, sixty. Know. You know. Sixty. So. And when people, and what, what was so funny? Caitlin came in, and we wasn't really expecting her. And uh, I had been kind of, you know making fun of that a little bit because she seems to make a lot of birthday parties around the country oh that okay. and uh, oh, that's oh. so oh. she came in to surprise us and that was good but it's so funny because her work this is just how different her world is where oh, yeah. she works in washington she says i've got to fly out sunday afternoon because we're going to the white house monday <laughs> and i'm like you know, <laughs> uh, you know don't go on it yeah. i'd love to stay with it, but i gotta get to the white house <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. 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 sure you know nice yeah. sombrero yeah. yeah yeah so i think they're celebrating easter today because they couldn't do it yesterday yeah yeah oh, wow yeah. are we gonna go there oh, today you, you talk about just not being smart that's yeah. just not being smart it's not it's top of the hour rick and bubba rick and bubba uh hey do you like the way that he saw the war on terror and how, how this doesn't need to continue to be tolerated um trying to uh, uh trying to take america's needs and put them uh, first uh, some people, you know, if you had a border that was out of control, he tried to resolve that. If those things mean something to you, then you probably should have been looking more at that than his personality. Uh, because presidents come and go, but their policies, they stay uh, and and they last. Uh, and so when somebody comes in that you may say, well, there's something about old, old Joe. I just kind of like old Joe. Uh, but when old Joe gets in there and his administration starts implementing policies, this country will pay prices for for years to come, um, that's real important. And it's really more important than whether someone is likable or not. But uh, yeah. I vote for American Idol. I vote for the president. I know. You're right. I, I just said that for me. Yeah, I, I, I know I that uh, because I have to keep saying it to myself. I'll yeah. say that a lot this weekend <clears throat> you know, to myself. I'll talk it out. I've talked it out with myself, and I'm good, but uh, it still doesn't mean that, that it's not about to be a little wild out there. I mean, I, I know where my hope is found, so I'm good. But I just want you all to know it's still important to know these things. Yeah. So, top of the hour, we'll be back. 866-WE-BE-BIG. More of the Rick and Bubba Show coming up. We've got uh, a look at college football, and I will say this. Right now, it looks like no one's getting Beth Mowens. So, you know, but she could come out of the darkness, but we don't think so. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Well, yeah. doesn't the federal government uh, <laughs> underwrite a good bit of the mortgage loans with Fannie yeah. Mae and Freddie Mac? I think so. So why don't we waive the one? That's over coming, there? Bubba. That's coming. Don't don't. don't but now you just I, where, and where I take, feel bad for you is yours is not going to be forgiven. And then I'm going to take my no. universal basic income too. I need some of that. 
Oh, yeah. We're so here, here's this works so well everywhere else. It does say outside the government that most student loans are held by the lender and a third-party loan servicing company. Be careful with these people. I'm well, a servicing company, just, I mean, they're just doing the paperwork and all that, but and they're getting a little cut for doing that. But who, who you say the go, is the government underwriting most of that? Do they, Correct. Do, do they make the loan back to them? Correct. So let's, let's go back to this, okay? So here's how the, the far, far left sees this right now. We, and then are you going to go back and pay people who already paid theirs off? We need to give people universal income. Mm-hmm. We need to get a minimum wage that is unattainable. Well, we, we, you we don't need, worry about a minimum wage, Rick, if you have basic universal, universal income because right, so you don't have to work. Let's just stay with universal income. You just income. get a check. Universal income, yep. free housing, yep. free college, yep. uh, free health care. Yep. Now, I know that – I see, I know that those Where things – Well, you going to need it because you ain't going to have a job anyway. Yeah. Those things cost a tremendous amount of money. Right. Mm-hmm. And then we're also going to pay for all of this. Stay with me now. We're going to pay for every bit of this. Let's all just use our walking around chewing gum logic. We're going to pay for all this by taxing only 1% yeah, of America. Think about that. Now, Denise, y'all don't really believe that, do you? Come on, y'all smarter than that. And look, let me ask right, you, you this. On, if you, you smart. Mm-hmm. That math doesn't, doesn't work. work. If, you doesn't. Get, if you get free college... But they jack the taxes up when you go out into the workforce, assuming you ever get there. Yeah. And you pay higher taxes for that. You still pay for your education. You just paid for it later. Or you paid for somebody else's because somebody else has paid for yours. It still ain't free. Do they it's, not see that? Bubba, none of it's free. No. Come on now. No, no there no. are no free lunches. It, it gets paid somewhere. Somebody's over here thinking they have free health care, too, and they look and their taxes have doubled. Mm-hmm. I got free health care. Your taxes just doubled. <laughs> no, my health care is yeah. free. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Wait just a minute. <laughs> Are you telling me that if I don't have health care, it still gets paid for? <laughs> huh? Mm. So my taxes went up, but I got free something? Does that mean that it's not really free? <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. How'd that happen? <laughs> Golly. So we, we, can, we got walking around since, don't we? Hey, everything costs more. Yeah, but look what's free. Hey, why do you think everything costs more? Yeah. Hey, look, hey, we raised that corporate tax rate on these evil businesses. Man, why is bread so expensive? Yeah. And how come they ain't much of it? Hey, uh, my uncle got fired. Did he? Yeah. They're going to reduce their workforce. Are they really? Wow. Yeah. How about that? So they'll either reduce the number or, or, or they'll pay everybody less. Well, let's, let's look there at this go. too, Rick. You take the guy who's That's running a factory that bakes bread, okay? Mm-hmm. And he, you know, he has income, he has expenses, and hopefully when it's all evens out, he carries a little home for himself. Well, he has to invest in new ovens and new things, and he has to, you know, do that and keep that going, and he has regulatory things to be sure his bread's good. He's got that he has to answer to. That's all fine. Got competition. Got other bakers down the road. And then you come in and you say, well, I I have to make a so-and-so minimum wage. Well, all he can do is jack up the price of the product to cover it. Well, then, what? What if can he compete with everybody else? You know, you got to figure all that in, and then they, uh, you know, are going to are, are going to want this and want that and hire this, and they're going to tax him on what he was making. To at some point, he looks at it and goes, "Guys, I'm losing money doing this. I'm better just to stay at the house." So he shuts it down. Yeah. Well, that happens to all the little bread factories, and guess what? Then there's no bread on the shelf. Mm-hmm. So who really won that? Then there's the government- no bread, and there's no place for these people to work. Then the government starts making bread, which means we'll have bread when we can. <laughs> All right, so we have Cindy out of Georgetown, Texas. Says she is a former student loan consultant. She can tell us everything we need to know. Okay, All right. Good. So we'll come back because day one, Biden's being urged to just forgive all student loans. Day one. Throw in mortgages and car payments. Let's get them all. We'll be get right back. All. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. minutes now past the hour here we go speedy the real greg burgess helmsy and eddie van adler all back team rick and bubba back uh, from vacation uh hope you enjoyed the best of shows when we were away uh and welcome back 
the birthday boy himself while we were away turned 60. 60? Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, that sounds so old. It is, Bubba. Glad to be here. Thank all of you for joining us. It is the Rick and Bubba Show, 30 years in the making. 30 years rolling through. Now four months in, Bubba. Uh, we're in month number four of year 31. Now, I'm, I, 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 this guy meant this as a compliment, and I mentioned this coming out of the break. So I don't know how everybody's your different churches out there do different things. There's multiple services when it gets to, you know, Good Friday and then the Resurrection Sunday. And this, I mean, this is the biggie uh, for for our faith. Uh, this is when it all was completed and 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 hope was established. But so we have our the church we're sharing our members. We do a Friday night Good Friday service. And then you have multiple services uh, on Sunday uh, on Resurrection. So I was at the Good Friday service on Friday night. And, you know, you know when people say things to you, those backhanded compliments, <laughs> and a guy comes over, he says, hey, can I ask you something, do something for me? And I said, sure, sure, sure. Won't you and Bubba stay on vacation a little longer? <laughs> and I said, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, okay, uh, you, you, don't, you don't want us to come back Monday? No, because that's going to be the end of the best of shows. I'm telling you, I've been loving them best of shows. Won't y'all give us some, a little another week of that? And I thought, I, I think that's a compliment. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I didn't. Do you right. tell him? Do you tell him Fourth of July is not that far? <laughs> right, right. I was like, uh, <laughs> but you know, that's the first time I had a guy just say, "I tell you what, y'all just keep enjoying yourself. I'm enjoying these best of shows." Well, and I listen here and there, bits and pieces on the few days, because as you and I both have talked about, I don't know if with all the work you had to do, you ever got there. But I drifted back in to, you know, going to bed about 1030 and sleeping, oh, yeah. sleeping to about 730. Oh, I, I slept to uh, eight o'clock a couple of more. What? Yeah. 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 Party animal. I was getting, no, I, I would just give out. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so anyway, uh, that, that is a backhanded way to say great job. Yep. And also a compliment, I guess, that we have a great library of, of older stuff. And, and there was one that somebody said they, they went off on the side of the road and had to pull off. I got a text on that and I didn't remember it. And they called it the flying turtle. Yeah, I played that. I had never all these best ofs, and I'll, I'll try to find some you know obscure ones every now and then. And I saw the title "Flying Turtle," and I thought, "What is that?" So I just chanced it. It was <laughs> what, funny. It's it Slade's. I mean, mm-hmm. I got a. I what was, was it about? I, I don't I even story, remember. There was a story on the news that there was covering it. Someone had taped a bunch of balloons to a box turtle, and it flew up in the air and got hung up in a tree. <laughs> And these people were wanting to like they were you know, kind of like the stray dog. They were worried about the box turtle. Now the woman made the statement that if Everything if nobody to the wants to adopt it, that she'll take it in. And Rick's like, "It's a box turtle. Yeah. Won't you just let, let it, it go? go? Don't put it in a glass it bowl where it can't go anywhere. <laughs> right? Put him back out in the wild. But, but Greg said, it wants to be. Greg said we all started theorizing that the turtle may have wanted to fly. Yeah, maybe and this was making a dream, dream to come fly. Come <laughs> but what's funny is he was hung in like a tree. Roger driving. <laughs> but he's taped. They duct taped him to the balloons, and he was hung in a tree. So it's a pretty good story. So anyway, I've never heard it all these yeah. years. Good job, guys. Uh, and uh, everybody, yeah. everybody, excellent job. Everybody did enjoy that. It, it gives us peace of mind to be able to do what we got to do. And Bubba, why, it's been so long ago. And I was thinking the same thing. Going back chronologically, when we left on Friday before our vacation over a week ago, you were going to really what we considered to be, I, I, now that I look at it, it may have been part of your birthday celebration, to go to a place like Giga Parts in Huntsville and, and Grip and Grin. Well, it was their grand opening, but it was my gift. That's right. There's no yeah. doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, Huntsville is a, is a wonderful town, but it's just different. You know, it's a different group of yeah. people oh, you no run doubt. into. Yeah, no doubt. Nice folks. Yeah. Very nice folks. But it is a high-tech town. Yep. And Patrick and Robbie, who we've known since high school, we were talking about it uh, when we were there, I think. When we first met them, they were in high school. And, you know, the trend has kind of been to go away from brick and mortar and yeah. go, you know, smaller. and Which makes me kind and, of sad sometimes. And let me tell you what. They've said to heck with that. Right. Uh, yeah. They have remodeled an old Home Depot store. And have made it mm. a technology superstore, and I, Rick, I, I knew it was going to be good, but I was absolutely blown away when I went in there because of all the things they carry now that I love, yeah, and and stuff that I'm interested in yeah. that I've never like astronomy. I know Hams has been a telescope oh, guy, 
Oh, yeah. But they've got that. Treasure hunting, you mm. know, if you're into metal detecting, all of that. Photography, they've got all that stuff. And then the things they've always carried, you know, a lot of computer stuff and ham radio gear mm-hmm. and just all kind of... I didn't know the location. Parts, you know, I didn't you know the get, location of yeah. um, Giga Parts until this past weekend when I looked up and saw it right there on the corner. Oh, I, well, just, it, I just saw um, the footage of, and, boy, like a party going on. L- <laughs> let me tell you, they... They there's so <laughs> many cranking it up. There's there. so many nice folks, and <laughs> but it's funny because they come up and you're talking to them, and and all of them love you know listing on the river, and yeah, sure. the, so <clears> many the of river. them have listened for so many years, and I, I'll ask them what they do, and I said, well, I, I build the docking ring on the International Space Station, <laughs> I you know, know, just uh, like just yeah, like I would say, so I can't you know, go into the grass. grass. Yeah. You yeah, know you what I mean? Don't hear that yeah. much around here. And, and then you know somebody else comes up. What do you do? Well, I you know I do CAD drawings for uh, rocket motors. Oh, really? No, no, no. And then, you know, it's just it's stuff like Normally that. What do you do? That. Well, I, I I test metals for, uh, you know, for uh, for uh, nose cones for missiles or something. And you're like, <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. I, 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 wow, right. wow, yeah. I, I need That's to know impressive. more about that. Right. That's your job. Yeah. 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 That's just, it's yeah. just a cool, cool place. It's that well, moment again where you find yourself going, well, I do Big Bubba hellos. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I spent a good. will of canned yeah. meat. Yeah. 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 We, were really, we were really yeah. close together that Saturday. Oh, I know. Uh, you were I know. 9 to 12 there, and then we had a baseball game. Of course, the wind was awful. And I thought you might come by, but I, I well, told everybody because the, the parents were tailgating and they had all brought food. And I said, well, Bubba might be stopping by. Well, I, I kept ended looking up, for I ended windy. Up running a little late. So windy. And uh, so, I mean, time flew by. Kevin came by. The, the, the You know, the river was all set up. They had oh, a, okay. a booth there. Sure. And uh, so we, we had a great That's time. Good. And I appreciate everybody coming out. It was a lot of fun. Speedy, I heard you talking again on the kickoff <laughs> it's, hour. It's, and you mentioned the wind. It's again. windy. Do you remember? He's obsessed with the wind. Do you remember when you were a little kid? And it's before. You're, you're a little younger than us, so maybe not. Mm-hmm. But Bubba and I do remember so this. So windy. There were no radars. The weather forecast on your local TV station yeah. featured little cartoon figures. Right. Yeah. That they would magnetic. Put, magnetic. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember what the figure yeah. was for March? Uh, it's always windy. It was yeah. a it, it was, was a cloud, cloud, it was a cloud blowing, blowing, yeah. blowing wind. Yeah. Right, with right. Lines coming yeah. Out. But there's certain areas <laughs> that you, know, you they, just you know, feel March it more. March is kind of known for wind. Really? Where where UAH <laughs> campus is, it's just in a jet stream. It's <laughs> a little higher. It's all on a ridge. So you like at my parents' house in Southeast Huntsville, I could be in the front yard. And it's kind of blowing, mm-hmm. but you know, it's just oh, that's a nice no, little breeze. It. You go there, and yeah. you're holding stuff down. You're like, it's 25 miles an hour up here. Right. Yeah. Anyway, did, did you, you know, Rig? When I was in the play, just Feb- do a study. February on trial. Yeah. <laughs> when I played the defense attorney for the month of I, February, I all the other months were mad because they only had 28 days. One of the witnesses called was March, and she was the whole time she was like. Whew. See, yeah, it's a wind. Right. I know, but it's just something about to there. It. You objected to a wind noise. I objected to a wind noise, and, I, and my it's, line was, "Is this exhibition necessary?" Right. <laughs> You remember uh, so good. third grade. That's good. So, Speedy, and you, I don't know if you're this way, but, you know, allergies, we've sure. all been dealing with the pollen thing. Oof. But wind makes me sick for uh, some reason yeah. in March. Why is that? How can wind make I you sick? I guess it's blowing more stuff probably, up your nose. Is, probably, is that it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, you're just yes. getting more pollen than normal? Yeah. Blowing, yeah. Blowing I can see pollen and dropping like ashes. If, if I get out in the wind in March, you can count on it, I'm sick. But, I mean, it's just going to yeah, happen. Yeah. Yeah. Like we were talking about, especially if you got a tent. Out there at a game, oh, yeah. or you got your Wind bag, your bag chair, and you take the chair out of it. Also, the bag blows off, yeah. and you're chasing it. Through <laughs> there the were literally lot. people that were in the ballpark chairs would get up, and the chair would fly oh, over. Yeah. It's, no, it's, crazy. it's crazy. The amount of pollen falling too, because you, you set something out, the yellow clean, cloud. and I mean, you you turn around and it's yellow oh, that quick. I mean, it's like it'll kill a fella. It is my truck. I mean, I'll, I'll rinse it off, and yeah. then like you say, ten minutes. Oh, later, it's all just like it is. All right, phone calls are next. We'll do our first phone troll of the week, and we haven't done one of these in a while. So the Patriot Mobile phone troll coming up next, 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. The Rick and Bubba Show, 866 We Be Big is our number. We start a brand new hour from the broadcast plaza and teleport. And we start this hour with the national anthem.
about you, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, and those on the way to Thanksgiving. Yep. Welcome to the Rick and Bubba Experience. Come on. Put your hands together. So, uh, Bubba, how are you? I'm doing very well, sir. How are you? Well, Feeling blessed today. Yep, no doubt. A lot to be be thankful for uh, on our very worst day. We have very, very uh, so much to be thankful for. But I was going to ask you this because, you know, we mentioned and we were talking about true. Uh, today uh, normally is uh, the most traveled day of, of the year. Uh, I know, and I saw some stories, I know that uh, the, the governments and all these different places, I, th- I think in – if I'm not mistaken, Washington State even attempted to cancel Thanksgiving. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I mean, just cancel it. Uh, and the, the the government is canceling Thanksgiving. I, I don't know that they have that 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 uh, power, uh, but they were. Well, why not? I don't know if that was a suggestion or. Yeah. or but, but the word was used. Washington State's governor is canceling Thanksgiving. This, the, the, what we have from four hours ago, the story we have today: Washington State homeowners fight back against uh against state mandates, saying non-essentials stay at home, don't do anything kind of yeah do your own thing yeah don't don't get together or anything so and then i saw a story because again we're, we're we're 50 states and there's local and there's state and, and the federal's kind of staying out of it to a degree i know andrew cuomo would love to tell the whole country what to do but yeah. uh, because you know he is a masterful leader but uh, emmy award winning emmy award winning yeah. masterful leader but um I, I guess, but I, but I saw a story, and I guess it was getting toward the end of the evening for us to go to bed, and it seems like that they were showing that people were defiantly traveling at at, at, pre, at pretty big numbers anyway. They mm-hmm. they just refused to. They just said no to that. And um and I'm, I'm I'm not talking about it would be the numbers we normally have, but it's bigger numbers than they expected in the pandemic. I, I saw that. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have that, Rick. Um. Well, you know, I, I don't know. I, you, you've got to be, you know, we're trying to balance civility with pandemic, yep. and it's a tough juggling act. Oh, yeah, sure. It is. Uh, I think a lot of the country, uh, I mean, we're at all-time highs now in our numbers, but I think just a lot of people in the country are just, uh, you know, they're pandemic out. And they've said, you know, we're going to do something. Uh, you, you need to be wise in this and take precautions. We're cutting down our, our group that we usually have a little bit. Yeah, we are but, um, you know, it's uh, hopefully if we get to the other side of this uh, and the vaccines are successful, as they say they're going to be, we can put an end to this thing. But, look, there's just uh, I, I know a lot of families who are not visiting with the older members of the family this time. They're trying to, to you know, be smart about that. So, But there are a lot of people still out moving around, and, uh, you know, today is the busiest travel day of the year, and while the numbers are down, there's still uh, a lot of people moving around. Yeah, I saw that it's more than they expected it, and I think you touched on and I started thinking about this, and, and I was listening to some commentary about this, too, on the way in, is I think as we move forward, and, uh, you know, because I think people, we always think about, you know, you have to flip and look at, at each side of a coin. Uh, you know, there's things that, uh, that, that I'm, uh, um, that, that I'm going to do and, and then this and that. And I started thinking about, I think it's time for this country, and I think you're seeing some of it, you better start compiling a list of things that you will not do. Yeah. I'm talking about if, if what, what are your lines when you say okay that 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 is my line right now and I will not abide by that uh, and uh, and I think uh, to your point uh, the, how this is lasting I think. It's time for the Patriot Mobile Phone Troll. Uh, make your phone money count by going to patriotmobile.com slash Bubba. They make switching very, very easy. Uh, and uh, we got a, a Patriot Mobile phone troll going now. All 10 lines are available. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Uh, if you want to join us, comments, questions, bringing information to the table at the end of 30 seconds. The buzzer sounds. Uh, as we've said, barriers are blessings. Uh, your time on the program comes to a close. We'll get to another 
uh, caller at that point. No meaningless shout outs, no shameless plugs. Uh, this is designed uh, for you to make a comment, ask a question, or bring information to the table. So if you want to join us now, uh, the real Greg Burgess on the phones. Lines are available. Ben will get us started. Trolling, trolling, trolling. Keep them phones to trolling. Here we come, phone trolling, phone troll. Ben, welcome to the Rick and Bubba Show. 30 seconds, go ahead. Hey, guys. I've been listening to the best of stuff, and I uh, really enjoyed it. Had a quick question. Okay. I wonder what Willie's doing. <laughs> right now. What do you think old Willie is doing right now? Bubba, if there's one thing this 30th anniversary has brought is people wanting us to revisit that. And uh, I, I saw Dr. Dudney, uh, our dentist, when I went for my checkup while we were on vacation. And he said, you know, he's a veteran. He said, I got to hear Willie Wand again. I saw it. I have to ask this question. Does that get old? I mean, are you, are you tired of listening to it? He goes, absolutely not. No. He said, I, I, it never gets old. And I'll tell you, I know it's now, been over. Now, living it was not near as much fun. No, yeah, no. I started to say, that doesn't get old either. No. Yeah, and um, it's been well over a year since we actually played it during a Best of show. Oh, really? Okay, and, good. Uh, and so um, that's we, always fun to get the reaction from, from those that hear it for the first time because so many people come along and have never heard it. And then those, to your point, Rick, that are just veterans that, like, I could hear it a hundred times. It's it like, just keeps getting better. And, you know, it's like saying, am I tired of hearing American Pie all seven and a half minutes? No. <laughs> and and far as revisiting that, I, you know, the old saying about letting dogs lie yeah. you know, are, yeah. are in play. But I I can share some information with y'all off the air that will oh. back that up even oh. more. Oh. New information? Okay. Well, Maybe. Okay. Oh. Uh, Austin in Alabama. Austin, 30 seconds. Go ahead. Hey, guys. How are you? We're great. Good. I remember over the break, I heard a story Speedy told about how he had a gas can that was a first thread. And I remember when I was 18, I was trying to take my tire off my truck, and I was actually turning it the wrong way. Mm. And me and this dude just tightened the mess out of it. Oh. So, so when we finally under found out what we were doing, my other friend came and he's like, "Good lord!" Who so, so, did you do that to a gas can? Yeah, um, I came clean the other morning. I was um, filling up a gas can. I had to run up and do some cutting and all that, and so I needed to fill it up. And I was sitting there, and I had turned the the can around. Yeah. And in my mind, because you're half awake. You know, I was turning yeah. it the wrong way sure. and didn't realize it, yeah. even though I know left is, is you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Lefty yeah, lefty yeah, everybody lefty. knows that. I'll and, tell you, whoever came up with that, y'all saved me so many right. times. Yeah. And in That's my mind, one. I couldn't figure it out. And I had a bunch of just blue collar men, trucks, just, I mean, they're just had, you know, power guy. They were just all around. And sure. I, and one guy saw what I was. I was struggling. I felt like I lost my man car because I know what to do. I just my mind wasn't working. Understood. Right. And of course, you tried to explain that, and he didn't listen. <laughs> I just uh, Mike in Huntsville, one hundred point three, the river. <laughs> speaking of Huntsville, go ahead. Oh, we lost Mike. Uh, I guess we won't do that. <laughs> Curtis in Columbus, Mississippi, ninety six one. Curtis, go ahead. Yeah, I have a better way for Adler Adler to get them stumps out of cage. And told me one time you dig a hole by a stump and take a small propane bottle and put it in there, cover it up, and light a small candle. Right, kind of up under, step out there about 75 yards and shoot it and blow it out of the ground. Yeah, I kind of think uh, that what Adler did was better. Uh, that, yeah. that that feels, that feels a lot like... Especially where he lives. Yeah, yes. It, that sounds unnecessary, <laughs> yeah. unnecessary risk there, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to blow up anything. I think you should have tied it to your van and just pulled it out. Yeah. Uh, somebody did email me and say, drill a bunch of holes in it and pour buttermilk in there, and then in 30 days it'll be rotten and gone. Why yeah, don't we, is anything better though than what these people did? I, I hear right. all these remedies too. It, it just it just doesn't seem but then, better. Even if you do that, you still have a rotten stump right. in your yard. You know I mean? right. yeah, right. You're still gonna have to mulch I mean, it. These up. people come in and make mulch for you and leave. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, it's I, I, it's, I mean it, the stump's gone by lunch. <laughs> when you yeah. hear no. things like buttermilk will rot out a stump, right. and Coke will yeah. Yeah. remove the rust off of golf clubs, right. Mm -hmm. Does that not concern you of putting these things in your body? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've seen things that soft drinks do, and I think, eh, probably not good to drink a lot of those. <laughs> it's, it's, all about, it's all about how much. I know. Right. Oh, I know. sure. Sure. Yeah. And, a and, little bit of fluoride protects your teeth. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. Too much, and you're, you're a goner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lines are available. Greg is there. 866 hey, We Be Big Dexter. Uh, Dexter, welcome to Rick and Bubba. 30 seconds. Go ahead. 
Hey, Green Acres, Green Acres. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, I was just letting you guys know, man, uh, I got a petition started and uh, for you guys not to retire, and I got some pretty prominent people on this petition. Got over 3,000 signatures already, so. Well, I know Bubba's on. You know, hey, we, we, <laughs> <laughs> hey, After this yeah, week. So, you know, you guys, can't, you guys yeah. can't retire, so, you know, just let you guys, I'll retire from the military. But I'll let you guys know that you guys can't retire from the radio. Well, thank you, man. That's, that's, that's awful. Very, kind of very, and very thoughtful. When you say prominent, I'd, I'd like to see w- what that is. <laughs> the uh, I started to stir some things up this morning on Twitter, and, and because it's April Fool's, of day. course. And I just I didn't want it, y'all yeah. to have to deal with. That I know. I, I keep thinking to myself, I need to remember this today because <laughs> yeah, I'll Fool's. get it. Somebody yeah. will hook me good sure. at my lunch. Oh, today. sure. But I yeah. sent my boys an April Fool's. Uh, you know, you never know if you're going to mess with the family or not. Mm-hmm. I sent one. Uh, that said that their mom, I called their mom, my wife, Terry, and uh, she answered the phone. And, of course, she never answers because it was April. Oh. <laughs> uh, and, and they really got a kick out of that one. And I'm like, yeah. hey, why are you calling me, son, for your mom? Well, she won't answer. Bye hey, bye. Are you with her? Uh, I had a chance to be on with Glenn Beck Friday. Mm-hmm. How's Glenn? Well, as soon as he came out of the break, <laughs> guess what he talked about? His induction to the Radio Hall of Fame. It's almost like he had not mentioned that his entire show. And well, so, that was a couple of years ago, wasn't it? Uh, he, he, no, he mentioned it as if it was very hmm. recent. And I said, wow, so you just dropped the Hall of, Fame th- Hall of Fame thing and then mentioned the Rick and Bubba show right after, so to be sure everybody knows we're not in it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he made the statement that that means that, uh, that we're still getting after it. He said, getting in the Radio Hall of Fame is like getting married. You really keep yourself in shape and try to do really well, so somebody <laughs> want to marry you. But then once you're married, you just get fat, and don't yeah. care anymore. <laughs> and, 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 and so, uh, yeah, uh, I, I want to say he went in a couple of years ago. For some I reason, I remember him talking oh, no. about going to yeah. New York yeah. and everything. That sounds familiar. For some reason, he well. mentioned it coming out of the break, uh, as if it was maybe he was just using that as a promo. I'm Hall of Fame inductee Glenn Beck. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It was just it was it was really weird. And, of course, you know, when you think back to how long ago we had the CD title, 14 mm-hmm. years and still no awards, I mean, it. Uh... Yeah, 2020. Uh, the class of 2020, Mark yeah. and Brian. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Donnie Simpson. Let's see, we we'll keep going. I think he's in 2020. Yeah, yeah 2020. Yeah, he, he mentioned that. Well, I don't know why he was I mean, bringing was it four up. Four years ago. Yeah, why was he bringing it up? He did bring it up just to I make it. I mean, he, he thumped your nose. Y'all, we should. So. I see some people in here. You know who else he had on? Because he did a, he put he put, a, he put the new devotion on as part of the Good Friday deal. That they they called me Monday and we were on vacation, but he also had uh, later in the show Gary Habermas, the resurrection yeah. apologist yeah. Yeah. that we've had on the show. Yeah, Gary, and, uh, yeah. yeah, and listening to that was really good. So that was a that was an honor to be part of that. I mean, uh, you know, we're I don't think we're Hall of Fame material. We're not even we've never even been the Mazzarino Player of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll be right back. More Rick and Bubba next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. You probably would have been better off in this country. And I I like this because it means at least the spirit that I'm wondering if it's completely gone may still be there. Right. You know, right. I, I know it's Our lost. DNA. Our DNA is, I think if you wanted people like at our house, we didn't give a rip what the government said. We talked about it as family. And we let everybody make their own decisions right, right. On, on what, you know, if my mom and dad wanted you mean to, freedom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If my mom and dad wanted to come to our house for Thanksgiving, then I said, well, then come on. Yeah. That's your decision. Yeah. And they decided not to, but, but you know, cause mom says, Play it safe. well, mom, yeah. well, mom said, I we're juggling the act of, you know, what life are we trying to save here? The one where we sit at home and never see our family. Right. right. You know, what, what kind of life is that? We're eight, we're 79 and about to be 80 years old. Um, and so, but they, they made that decision. And if they wanted to come, I wouldn't have said, no, we ain't doing that. Mm. You know, I would say, well, fine, come on. Uh, you, you're doing that. I think if you, if it, like you take this this governor in Washington, if he'd just be quiet, or if it's, is it a man, a woman, I don't know who their governor is. If, they would, if the governor would just be quiet, Americans probably would make these decisions pretty wisely on their own. But when you start saying you can't do this, you can't have Thanksgiving, you know what a lot of Americans say? Oh, yes, we will. Well, and you, that, yeah, you, you'd, be, yeah. you'd been better off just to say, hey, 
y'all know the deal. It's, it, it's kind of dangerous out there. Y'all be smart. Yeah. And I think everybody would have gotten with their own families, made their own decisions. But when you start standing up there with your finger like a tyrannical king saying, I'm canceling Thanksgiving, you, you're going to get pushback on well, that. It, I hope you will. It, it, it's a lot like the seatbelt law. I, I think you're absolutely crazy if you don't wear a seatbelt. Yeah. In a car, on a roller coaster. You know, nobody gets in a roller coaster and says, "Hey, I ain't I ain't riding with that bar down." Right. Yeah, you know, yeah. it, it's just wise to do so. But I don't like the government telling me to do that. Yeah. I'm smart enough to do that. Right. <clears throat> I mean, it, it, and that that's and, the, and I'd like to save law enforcement officers for things I can't. I can handle a seatbelt. Right. That's in my area that I can take care of myself. I can't go and get drug dealers. You know, I want them to handle that. Yeah, I think we can figure out Thanksgiving, too. Right, right. I got Thanksgiving. I got seatbelt. <laughs> I want to leave you all to the bigger things. We've trained you for bigger things. I want you to work yeah. on that. And that's why you have sher- you have those sheriffs in New York telling Cuomo, we're not going around counting cars at Thanksgiving. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And then Jeff Dunham uh, has a new comedy special called the Completely Unrehearsed Last-Minute Pandemic Holiday Special, uh, which is going to come to Comedy Central. On uh, this uh, this weekend, so of course the, he's a ventriloquist. What's and that? A, ventri- a ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> Get a running start on that. Yeah. But you know, wearing a mask does that does that make that easier I now? I bet it I does. Mean, <laughs> I bet it makes it very easy. <laughs> You'll have to ask him. That, <laughs> so uh, so so we we've talked about Speedy's uh, turkey dilemma. Uh, I, I I ran in. I'll tell you. Let I ran into a little bit of. Uh, you know, sure. Wish the sons would get. You know, undoubtedly haircuts are big. You know, now that they're all doing their own thing, they they never get a haircut. Mm-hmm. So I, I had a little hair drama last night. Well, I was going to take pictures. Yeah. Oh and, uh, no, anyways, not that so, one. Yeah. We've been no. there. Uh, yeah, well, so, Rick, there's no, just no. there's just so many things about Thanksgiving you love, and our family had a lot of traditions. Some of them have kind of come and gone. You know, we uh, we don't have near as many as we used to have, but. Uh, uh, you know, we used to play a little football out sometimes, and I know y'all did that too. Yeah. And, Turkey uh, and dressing bowl. Oh, mm-hmm. yes. Oh, I, I love dressing and giblet <laughs> gravy probably as much as giblet. I can love anything on earth. You yeah. know? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we'd, we'd eat so much, we'd lay in the floor for a while mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, get up, go outside, walk, play football, whatever, and then come back in, eat again. Yeah, I'm wondering. I don't know. You Watch know, we, the lines of the boring football yeah, game. We even Good named, for sleeping. Remember, we even <laughs> named our teams Team Turkey, Team Dressing, mm-hmm. out on the football game. And, you know, this year I, I don't know that we got enough to do a game. But I, I found some footage of uh, one of our Thanksgiving get-together, and this is a tradition I really love and miss. We call it uh, bull jumping. I don't know if you've seen this before. This is our family on Thanksgiving. <laughs> gracious. Wow, that's impressive. What in the world? How do you even describe that? I don't know. Try for radio, though. That is funny. I, I don't well, know. there's a bull ring, oh my gosh. and there's a bull. And there's two guys with like a teeter totter stick, and they're jumping over the bull Look at them. and using the other guy oh! as as weight to pull them up over. That is just fun. Yeah, yeah. Just picture like the letter T. <laughs> you, you, you've got a, a, a stick in the ground, and like you said, there's like the top of a oh, capital no. T mm-hmm. is another. What is that? A limb or a That's piece of wood so or. Good. Whatever it's it is, it's a pole of some type. A pole, yeah. and they're on each side of it, <laughs> and they and they pull each other and jump up in the air using hey! the other one's weight, like Bubba said. Yeah, like a seesaw bar. Like, yeah, like a seesaw bar as a bull run uh, runs under each one of them. <laughs> and and I mean they get big air, and that bull just he he's ready to to put an end to them, and he. Thirty-five minutes now past the hour. We're back from vacation, celebrating Bubba being sixty, and uh, just uh, in uh, recapping stories from vacation. We'll get to some of the big news stories too. I know there's some some biggies out there that we'll get to as well. But kind of keeping it light so far, and frankly enjoying that. Uh, all right. So one of the things that uh, we'll get to in a moment uh, is the turkey hunt that happened. And I'll kind of give you some background on Bubba and me as turkey hunters, which may surprise you. Uh, SimplySafeBubba.com. I want to hit that first. Now more than ever, boy, security is crucial. Uh, and th- th- this system that was developed by Simply Safe, it just keeps getting accolade after accolade after accolade. 
unlike this show. Uh, but uh, just, you know, it keeps being awarded the, the best security system by, by various outlets. And there's a reason for that, the best customer service. And there's a reason for that. It's because they've taken the industry to, to new places. And now it's no longer that there's some boilerplate uh, security system that you have to make fit your property, whether it does or it doesn't. Well, you don't have a, you don't have a really a sensor there because that won't work. You take you you customize it to the property, and then they're monitoring. They're professional monitoring agents. Uh, they can help you stop crime in real time. But you know what else that means? Not just crime. If there's a flood, if there's a fire, if there's a medical emergency. What about wind in March? Wind in March, Bubba, so you know how difficult that can be. So if you'd like to try it with no contract and a 60-day money-back guarantee, you can do that. Go to simplysafebubba.com and get real peace of mind. You're going to get 20% off any new system when you sign up for the Fast Protect Monitoring, which you want to because that's just what I told you about. Uh, simplysafebubba.com. Uh, they monitor 24-7 for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe. Like simplysafebubba.com safe. All right, so Bubba, you and I, it may surprise people. A lot of it has to do for what we do for a living, and then weekends get here. We we love to deer hunt. Uh, we, we, we really enjoy that. Turkey hunting has never really intrigued me, and I know for you, 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 you have the same problem I have, is that most of the best turkey hunting happens during the work week when you and I are on, in the morning on yeah. the air yeah. and you know your gary's who's a purist hey you're sitting around in the afternoons trying to bushwhack them that ain't turkey hunting mm -mm. so so anyway you know <laughs> gary does not use even when it's legal he will not use decoys no uh-uh that ain't that ain't hurting i mean I, we could have him run out there after a decoy if you want to shoot him but i want we, we well, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute a decoy he looks down on but he makes a fake Call Correct. of Correct. a hen I did to bring him in. A I did not say there's any the, inconsistency to that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he says if you're not calling the gobbler into shooting distance, as any, everything, anything other than that is not turkey hunting. And then okay. he's using a shotgun, not a spear. Correct. Okay. Hey, so I'm just, be sure I got hey, it. Hey, I'm just telling you, that's just the way I am. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, uh, Gary has been after me for years for him to let, to take me turkey hunting. Oh. And so, uh, <laughs> after a while, it sounds like seals it does, to me. It does. It, and, it, yeah. And normally I don't, I honestly, I really haven't been interested in it. I, I really haven't. Yeah. I went one afternoon with him. And of course that's when he said, Oh, I, I shot sitting out there with a 285 pound eight year old. He, he, <laughs> and he, he said, I could, he, he said, I couldn't sit still. You're right. And, uh, and you have to sit still turkey hunting, which I, that's not in my favor because mm -hmm. I struggle sitting still. And, um, so finally I thought, you know what? I'm on vacation. I had plenty of the week left. Mm -hmm. the 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 thoughts of getting up even earlier than we get up to go to work wasn't. Mm -hmm. I wasn't all that fired up about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems strange for you on off week. But I thought yeah. I do this Monday, the opening day of turkey season where we live, <clears throat> yeah. and then I got the rest of the week. Right. So it's whatever. Yeah, and and we'll see if it's any fun. So, um, uh, so here, here there, 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 Ben Davis uh, with Sawbriar Outdoors, which mm -hmm. is a YouTube channel. Uh, he came to document the hunt. Okay. So uh, we're, we're going to put that on our YouTube channel, and you can actually watch that later today. It's still uploading, but it'll, it'll be there later today. But there's some clips that he was able to get of Gary and me. So this is us uh, in Camp House, and we're getting ready to go out. I, I didn't spend the night there. I, I actually just got up at home and drove down and met Gary mm -hmm. at Camp House. Mm -hmm. That and, hurt. And this is us <laughs> about to go out. So okay. here, here we go. Well, welcome to Camp House, Gary Bynes, Spur Master himself. What an honor it is today. I'm Rick Burgess uh, from the Rick and Bubba Show. And uh, uh, believe it or not, I have never been on a morning turkey hunt in my entire life. Uh, Gary took me one time in the afternoons, and Gary said, Hey, I ain't really hunting them. I'm just bushwhacking them. <laughs> and, uh, so, and we didn't see anything that day, and I don't know why we didn't see anything. Well, I do. <laughs> You know, you got to be still. Right. You can't lay on your back with your gun sticking up in the air. <laughs> and, you know, just like I said, I may have to get on to you this morning a little bit because, you know, if you're going to do it, we got to do it uh, right. After I went hunting with him one time, and, and I, I've lost a little weight. The time I weighed about 285, 290 pounds. And mm. Gary said, hey, I just like sitting out there with a 285-pound eight-year-old. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm gonna try to do better. I'm usually I'm kind of just a pure deer hunter. I know that turkey hunting is is, is it'll it'll get me. I got all that. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just depending on Gary because he's the legend. That's the state record, as we all know. And gonna get to go out and do a little turkey hunt. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> You're not gonna wear just wear your socks. Have you got boots to go? Do I need boots? <laughs> So, 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 so anyway, um, so Gary, we go out now, Bubba. And, and I remember you mentioning this to me, you were in the back of my head. It was still cool enough that I wasn't worried about snakes, but in the back of my mind, one thing I remembered you mentioning is you walk. A tremendous amount of turkey hunting. Oh, he liked to walk me to death. I just had knee surgery too. And we yeah, were out man. there walking up hills. I mean, some real hills. You got to be in full camo. Now the wind. I, mean, I thought we sit and call these things. I didn't know we had to chase them yeah. through well, the woods. Well, what what I notice is when I want to play paintball, I'd have called some friends. That's <laughs> right. Well, you see, early on Ooh. we we get three gobblers early on, but but we can't get them yeah. to come across. Well, Gary can't call them up. Well, there's a 15 mile an hour wind, yeah. and we think they got confused. There's on that what, wind again. Or where it was actually coming from, <laughs> and uh, Speedy tried to warn you. Yeah, yeah. and so that, yeah, and, and you got to list the speed. Oh, yeah, blow up. How was the ticks, Rick? Are you okay with that? Well, it, I didn't worry about ticks. I mean, it wasn't, I, mean I know Bubba. Yeah, it wouldn't. I mean, it, it, to me, it wasn't really tick season yet. We hadn't really <laughs> had any real. Yeah. Yeah. You're all right now. Yeah, so. <laughs> So a month, month from yeah. now, though, mm. right, Rick, I need to know the, the level so, of excitement when you when he's calling something in and you're seeing it move. Well, this is what I don't like because he's like, get your gun. Up. Well, the, the turkeys are still, you know, 100 something yards from us. And he's you can't you ain't gonna be able to put your gun up when they coming in. Go yeah, ahead and get yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. They'll see well, you know, he didn't want you to. He didn't want you to lay on your belly and do it. No, well, he, he tried to look. get me to do it. Did I was just rolling around. So you see, they <laughs> turn and get a, get my gun. <laughs> <That's stable. laughs> you see, they turn and go away from uh -huh. us. Yeah. Well, the good news is, having Ben Davis um, shooting it, he he was able. See, a lot of times we couldn't see what the turkeys were doing, uh -huh. okay. and he would say, yeah, yeah. "Hey, they're going away from you." Now, this is the part Bubba war war warned me about. Uh -oh. Once they went away from us, and I don't know why, because I'm not a turkey expert by any stretch. I don't know why, but Bubba we, hunts them with dogs. Yeah, Bubba, he does. Bubba, 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 Beagles. For some reason, they declare now we got to leave. I'm like, well, if we saw gobblers here, why don't we just stay? That when once they left, that's uh -huh. Now we got to walk somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. Now keep in mind, deer hunting, we drive, and you get close, and you get out, and you yeah. walk in. Or you drive right up and get mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. And turkey hunting, we parked on the other end of the property. We've walked half the property, and now we're going to walk. You tired? Another half of it. We're walking. There's nothing but walking. That, that's all there is. <laughs> it's like playing war in the woods. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you one thing. I found out too. I Captain found out a whole lot more about the land. Okay. Because I'm not yeah. on roads anymore. I'm walking through the woods, and I'm like, oh well, this is nice. I've never seen this before. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, so you we go. spots for ladder stands, right? <laughs> I did. I was like, well, we're really ignoring this. Area. Where y'all were sitting is where that uh, that big buck walked that I let walk that I'm mad about. Yeah, what's that? Right understand. in there where y'all were sitting. He came out and come yeah. out at the top. So, so we'll come back, and we just Ooh. we keep moving and moving and moving. And, and of course, the the wind is really being a problem because it's blowing so much that mm -hmm. it, a lot of times the gobblers would hear the sound that Bubba's making, <laughs> and, they, and, they, and they would start moving the wrong way. I can't believe they didn't come they, to they, that. They, <laughs> they were having a hard time figuring out where it was coming from. Yeah. And then you'd have other gobblers that would call them. It, it, it was just a, it was a difficult hunt. And so I was watching the spur master work. Hey, look, you're going to have to be still now. I'm telling you. And I was like, I'm not moving. You moving. Like one time a turkey got out you're of. You're breathing. A turkey was like here. And then he moved to where he was out of sight. And look, Bubba, all I did was this. Uh, oh, yeah. I, well, now you run him off. Yeah. And, I, and I said, there's no way he yes. saw that. Oh, yes. yeah. They, 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 could see, they could see, yeah. but they can't smell. He, he, said, got Rick, he said, Rick, if you do that right there. I mean, they see it. Yes, Rick, he's do. a spur master. You just got to mind it. Don't I question know. the spur master. <laughs> Don't question anybody with a car tag that says two inch on it. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Anybody that's bold enough to do that. I mean, and not realize it. By the way, you know how you'll tell something on somebody and somebody, I guess, is kind of their acquaintance or new friend yeah. doesn't know it? I said, Gary, I hope today I break the record and you can give me the two inch tag. And Ben Davis went, what? <laughs> and I said, you want to tell me about your tag? <laughs> What's the tag and how popular you were with He it. said, they told me that one was available. <laughs> yeah, Rick yeah, Bubba, it was. Rick and Bubba.
runs. There's nothing there. Yeah, he, he, that, 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 <laughs> somebody that, had to try that for the first time. Yeah, you know, okay. say, I think we can take well, his. He team almost going. got that guy there. He almost didn't get off the ground quick right. enough. Well, yeah. he, he started going short. You know, and it was hard for him to time the jumps. Well. Isn't that funny? You know, but you hey, look, <laughs> no, that's good stuff. Anything right that there. involves a bull, yeah, I know good. it. That's uh, good. Well, y'all know us though. What, it'd be tough for me if on the other side, if I all of a sudden you needed me to pull you up, and I said I kind of see you hit by that bull. What's well, sure. Yeah, and you don't that's, pull. You try, you try to jump. <laughs> drop you, <laughs> hey, you drop try to down in. You try to jump. I push you up on it. You got to have a buddy right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's trust right there. They, like. they, they need to do that on some team building getaway. Yeah. <laughs> I like. Have you seen where they got the knocker balls on and the bulls are knocking them up in the air? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta love that. I mean, some of them get big air. Oh too. sure, uh-huh. they do. You know, in in some parts of the countries, <laughs> our country and countries around the world, at some point in time, it's amazing how much they played with bulls. Oh yeah, they mm-hmm. entertained themselves with bulls yeah. because a lot of people probably didn't make it. You well, know, we oh, didn't, no. we didn't have go good ugly. emergency rooms back then. It you can know, go so. bad. Other than the PBR. If you think about our country, our bull culture is is not there's no, we don't have a lot. <laughs> no, we don't have a bull culture like Spain and people like. Oh that. yeah, uh-uh. Spain, oh, is Mexico, yeah. some they have a pretty look yeah. at that. Look at that. Pretty strong bull culture. Uh-huh. That's true. If That's you're a bullfighter in the U.S., oh, you don't have a lot video. of work. That's look at that greatest. right there. That is There's the greatest. There's the knocker ball. In those knocker <laughs> balls. Yeah. Hey, forget about their legs sticking I, out. I started to say. Uh, I wish the Speedy was in one of those. Can't the horns like puncture that? Uh, maybe they don't have horns on All right, that. Bubba, how much for you to get in one? Picture uh, that, though. You're trying you know to get what? in it. I, I'm just kind of beyond that. All right. I don't think I'm going to right. I said how All much. Right. Let me, no, no, no. This, let me try this. This is even better. Okay. None. You, you have to get, None. You have to get in a knocker ball. Mm-hmm. And you have to be hit by a bull, and it's mm-hmm. not going to hurt you because you've got that all around you. Well, okay? unless it breaks your legs. Well, we're or, saying it's not. Can right. it get the yeah. knocker ball over his stomach? Is that? Oh yeah, that, okay. let's just say, perfect let's, fit. Let's say right. it's a perfect fit. <laughs> okay. okay, perfect. They they found the perfect knocker ball for Bubba. Okay, right. okay. And if you don't do that, you can't have turkey and dressing. Ooh, it's just one yeah. shot. They just going to hit you. It's one just time. one time. No turkey and dressing if you won't do it. Now, does the bull have horns? No, no. They've, they've saw them. It's just the sheer force. It's just the sheer force. You're just going to get knocked It's what you just saw. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Picture it. But I, I don't know that I, I want to. I've got to knock And look, there's oh, a table. There, go. okay. there goes my hey! Picture it. <laughs> <laughs> got to <laughs> see that. How about, um, a, how about old bull? It just loves to run and hit stuff. Yes, yeah, sure. It, it does. Sure. Man, you, it does. They'll participate. They Did you will. see? They <laughs> were <was>, uh, <laughs> well, well, engaged. Look what oh, good. Big oh, yeah. Gosh, you're mighty. right. Now, at that, that point, video. I'm wondering where are the clowns to get me out of here? <laughs> no, all you think about is giving me gravy. No, no. That's it. Yeah. No, that's good. Stuff. You remember the bull footage we had when they caught his horns on fire and then he started yes. throwing people everywhere? Yeah, that's the most bizarre. Again, I don't. Again, what? We're just tampering with bulls. You know. I go back again. I think I'm underwhelmed by the United. United States of oh. America's bull culture. We're way behind. Yeah, we let's, don't. Let's say we don't do as much with bull. Mm. What if you're a bullfighter and you live here? And you have no work. No, you got you. you, you got work. that cool suit. We got a bull rider, and that's all we got for you. Yeah. <laughs> now you can go out and rope cows. That's not the same. It, it'd be but like if you're a matador. You you can't. It, do it'd be like being a highly trained quarterback living in Spain. You, you, there's there's nobody, nobody to play with. with. Nobody playing you, soccer. You can't go do anything. Yeah, the guy, the matador says, you know, I like coming here. I like the freedoms, but there's just not a lot of work. <laughs> not a lot of work for a matador. Oh, here, here, here's that footage of the one. There's the horns on fire. Oh, there it is. It's terrible. There, there's the horns. First of on all, there he stands with his horns yeah. on fire. Right. Look, I mean, the bull. The bull yeah. hadn't decided, but remember, he eventually decided. Yeah, he, he decides he's done and with there this it guy. Is. And he, I mean, he yes, goes sir. up. <laughs> <laughs> How does that guy even survive? Look, he can't move. <laughs> he knocked him out. <laughs> Rick, he lands on his <laughs> head on those him. steps. Look, Rick, him don't look over in the corner. Yeah, you see don't the bull forget. running around with his horns <laughs> on fire. <laughs> his horns and he's just you know good with the fact his horns are on fire. There's nothing. Well, how, do you, how do you talk somebody into look doing that? I mean, I think about you know back in the day. I mild. Yeah, he look, and he's so much faster than he thought. Oh he my! God. Yeah, I just wanted to break his neck. I just wanted to break it his may, neck. Well, did it? It, it may have. He may I could, be. I could watch these all day. He's out. I'm watch, sorry, watch I could. Again. Oh, I could Let's see it one more time. Watch how he lands. Oh Rick. yeah, watch On the back how he of lands. his neck. I can't imagine back a his worse neck. landing. <laughs> The only thing that would that might have saved him if he was highly drunk, because you know you can't hurt a drunk. Yeah, watch that neck it. right here. No. Neck, neck. Damn. That. Listen, no you, way you could count guy. to 100 over him. He's out. He is completely out. Wow. And them moving him probably didn't help. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> about the, well, you got to. Life life better, it's better than the bull on fire coming back. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Top of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Even if you, uh, it, it's all relative, even uh, compared to the travel we've normally done in 2020, which isn't a lot. 
Today, still the biggest travel day of the year, even though compared to other years, not as many people, but still a bunch. To the top of the hour, stories from vacation have dominated since we started the show today. If you missed those, catch them in the daily archives, either on our YouTube channel or our podcast channel. More to come. So we're doing the turkey hunt. Uh, I got a chance to turkey hunt. Hey, let spur master. Uh, he's got the state record, you know. Okay. And, and so so we, we're chasing turkeys. It's a 15-mile-an-hour wind. The turkeys are... And, and I felt like, and, and you'll find that the, the Ben Davis, the guy that was with us from Sawbrower Outdoors, I heard Ben saying to Gary, why are you holding back the kiki? Oh, Gary, hit him with that kiki. And Gary's like, look, I can't. Hey, look, when I do the kiki on the Spurmaster call, they've outlawed it in Mississippi. No. <laughs> he said, hey. That's the death mark. Li- listen to what yeah, Gary no said. Way. This is listen to this quote, not on the camera, but just for me. You remember, you remember when Jesus called Lazarus out of the tomb? Oh, right. And I said, "What, Gary Rick Burgess? Have you ever heard he needed to say Lazarus? If not, everybody else would come walking out of them graves." Yeah, that's I heard that. He said, "That's the key key." <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Turkeys are gonna come from everywhere. We're gonna have to fight them off." And I, them all. I'm like, Gary, it's my first time to hunt. I want to kill my first gobbler. Why are we off. holding back on the kiki? Right. All right, so here, here it Can is. Can I ask one question? Is, yeah. he, is he using the hand call or oh, the yeah. mouth call? Al, the hand call. Rick, is he making them? that funny look with look, his mouth? Look, look, see, we, he see, this is, he's just over the rise. And yeah. I'm like, Gary, bring us, give us the kiki. Is that the kiki? Okay. Look, 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 he's like... Ooh. Look at that, huh? Ooh, he blowed up. Mm-hmm. Well, you ain't gonna believe what happens. So he's carrying a satellite dish behind him. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. what's gonna happen is is a is the advertisers are already jumping on this. Are they? Uh-huh. What's gonna happen is another gobbler gobbles off to our to to our right, and he's gonna start going after that as opposed to what Gary's doing. Because I guess he's trying to challenge the other gobbler, right? Yeah. Hounds, you know a little more about it than we do. Yeah. Is that That's accurate? Exactly what's going on. Oh, my goodness. Right, so now, look, yeah, now they're coming in from everyone. Oh, gracious. Yeah. There's three yeah. 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 Look. look at those beards. Oh, my God. Follow them with your gun slow. Here's Kiki. Here's Kiki. Here's Kiki. Here's Kiki. Here's do you love how I got seen earn right in the camera? Yeah, yeah, look at that. That's pretty good play. <laughs> yeah. All right, so he's... Get that on film. Now, now look trying. at the turkey start attacking the one that shot. Look, they're, they're going to go after him like crazy. And so Gary realizes, hey, we can double up. There's gobblers everywhere. Why is that? What's the deal They said when one gets hurt, they just want to kill it. They think, they think they've got one down, so they'll kill it. Dominant, dominant. Uh, yeah, so they're like, hey, we'll, we'll no longer have to. Oh, yeah, they, they, they attack. And then Gary realizes they're, they're out there, and they're not running off now because they're so focused on this gobbler. And so so Gary is going to take one out, too, and we're going to double up. What? Yeah, with the 410. Was that cheating because they didn't call it up? <laughs> well, that's how I asked about that later. What would you say he was shooting? He's shooting a 410. Okay. Okay. Moultrie said it was. Uh, so, so you'll see what Gary's like. Well, look, there's still some out there. I'm gonna take one. You hear him gobbling? Man, well, they're friendly things, ain't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> huh? Nature's hard, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. I said there. Hey, there were boys walking together a few minutes ago. Yes. Yeah. Not anymore. There he is. Uh-huh. So, Gary, now, now we're double. That's what you get. Yeah. How about a two-bird day? Did you get him? I got him. Yeah, he's down. I got him. Look at him go. How about a two bird day? Are they going to come back and jump on this? Yeah. Or they had another. Just say, y'all. Yeah. You believe that? (laughs) Way to go, guys. Rick (laughs) Burgess. Doubled up (laughs) with the bird. Now watch us try to get up. (laughs) 
That's teamwork right there. That's well, good stuff, isn't it? Ben keeping us updated on where the turkeys were. Gary, the, the spur master, has struck again. We went from we couldn't find a turkey till we had four gobblers on us. Wow. It's, I, I didn't know I'd, when y'all said, when I said, hey, which one you want me to shoot? And y'all said, whichever, pick one. <laughs> well, dude, there And Gary was getting over about my point, and I think my point. I'm eight. Right. We got to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't and and ben, that. ben knew that the turkey couldn't be seen. I just simply went signaling that he I went in. Out there. <laughs> don't let don't talk about that. Start it. Good stuff. Uh, well, Good it's stuff. a double. Yeah. Man. Doubled up. What an open morning. Hey. First day of turkey season. Uh, I'd like to tell y'all where we are, but Gary won't let me. <laughs> No. And you don't come here without me. <laughs> Y'all know this one I do since the first time, but tell me if we hadn't had the wind. Oh. We, the fact we were able, you able to do all that with this wind? No, I'm telling you. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe what brought them in was that Kiki. Greg? Well, I mean, Ben, I don't, I, I, here's what I don't understand. And Ben, I'm, a, I'm not trying to speak for you, <laughs> but I felt like that Gary was a little reluctant to use his Kiki. Uh, he, was. Like he was holding the kiki well, back. Well, you know, well, I, I, he, you know, probably don't want to say too much about it, but yeah. it's kind of that silver bullet, you know, yeah. it keeps in the back pocket. But I'm going to tell you. But you had to, you had to almost beg him. I did. To that, do the kiki. Look at that turkey guy, right, son. <laughs> look at him change the subject. I know. You think you think look, he won't even him run off. I think that one's mine. That one right there is the one that I killed. He's still gobbling out there. that's something. Mm. So there we are, and wow. then that's us at the end. You, you know, <laughs> and we had, a, we had a still shot of us with it. But, I mean, you hear how Gary, you don't want to talk about the Kiki. Mm. What, what's the deal with the Kiki? Hey, I'm telling you now, they done outlawed it in Mississippi. Mm. <laughs> so, so there we are both with the, with the turkeys. Well, that wind, so that that, Yeah, the wind really blowing. Yeah. But it, it was it was a lot of fun. And, and um, you know, I, I heard, I'd heard about it, never done it before, uh, you know, a real turkey hunt like that. And it was a blast. A lot of walking. Mm -hmm. A lot of a little walking. bit of walking. A lot of walking. But uh, watching him interact with those turkeys, though, and try to call them up and all, that is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I, I I see why people get addicted to it. I really do. Yeah. And I'm trying to be careful. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to be the person that you know tried crack for the first time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just kind of. But you can handle it. Yeah, but it's uh, it you know, and it's one of those things. I think he got out of hand with everybody else, but I got it. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I got it. I so, got it. I'm so, good. I, you know, it it, it 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 was good, and and I enjoyed it, and I'm thankful for Gary, and thankful that Ben came and documented for us. So if you want to watch the whole episode, we're uploading it to the Rick and Bubba YouTube channel, and uh, probably in a few hours it'll be up there ready to go. You can watch the whole deal. So we we had some fun, as you can see. That win wasn't no, no and, and I, I didn't want to bring up the fact. I think my gobbler is bigger than than Gary's. But well, so how long were the spurs? Uh, an inch and a fourth, I think, something like that. They were over an inch, and, and they weren't, and they weren't, they weren't two get close inches. to two. Huh? No, that was you know I kept I wanted it so bad to, for them to measure it, but uh, I, 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 apparently I don't know. They were saying you know you you want to try to get between an inch and two inches, and it was an inch and a fourth, something like that. So, it, I mean, they seem excited about the gobbler. I don't yeah. know what to compare it to. And I'm going to get it mounted and. you ready for Thanksgiving now. Right. And put it back on, you know, the in the camp house to kind of. Oh, it's going to go against some of the stuff Sherry's been bringing up. <laughs> right, right. Top of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. The biggest travel day of 2020. Uh, so if you're here on the Rick and Bubba show for the first time, we welcome you, or maybe this is a tradition. When you travel, you pick up the show. We're glad you're here. Uh, Rick and Bubba replay tomorrow for Thanksgiving, a best of Rick and Bubba show on Friday, uh, the biggest shopping day of the year, Cyber Monday coming up on Monday. Bittersweet symphony that's don't forget to shop the Rick and Bubba store. They're at rickandbubba.com. Click on the store, and, man, we got some really cool gift items for the Rick and Bubba fans or for yourself uh, and the Rick and Bubba world. Really cool stuff there. So uh, go to rickandbubba.com. A lot of new stuff, too. Uh, welcome back. There's Bill Bubba Bussing. Hey, Bubba. Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for being part of the Rick and Bubba family, and a happy Thanksgiving to you and yours wherever you are and however you're traveling. That's right, and uh, we're thankful for all of you we were talking about yesterday, how yep. thankful we are for 
Uh, the relationship we've had, some of you have been with us for 27 years. I know. Incredible. Uh, so, and, and then some of you somewhere in between um, just started and, and, uh, and that 27-year mark. Uh, we do have, speaking of uh, just uh, support of the show, um, we, we haven't had golden ticket seats in a while. We have no idea when we'll have them again. But from time to time, people do come outside uh, the window here and look into the studio. Uh, and I want, uh, I want the, uh, the Karens to know out there that they're even wearing masks even though they're outside. Well, Rick, this is the perfect isolation chamber. It is. I mean, this, this, yeah, is, this, could, is, this glass window is just screams, hey, I'm ready for the pandemic. That's mm-hmm. right. Come, on, come watch the boys in the bubble. That's yeah. right. Uh, but Chad and Brittany Woods from Double Springs, Alabama, are here today, and Chad is celebrating his 40th birthday. Yeah. Hey, Chad, birthday. what's up, buddy? Hey, hey man. 4 0 oh, 4 0 oh, 4 0 oh, 4 0 oh. hey, Look, life doesn't start till 40. Mm. It really doesn't. Yeah, so you you're gonna. It's the new thirty. Yeah, so That's right. so in, yeah, I'm gonna play this uh, for Chad. Other than having to re- okay. wear reading glasses all the time. Chad, listen up. This is for you, buddy. Come after me. I'm a man. I'm forty. So there you go. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. <laughs> there you go. So <laughs> feel like you need to let me know since I can't see. But, right. Yeah. Uh, right, she's, so, she's just behind the drum <laughs> set. Right. right. So the, uh, <laughs> not the clearest view. In. Well, you know, I, it's hard. It's hard for us to see out too this time of day because the lights in here are bright. Yeah. And it's still a little dim outside, right. so we don't see it. We see the reflections back in here. Yeah, we can't see good yet. You have uh, to really look. I think I know what Chad looks like, but with that reflection and his mask, I really have no idea. <laughs> so, um, all right. So we want to. We, we, if you oh, if you follow oh, wow. Eddie Van Adler on social media, uh, there's nothing that you look forward to more than his Instagram post on on Ruby Tuesdays. Oh yeah, uh, his daughter. <laughs> his, his daughter's name is Ruby, and every Ruby Tuesday he he puts a little something That's, out. And I that was, is great. I was watching the little videos and stuff yesterday of um, you know the brand new dad and uh-huh. little Ruby and. And she's just about to get ready to start crawling. She's doing that over where they get up. Oh, there they yeah. Get they, get, they get in the gate and they're uh-huh. ready. That's right. She's she needs a little playmate. She discovered that she can make noise with her hands if she'll hit them together. <laughs> uh, so all that was a big, big steps for Ruby. And it's already uh, working on the tambourine, huh? That's right. Yeah. Yes. Her boom, boom her, chick, her boom, rhythm, chick. Her rhythm looked chick, pretty boom. good. Oh, her, guys. Her rhythm looked pretty good. She Okay, so this is so funny. My wife and I really like watching this guy that does travel videos on – you know, PBS right. and stuff that like that. sounds riveting. It's yeah. called Rick Steves Europe, okay, is the name oh, of this show. Oh, how sad. And this guy, Rick Steves, goes around to, like, different towns, and he shows you all the cool stuff to do. He's, he's been doing it for, like, 10 years now. Yeah. The It's a very, a, a very boring adult show, but the theme song is like this, like, yeah. And she will stop what she's doing and just turn and look Love. up oh, and listen to cool. this what theme song. I actually have it. It's so funny. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm-mm. Hey, little person. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. That's not it. Sorry, wrong song. <laughs> hey, little person. <laughs> so, um, she loves music. She, she's all about it. She loves music. She's going to be clapping hey. to the beat before we know it. And she'll be clapping on the two and the four, not the one and the three. So, that's good. Cool. That's go. good. Boom, Woo. Boom, chick. All right. So, r- rumor has it, because, you know, you're, you're becoming a full blown man now. I mean, you got a wife. You I'm got, on my way. You, you've got you got you got a child. I mean, you, you've held down a job for quite a while. You got a lot of hair. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, all that. A lot of hair. So now you're taking the next step. I understand hosting Thanksgiving. Yes, yes, we are. Wow, um, Adler. We're we're it's a big step. It, we're 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 kind of Dang. using the baby as an excuse because like all our stuff, all the baby stuff is at the house. Oh like, yeah, that's the good. Bed, oh, yeah. The bed, the food. Oh, you know the changing table, all that. You know you can. Oh, well, you have to go on the road with the baby. It's a handle. It's yeah. there's so hey, much little. stuff. You got to take hey, all. You got to take that setup and do the mobile version of. It. Yes, yeah. yes. Remember that? Gosh, what? A, oh, oh my the goodness. pack and play. The yeah. old pack and play. Somebody get little person. <laughs> Y'all come to. We're us. moving the fourth army. <laughs> <laughs> so So um, yes, we are having uh, Aaron's parents over over for Thanksgiving. Do they like you yet? Uh, working on it. Oh, they working they, on they it. have yeah. accepted. Yeah. Your yeah, the jury's still out, but uh, <laughs> it's a split decision right okay. now. Okay, it's your dad. Maybe helps. Yeah. Great. Does your dad still have that sketch of uh, how he wishes you were? Yeah. 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 Why, why is he always <laughs> cleaning his gun? I don't understand. <laughs> What's he think of your hair, dude? <laughs> if he'll just cut his hair, honey. Yeah. My oh, gosh, he looks like a woman with a beard. Constantly, <laughs> constantly cleaning his gun, but I'm sure it's just yeah. Yeah. hunting just season. Likes. Again, you're yeah. solidifying yourself that this is this is working out fine. Yeah. 
So he doesn't um, stink. He just looks like it. Right, <laughs> right. They say all those things, Greg. They say all those. things. You know things. what? I got a whiff of him. Not bad. Not bad. He looks <laughs> like he stinks. I mean, of course, it's all relatives. What I expect. But anyway. We're doing it again, Adler. Sorry, we're doing sorry. it. We're doing it again. Hey, little person. <laughs> right, go ahead. So, Eddie. <laughs> Here we go, six minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba show from the Big Boy Studio uh, on various platforms, both live and archived, out to the world. Thank you for being with us today. Speedy, The Real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here, back from vacation, recapping stories from vacation. Catch Bubba this uh, weekend, Saturday night, Birmingham, Alabama, the land of 104.7 WZZK. Uh, a celebrity roast of the Hoover police chief, uh, Chief Nick. So he'll be there. If you're going to be there, enjoy that. Bubba will be there as well. Uh, coming up later in the month, uh, April the 20th, uh, Sherry and I will be at Westview Baptist Church in Op, Alabama. This is a free event, uh, and it doesn't matter whether you're married or not, for men and women. Sherry will speak to the women. I'll be speaking to the men, and then we'll bring the men and women together, and uh, we'll uh, answer some questions. Uh, it is free, but you need to register. It'll be at Op High School, April the 20th. If you haven't registered, uh, you need to do that at the link we have there at rickandbubba.com under upcoming events or burgessministries.com under upcoming events because uh, there is a capacity they that they will cut it off. So if you want to be there, be sure you register, and we'll see you guys on April the 20th, Lord willing. So uh, welcome back, the birthday boy, Big 6-0. Yeah, how about, that? How about and that? I noticed that you enjoyed the Edgar's cake. Yeah, had were, a little sample of that. Just Thank a little, you, Speedy, for and, uh, cutting a small piece of that off. A sliver mm -hmm. is what I'd call that. Yeah. Yep. You know, um, so, uh, so we're comparing it to a cinder block. Yes, right. <laughs> so so we, we were talking about uh, stories uh, from, from the, the, the week. Uh, we, you know, the, the beautiful thing about staycation is you can kind of take whatever's in front of you and say, let's do this. Now, I, I love to travel and have got to travel, but it did feel good not to have to come, you know, get on airplanes and, you know, oh, do, do all this yeah, kind of gracious. stuff. And I know y'all had work y'all were doing and, you know, and same thing. We were all, I was, I did use the week to try to get things off the plate that the work day makes it harder to do. And we did, and it, was, it felt like it was a very productive week. Sounds like it was for you. Well, I've moved so many boxes. I've been walking around with my arms. Right, right yeah, right. So and and, and apparently you're allergic to the get. boxes or something. But, <laughs> uh, but, sure. but did you get to enjoy Easter? Uh, we did. We did. We had, uh, of course, Caitlin was home. I mentioned that. We had some other friends over, and um, we went to Easter morning service. Oh, sunrise. Um, at Church of the Pines. Sunrise now, or just regular? Well, it's just regular. Okay. Um, and it's a beautiful venue. Yeah, if you've never man. been there, it's at Children's Harbor down yeah, at Lake is. Martin. It really is. And it's outside. Well, and you're under a big A-frame type. You know, really nice. Wasn't last year when it was so cold? Like to froze to death yeah, last year. I remember that. This year was such a pleasant change. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, was in, I was in my hunting gear. I had the <laughs> MA. I, it looked like I was you know, I remember that. going out yeah. I-Station Zebra. It was so <laughs> cold. But it, very pleasant this year. Very mild. Uh, hardly any wind blowing at all. And had a big crowd there. And uh, they do such a great job. I always enjoy going to church there. And uh, it's such a, the venue is just so pretty because you see wood, you see the lake, you know, you got, it's just, you're just out there in nature. And uh, it's got this big crowd. And I, I told our bunch, I said, look, we got, we got a choice to make. We can go like normal and you can walk a long way. Or we can go early and we're going to have to sit there a little longer, but you'll have a seat. And you won't have to walk from the car as long. And I know you ladies got these, all these new fancy shoes on. Y'all might want to, mm -hmm. you know, think about that. And they said, well, let's go early. Everybody was actually ready to go on time. How about that? We left, uh, you know, extremely early. It's Easter. It's the big show. Oh, it's the big one. And uh, we got there and, uh, you know, the the crowd's piling in. Of course, I don't, I don't understand I'm glad everybody's at church. Don't get me wrong, but I don't understand. I'm coming late on Easter. 
and right. then and then you're shocked you have to stand up. I don't get that. <laughs> right. You yeah. know, I mean, the right. look on everybody yeah. like, right. you, so y'all didn't think anybody was going to be here. You're just going to walk. <laughs> right. You're you know, right. Yeah. 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 Some of us have been here an hour. You right. know? Yeah. Yeah. So it's the big show. It's this a, is this, Easter. Yeah. This is the biggie. Yeah, this you know? is yeah. when uh, the, the two times a year folks, they're in. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> oh, a yeah. big one. It's a big yeah. one. And I'm glad everybody's there. Yeah. Had a great message. And the pastor used to be at Frazier in Montgomery was there again. Always enjoy him. He's great. Yeah. And, um, the I noticed that there were some security guards in the area. Interesting. Okay. And I thought, well, they're here for traffic. You know, there's a lot of people pulling in here, and it's sure. you know, all, sure. and it's great that they got them here for that. Yeah. And I look up, and right before the service starts, here comes the Governor Ivy down the aisle, and uh, she comes down, and, no. and she was uh, in the same ceremony, no. same no. service. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, sure was. Me, you sure. are just you. You go down there. Was you're in high cotton. Don't you? <laughs> yeah. Was she high stepping? <laughs> you came out high step or high step? <laughs> colored pants suit, yeah. She was. Uh, she was. She was, she was. She was decked out, uh, Easter ready, and white, uh, and had a had a good time. How about like so. pastel? Okay, yeah, yeah. that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, that, that was that was kind like of funny because I I didn't I, I <laughs> guess is. I didn't expect to see the governor and no. then and you look up and there yeah. she is right mm-hmm. was so, she late about uh, no she she well she had a spot up front yeah yeah, right. yeah well, they'll, they'll, and, they'll hold spot for the and government. when you when they you will. have when government. you have all kind of police cars with blue lights you can park anywhere you want you to. really <laughs> that's a fact I, I'll be honest with you when they were leaving and I was pulling out. For just a minute, I thought if I put my flashers on, get right behind them, I can get right yes, out of here. Yes, you could. So I can, oh, I can beat all these people down to Red Hill to eat lunch. I, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, so, but I, I, I didn't do that because it was Easter. But it was good to see <laughs> the governor. Because it was Easter. Easter. <laughs> Had member that. <laughs> Christmas? <laughs> I might have got out right of there. <laughs> no, but it, was, it was great. It was a great Sunday. Yeah. Have have you have y'all the I, mild I, temperature made it so much? Yeah, we yeah, we right. didn't we didn't have that option to us. So have y'all do y'all remember? Did anybody ever? When was the last time anybody, anybody's done a sunrise service? It's been several years. I used to love yeah. to go to those. They they're very moving. You know, very very touching. I'm not proud of this, but I remember when I was a little boy. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the greatest thing to hear. Oh, no, you know, terrible. I can't get anybody in my house because it was do cold like and that. early. Because yeah. it's so terrible early. here. Yeah. It was, it do you remember, <laughs> remember last you remember year? Remember when it, went, it started getting a little momentum? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Do, do you remember last year? Uh, Caitlin had sent me a clip of the one she went to mm-hmm. in Washington, and I could not yeah. believe on the mall there, you know, yeah. with the reflecting food, yeah. to have oh, it yeah. there, and the crowd was unbelievable. I didn't yeah. know that, they, yeah. really, I didn't know that many people in D.C. Well, they might have been. But Bubba in D.C., they might have been it might have been appreciation. <laughs> That's well, true. Well, they, well, got yeah, they got confused. Yeah. Wow, yeah. what are we doing here for this? Wow, what, wow, we're, this, wow. What uh, in the world was that all about? I don't know. We may hit that before the day's over, I'm sure. But, but throwing this out, so there's a a new church that has started not far from our church, and it, it and it's very very popular. I'm talking about mm. wide open, okay. So it's close to our church, so there can be traffic issues. And I thought, hey, Easter, guys, mm. there, there, there's no telling what we're going to encounter mm-hmm. here, and they weren't there at all. So I I, I did, is this what you think they they did a we got to go to an arena. I think so. We're, we're going, had to. We're, we're going get on the road. We're, we're going off site. That's that must have because, been because it. it was a strange. I I, 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 I pulled up yeah. and say, hey, we need we need to go ahead and go. And all of a sudden, I was like, wow, they're not even here. Yeah. So they needed a bigger venue, Rick. Had where, to be it. Does anybody know where Rock City had? had, had, had I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> so it's because uh, <laughs> you've got to go right past there. Oh yeah. 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 It, it, all right, Bubba, here's the governor. Oh, hey, Miss K. Yes, this is Miss Kay. Who is this? Uh, well, it's Rick and Bubba. You're you're on the show. Bubba said he saw you <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> oh, my merciful heavens! Yes, I, I did see Bill, but I was unable to stop and speak with him. But I did see his little button that said "Birthday Boy" on there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it was, great. It was his birthday. Uh, it was last so good week. to see you in the house of the Lord. Well, it was good to be there and worship alongside everybody. It was the Lord's day, and it was a wonderful day. But um, if you were a smart man, Mr. Bill, you would have put some dollar bills on your shirt and let some others pin some on there. Oh, is that, oh, a, is that, that, that a birthday yeah. tradition? Birthday, birthday tradition. They must have done that a while back. A, that is a very smart, very, very smart tradition that you need to stop doing because you're 60 now. You can't accumulate much more money. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, Miss Kay, I, I I don't I don't know what uh, denomination you 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 
March too, but uh, with you being on the front row, I'm assuming not Baptist. Well, I am Southern Baptist, and uh, I have attended the First Baptist Montgomery there when Jay Wolf was the pastor. Now uh, we have a new pastor, and um, but it's just right down the the street from uh, Perry Street from the the state capitol. Okay, I'm a walking convenient. distance. Do you do you walk to it? Sometimes I do. It just depends if I've got my bulletproof vest on. <laughs> uh, and of course, that would be styled as a pantsuit, yeah. I'm sure. Right, right. Yes, I have it in many colors and many, many fabrics. Oh, that's good. Well, Miss <laughs> K, good to hear from you. And you made Bubba's day yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to well, try I'm, to work I'm my way up I'm there not... to talk to you, but, uh, you know, you had a lot of security, so I didn't, I didn't want to upset anybody. <laughs> I did, I did, but if I had known it was your high stepping birthday, I'd have jumped out and did a big ditty for you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss K, good to hear from you. <laughs> Y'all take care now. Thank I you, Miss K. There we go, Miss K. Say, well, look at that. She heard you talking yeah. about her. Yeah. Yeah. Called right in. Yeah. Yeah. Rick, Miss they were at the bite wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I knew yeah. I needed yeah. a bigger place. I'd take us off site. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That'd <laughs> be a lot of folks. <laughs> we'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up 16 minutes past the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. What kind of precautions are you taking? With Tell us COVID? about your hosting plan. Um, I'm supposed to clean up. I don't know. We're, okay, so the, we're, we're <laughs> outside. We're doing it outside. Okay. Yeah, so you, we are. I've got a car safer. port, and it's covered, open air. Okay, so it's perfect I, for I'm going to set up a table out there and some chairs. Mm-hmm. I have to get my motorcycle out of there, is what Aaron says. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. going to be go. cool. It'd be a oh, nice background piece. Picture maybe, by. maybe you could put the desserts on the motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. You know, they yeah. have it as a dessert oh, bar buffet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Adler. And here's so the good, here's Adler. The good how news. about with all the dogs and everything? How does that work when you're outside? Um, well, they've got the dog zone, the poop zone, which I've oh. sequestered in the, in the off back. a fence yeah. area of the of the yard. The which still works great. <laughs> Hope the wind doesn't blow from that direction. Hopefully, hopefully, oh, hopefully. boy, this pumpkin pie is dandy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything neat around the little garage, uh, carport? At what time are y'all having? A, a, no idea. I'm not. Because I'm going to tell you, you something. Told him yet. You're looking at it Thursday after all this rain moves through. It's going to hang on a little bit early, early Thursday, like overnight. But then you're going to get into it looks like. Mostly sunny and a high of anywhere from sixty two to sixty seven. Yeah, it should be great. Yeah. We kind of kind of looked at be rough, cold in the rough. shade though. Aaron did say I have to <laughs> take my uh, punching bag down. Aaron said it's punching bag what? and motorcycle. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you leave that up because you want her dad to see. It. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's hard. Put, put that over next to the dessert bar on the motorcycle. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. that's what I think. Decorate over by the motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. I have to put all my tools away. So mm-hmm. you are hosting uh, your in laws at tools. your house on a carport. Do I have it right? Yes. And y'all will serve meal on the carport. In yes. Outside, and it's just your in-laws. Now the Adlers aren't coming to this, right? Right. No. Then we're gonna go from there. We're at, we're gonna go to my parents' house, where evidently COVID doesn't exist. <laughs> so, <laughs> I not heard anything about it. Uh, evidently, are if, they are they COVID deniers? If evidently, if you are, COVID wouldn't go uh, after an Adler. Part of a Black Lives Matter march, or if you're celebrating Joe Biden. Or if you're an Adler in that house, it doesn't exist. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Those things are where, yeah, evidently. Hey, so. little Adler. But you'll still stay outside there. I will, we will, yes. Everybody Eric, else going to be inside and y'all going to be outside. <laughs> Do y'all have to eat outside? We have, uh, well, we'll figure it out. No, mostly, I just, I just, I just, I just act like. Are y'all making a turkey, you and Aaron and everything? We are making. I, I had to pick up a bunch of stuff from the grocery store. Because you're not, you don't know what you're doing as much as I'd hope. No, <laughs> right. no, no. I, I'm, I'm just going like I'll just take care of the baby and you know hit the punching bag, rev the motorcycle. I'll do all those cool things. <laughs> the only thing I've <laughs> heard, the make sure the, the dog, only thing make I sure heard, the dog stay in the, yeah. in the crap zone. Yeah. The yeah. only thing I heard, of, you know, absolutely positive that he's doing is moving the motorcycle. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we've heard. I'll probably move it to the and, front. And, and the punching bag. <laughs> Put it right out there. Let, mm-hmm. let, people let all the it. neighbors see how cool Show it is. what's up. <laughs> hey, hey, Aaron's dad, what are you thinking about doing? <laughs> Check his bike out. Hey, if you take I call that, it a bike. Hey, 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 hey father-in-law, if you, take, uh, if you take that motorcycle and that punching bag and you add the two, you know what it equals? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> the man. The man. The protector. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure that 
somebody's tried to, you know, thought about robbing my house before. They came around the back, saw the punch bag, saw the motorcycle, and left. There we go. <laughs> and just well, on out. Just call me Simply Safe Adler. <laughs> Whoa, wrong house. Wrong house. <laughs> Don't mess with this guy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but it's going to be good. Uh, Aaron's doing a couple side dishes. The main turkey's coming from the dad. That oh, helps. Oh, well played. Um, I got to get my master built fryer back in the situation. My, I left my fryer outside for like a whole year, and that you're not supposed to do that. Probably not. So I'm not, I don't have a fryer right now. I had to chunk my fryer. But are you going to fry turkey? Well, not this Did you leave year. Leave it out in the weather? Not this year. Not this year. Not. No, 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 not this year. <laughs> we'll Next right time. Back. Next time. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yeah, Happy Thanksgiving from everybody here in Rick and Bubba land, the entire show. Uh, as we all across the country and around the world, uh, we are doing the pre-Thanksgiving edition. But I think you've you've been with us before. We've promoted a show before. Might have even been there with you at one. We don't recall the details, but hey, let's say good to see you again. Mm-hmm. Well, it was clearly a memorable experience for you, so uh, <laughs> I know that I really leave my mark. <laughs> hey, happy Thanksgiving, guys! It's hey, great to be on with you today. Yeah, you too. And uh, you, this song now. Are are you? I heard Speedy talking to you in the break. Are you yeah. familiar with the gobble gobble song that we played for years? That that we got from a a listener. Um, are you familiar with it? I I am, and. Um, I'm I'm trying to figure out how to put this politely, but let's just say, you know, one of my goals in delivering this gobble gobble song to you and your listeners was to, um, I don't know, maybe put them out of their misery, <laughs> free uh, us, or just try to. We're back recapping vacation time. 22 minutes past. We'll get to some of your phone calls coming up bottom of the hour. As uh, we'll uh, reach out to you again. So also, while we were away, uh, Bubba, you know, we were staycationing, uh, trying to get a lot of stuff done. Uh, headed over to the ATL. Hotlanta. Uh, you know, thank uh, and, and once again, I, I was thankful. You know, anytime you set out to those you don't have never driven in Atlanta, um, it kind of goes back to what James Gregory used to say uh, about when he would fly when he wanted to catch up on his praying. Yeah, mm-hmm. praying uh, and drinking. Yeah, and uh, yep. you when you when you d- decide to drive in Atlanta, um, there were about three times that I realized you ever got had something you keep saying it out loud and you realize that the group probably says <laughs> we got it right. The number of times that I asked my son, how do you live here? Okay, you know, as we were such a mess. So we were going over to see Brooks Bigelow Burgess, and he was he was he had he had us a day plan. You know, he was going to take us to one of his favorite restaurants. Uh, he said, uh, and then we're going to go nostalgia because if y'all remember this, when when Brooks Bigelow Burgess was a little boy. He, you know, the, you know how your kids go through these little kicks. Mm-hmm. You know, Brody was more the superhero kick. Oh yeah, and you know, and then you know, you had uh, uh, Blake and 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 Brandy. They were into those Power Ranger things. Mm-hmm. So Brooks was zoo and animals. It was all about the zoo. Had to, we we were at the zoo. Hmm. If you wanted to get this kid fired up, take him to the zoo. So he <laughs> said. Uh, so I'm thinking for nostalgia. Of course, this made his mom happy. We'll go to Zoo Atlanta. And all I can think about is wow, because mm-hmm. it was a lot of walking again. Start, start, whatever. And then uh, we're going to, we're going to go to, I forget what else it was. And then Mama got involved, and Mama's was like, "Oh, I want to go to that art museum too." And you get to see me and Brooks look at each other, and I was like, "What <laughs> art museum?" She goes, "Oh, they got a good art museum here. I want to go there." <laughs> and I understand that they have some uh, a Monet originals. And I was like, "Well, think I didn't now." You, well, you, I didn't. Lisa paint. Uh, no, no, it was no, it, Monet. Oh. Uh, so anyway, um, <laughs> very famous French artist. Uh, so anyway, I was like, "Well, I didn't want to go till you told me that." Now, nah, man, yeah, man. Let's uh, go. And there's Bubba. Look, there's Brooks and I acting like that we're really into the works of Monet. Oh, I bet you uh, love how'd you do it, Rick? Uh, it was well, you know. I just I realized that vacation was just getting started, and I had a turkey hunt coming up on Monday. There you go. So, uh, but it, and you get like they'd be more it, protected than just hanging on yeah, the wall they, like they, at Meemaw's house. Yeah, and, and I'm like coming and throw stuff. Out. I'm like, how do people end up with these? So, uh, and then and then there was the other one. And and it was so funny to watch Brooks try to divert us on this one. 
And, and, my, and Sherry's like, oh, and y'all have a really good botanical gardens, too. And I bet I bet the tulips and everything are in bloom. Buddy. And I'm like, uh, wow, buddy, it's getting away from us. And, uh, <laughs> and so uh, so we headed over to, to Atlanta, and I was so thankful, again, for my wife. I don't know how I would have gotten there without her and uh, got through. But I will, I will say this. I had one of the biggest thank you very much for modern technologies in a long time. <laughs> So Sherry is looking. I don't remember which one we're using. Uh, I usually use Waze. She uses another one, and uh, it was the whatever the ones on Apple or whatever. And mm-hmm. and and all of a sudden, it was telling us to exit on the main deal. You know, if, if y'all know uh, Highway um, Interstate I twenty, it, it runs you know Atlanta uh, to to Birmingham and other places. But I mean that's that. And so it was telling us to get off like on some country exit about uh, Ranburn, mm. okay, whatever. Oh boy. And, and I'm like, well, what is it talking about? Because now sometimes they'll do those things and you won't trust it. And I said, I think we need to listen. I said, there's something yeah. we're missing. Yeah. Yep. Save 20 Yeah, that doesn't sound right. So we jumped off. As we're jumping off, we see them putting up signs, major crash ahead, yeah. oh. divert. Oh. Oh. You see 18-wheelers going, what are we doing? And, and so, oh, so, oh, so, that was a great so, oh boy! So it took us out Good into save. into the country, and we bypassed it completely. And that was a big hey. Yes, props to modern technology yeah. on that one. Oh, See a lot of farmland. Stuck. Saw a lot of farmland. A lot of barns. Went to went, went so far in the country. At one point, I thought we left all law and order. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, what exit um, did they throw you off? You remember? What muscadine was it? <laughs> yes, yes, it was. It, it, was, it, it was did either, that. It, to it was us. either muscadine where all the right fireworks stands and all that are. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then we went out in the middle of nowhere. Did you go right or left after you got off? I don't remember. Okay. I went right, then back left. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it did that to us on the way to a Braves game one time. Saved the day, and didn't it? Say it completely. Saved. And I thought, this is no they way. This is right. It. And all of a sudden, an hour or so later, I look up and we're at the front yeah. stadium. Did you end I'm up like, on Highway 78? Oh, 78? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. A lot of questions, Greg. Yeah. 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 Wow. Buddy. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know exactly so, where you're at. So anyway, you know, you, you realize <laughs> I when you, those I know the roads. Ah, yeah, you know, Taylor ah. coached over there. So anyway, <laughs> I'd forgotten, you know, when you decide to go to the zoo on the various spring breaks and on a nice spring day, uh-huh. guess what? Everybody else going oh, to. Oh, it's a great day for the zoo. Uh, and, uh, was it too windy or was it? Uh, no, the no, wind blew, blew them. Uh, I the wanted, ostriches blew I, them down. I wanted to see things that Zoo Atlanta offered that, that my zoo wouldn't offer. Okay. okay. And, of course, that's the pandas. Yeah. Oh, the you great know, pandas. Sling, yeah, ling, yeah, and ling, long. Yeah, 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 lots of pandas. Uh, right. and, China doesn't want those back. Uh, well, they do. And I nearly got into an argument with an animal person. Now, we sent a few back, didn't we? Yeah, we did. They were talking about sending these back. Why? And, and I said, I said, I don't know why we're giving our pandas back to China. Hello, and, then, and then all of a sudden, you know, Sherry and Brooks are like, Dad, why aren't you going there? I said, are we sending these back to China? <laughs> yeah, and, and, long, and, and before I know it, I'm holding panda court. Mm-hmm. And everybody's like, do you object to us? I said, yeah, we don't send if There are pandas, aren't they? No. And they're well, like, they're, 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 they're not our pandas. Yeah, no. I said, really. well, when they get, I'll tell you one thing, let's hold these pandas till they get this trade stuff worked out. There you go. <laughs> That's right. I said, they gave us, they gave us the Wuhan virus. We'll keep the pandas. <laughs> And then before I know it, I'm in a political debate, which I didn't intend. But right. well, you're but, loud. Right. Well, the stress of the trip back. back. Huh? The, tr- the stress of the trip back is right. bad enough. And mm-hmm. I got to see the big silverback. You know, their 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 gorilla oh. display. And, and, and he was like Harambe. Yeah, he was like sitting up there like he was, you know, the thinker. You know, in the okay. in the, yeah. uh, the the famous Rick, portrait. Did you make eye to eye contact with him? I did not. He beat his chest. Uh, so look at him mm. sitting there. And then uh, and oh, look at the head on yeah. that thing. Well, you know what he's thinking right there. Will hmm. Kirk Cousins pan out? <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Will he finally That's get the so Falcons good. where they're going? That's good. That's good. <laughs> that so birthday good boy one. dropped hey, the He's coming to the Falcons. <laughs> so, uh, so the I, cake talking. Yeah, so yeah. I got That's you. the cake. <laughs> Hit Zoo Atlanta. <laughs> Kirk Cousins. Hit uh, the High Museum of Art where the oh, Monet's you were. you love that. Uh, hit uh, Botanical Gardens and a garden it, party. Almost uh, as good. Real tired. <laughs> yeah, okay. Real tired. Rick, I figured that. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yeah, I was just trying to one up it. I don't know if I beat it or if it's or if it's still not the champion. Maybe your old one is the champion song. I don't know if you're gonna have a contest or what, but I'm just trying to do my part this Thanksgiving. I think it would really go like this. Your song becomes something joyful. That song remains mm. almost in the 
let me see if I can do it. It's like a dare. <laughs> you know, can, 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 yeah. can, I, can I hear it all the way? It's like a song type, bro. Gobble, gobble. Yeah, I, we won't do the whole thing, I, I promise you. But <laughs> Matthew, your, your, your video for your song is very funny. It looks like y'all had a fun time doing that. Yeah, what's the story? Where did this come from? <laughs> well, so I went to my director, and I, had, I said, I got one word, food fight. And uh, the the significance of that is, man, it's been a hard year for all the families. And so I sat down. I was writing this song, just kind of being goofy. Earlier this year, I wrote a song that kind of went viral called Quarantine Life. And and it made my family laugh. And so I thought, man, maybe maybe there's some other people who are tired of crying this year and might enjoy getting a laugh or a smile. Or even if it takes them laughing at me wearing a turkey costume, mm. I'm willing to do that for the people. So we did a fun music video. We had a little food fight and uh, my family all dressed up as turkeys. And man, we had such a great <laughs> time. But the significance of that is actually kind of heartfelt. My grandma she raised 10 kids, nine boys and one girl. Wow. And and one meal, one holiday meal, she said, pass the peas. And one of her rambunctious sons threw a pea in her glass of iced tea, which then started a whole mm. food fight, right? So every year since then, until grandma went home to be with Jesus, anytime somebody said, pass the peas, she instinctively covered her glass of iced tea with her hand. And so in the music video, the first piece of food that I throw at my wife are the peas. And I'm that sorry. was a little tip of the hat to grandma was home with jesus but you know we're just trying to laugh man it's been a hard year and and maybe this thanksgiving can uh people can smile hearing this song a lot of families been sending me videos of their little kids dancing and singing to the song so the good news is i can't go on tour just like all the other artists we're stuck at home but i can be booked for birthday parties so tell your listeners <laughs> <laughs> well you, you have to be putting yourself in coolest dad ever category because it's rare that dad says today we're dressing as turkeys and we're throwing food. Yeah. I mean, oh, what, that, that's what? a big point. That, right that's there. huge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But you know what? My daughters are getting to the age where I used to be able to say, Hey, dad needs you for a music video. And they're like, Oh, that's cool. Now I say, Hey, dad needs you for a music video. And they say, how much does it pay? <laughs> <laughs> you're right about that. So, uh, where does one get turkey suits? If you're in need yeah. of turkey suits yeah, for, for adults. <laughs> Well, yeah, and you're asking for a friend, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. That doesn't do with me. Hey, so here's the deal. This year is so weird that you can order turkey suits on Amazon and nobody's going to think you're weird, man. So I got, I dude, in the music video, there's six turkeys. I made my dad dress, dress as Buddy the Elf. We had Trump and Biden at the Thanksgiving table as a show of solidarity. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> unity, <laughs> unity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so actually, I, I, yeah, I think it was. I thought it was a turkey joke. So go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But uh, so yeah, you can order all that on Amazon, man. My my music video budget has never been lower, man. It was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> so now is uh, I, the the pilgrim? Is that your wife? Who's dressed as a pilgrim? <laughs> Yeah, man, she was so mad at me. She's like, why you got to make me look so homely? (laughs) But I'll tell you, the music video ends with her shoving a pie in my face. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, fellas, like the look of enjoyment in her eyes was scary. Like she kept asking to do another take. And (laughs) I think it's been a hard year for for everybody's marriages. But man, she let she let that that pie fly, and she had too good of a time doing yeah, it. Yeah, we just watched that. We've, we've got the video we're showing it right now. So that's in show notes today, too, the songs in show notes, if if you want to go see it. Now, I, I can't help but notice you have the guitar there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do. Yeah, and, and you, you have it there. Uh, have you been playing a lot on Zoom and things like that? I mean, you you're, let's face it. Let's be honest. You're just looking for a gig. <laughs> That's exactly right. I've been sitting by my computer just hoping you guys would call. <laughs> my life. This Matt- is my dream come true, man. It's a highlight of my Thanksgiving. <laughs> Matthew, where is home for you now? I live in Nashville, just uh, about 10 minutes from Music Row. And uh, I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad to be out of Chicago, Illinois right now. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, we live in Nashville and this is home. My wife worked in the music industry uh, w- that's how we met. She worked at Universal Records, where I first got my record deal. I was signed by the great uh, Tim Dubois and Tony Brown. Even though they were country legends, they signed me up. And I started my career behind the scenes as a songwriter. So I was writing songs. I had a song recorded by Rascal Flatts and like Billy Ray Cyrus and some...
the Patriot Mobile phone troll music is played. Uh, you can make your phone money count at patriotmobile.com slash Bubba. All lines available. All lines available. Speedy on the phones. At 866-WE-BE-BIG, we've hit a lot of vacation stories. We'll get into uh, more headlines that have happened since we are away coming up as the show moves forward. But you're going to transition us now, uh, and let's hear from you. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. 30 seconds a pop. At the end of 30 seconds, a bam. Your time on the program comes to a close. We'll get another caller. Preparewithbubba.com. Uh, look, we're all counting every single dollar. Uh, we're prioritizing where to spend, where to cut. Uh, if I, if you hear one thing I say today, listen to this. If you're going to scrimp on being prepared, uh, that ain't the place to do it because you're going to wish you didn't. Uh, look, something big is brewing. I mean, we're looking at the things going on in our country but one thing that we can think about is I don't know what really is ahead. You, you, there's some uneasiness about our world, our economy, our society. You need to be prepared. But we know for a fact that it's tornado season. Hello, Bubba. Yep. Uh, we know that hurricanes come. We know that floods come. Uh, and, and, and you need to be prepared. So go to preparewithbubba.com. Uh, you'll save big and have peace of mind knowing you're ready for anything that comes along. All right. Since 2008, my Patriot supplies help millions of American families prepare for the uncertainty of the future. Uh, right now, the three month emergency food kits, 22 food and drink varieties, so no food boredom, uh, over 2,000 calories a day, no starvation, sealed inside ultra durable four layer packaging. The ready hour meals last up to 25 years in storage. Yes. You also can use these for things like hunting and camping and spending time at the lake if you want to. Preparewithbubba.com will get you $200 off right now. Uh, And they'll ship it to you fast, and they'll ship it for free. So no matter why you would need these meals, you'll be prepared. And uh, self-reliance is critical. Preparewithbubba.com. Save $200 off a three-month food kit right now and get free shipping. Same link available for you at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. All right, to the phones we go. Uh, Let's go to Daniel in Atala. Trolling, trolling, trolling. Get them phones trolling. Here we come, phone trolling, phone trolling. Daniel, go ahead. Hi, guys. How's it going? First time caller here. Thank Thank you for the call, Monkey Grass. To you, my friend. Uh, I heard y'all talking about Watching that video earlier of that turkey trying to off that other turkey when it got shot. Oh yeah. I don't think people. I don't think people realize how dominant turkeys are. I actually had several turkeys I raised from from poults, and uh, one of them was got where he was showing real real dominant towards me. I'd go out and feed my cows, and he would like to eat that cow feed. And he'd mm. Yeah, I, I've oh, heard those spur you. Oh, they'll flog you. They'll flog you. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, but I watched them, boy, when they thought one was down. <laughs> you fed him some lead, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Huh? Judy in Cottondale, Alabama. Judy, go ahead. 30 seconds. Um, hey. I- Judy? Uh, work. Um, hey there. Good hey. morning. Hey, I'm sorry. Your hey, sales Judy. switch, but you're good now. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. Good morning to y'all. I was calling to ask what y'all thought about Donald Trump trying to sell Bibles. I was. I would love to hear y'all's thoughts on that. You know, I, I I'm was hang uh, up and listen. Okay, I was. Somebody asked me about that over the week. I don't know what they're talking about. I, I think <laughs> that. I think I did see something where it was. You know how different uh, pastors or men of God or you know, well-known people in the ministry will put out a study Bible that they have their commentary in. Uh, I've seen those, you know, you name them, they've all, they've all done them and they're they're very, very helpful. Uh, And, and for what I understood, he is trying to use one of these. He did not do the commentary. I'm sorry. Even though he was signing them. Yeah, it, it it was, um, I I don't know whose Bible it is, is who has the commentary on it. 
What says, God it? bless the USA. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, I know what it was. It, somehow Lee Greenwood's involved in this Bible. That's what it was. I knew there was somebody. All right, I take back the thing about ministers. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> it's because I've, I've been around Lee Greenwood, and he's not a minister. He loves America. But uh, So I don't really know the details. I'm not trying to avoid the question. Uh, there were people saying it made them feel strange because. Uh, well, I think it's the title, Make Heaven Great Again. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Good, you, good, you're, good. I might as well fire today. I, 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 well, dig, I, dig, I dig the energy. <laughs> uh, but, but anyway, um, I don't know enough about it. Uh, from what I'm gathering, you can buy these Bibles and it goes toward his election. Really? I, I mean, there's money being raised. I don't know. <laughs> But That's but it's weird. I'm but sorry. but yeah, it, it makes us feel yes. creepy. It does. You know what I when I think Bible, I think Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, I just I, mean, I just don't. And I you got Mexicano, <laughs> you got Donald Trump, <laughs> right? You know, when I first mm. heard it, let me tell you what I thought. But it didn't get any better now that I realize. <laughs> when I first heard it, I thought, please tell me there's not a Donald Trump commentary study Bible, and and, and I thought, well, he knows a little and, bit about everything. And just when I was feeling surely it's somebody else's, I was ready to hear. You know, uh, you know the, the. I know Adrian Rogers did sure. one. Uh, I know that uh, I've, oh, I've read Charles MacArthur. Stanley MacArthur's got a great one. Yeah. And I thought it was going to be one of those. Yeah. And then when I heard no Lee Greenwood's involved, I said that, they're not feeling any better. Mm-hmm. Not not feeling any better. Uh, but I'm the, proud. So I I don't know much about it, but yes, it makes us all feel no, creepy. I just good. watched everybody's uh, reaction in here, and there's a lot of eyes closed, shaking <laughs> of heads. Sorry. Yeah, it's it's strange. Uh, uh, boy, what what a presidential race we got. Yeah, uh, we Greg, three hundred and forty million people. Yeah, and we're it. we're down to we're Biden, down to two. We're down <laughs> to Biden and Trump again. Mike in Louisville. Uh, Mike, uh, welcome to the Rick and Bubba show. Go right ahead. If if you want to call us, lines are available for you too. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, um, I was just wondering how y'all how y'all feel about security at churches because like like i was telling him back in the day you you didn't have to have that and yeah. nowadays uh-huh. it's kind of wild and and there's 14 of us at our church we go through all the testing drug tests um shooting tests every six months um all that we go through every well what i would say though if you went back to the foundation of the church of acts i bet they had to have security yeah, uh, I, okay. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, it's, it's, if you heard a knock on that door, you're gonna find out how much you love Jesus today. Uh, I mean, well, is he saying some people don't think you should do that? No, I think he's thinking. It, it, does it feel it's sad same, that you have yeah. to have? Well, it? Well, yeah, it's sad. Yeah. Obviously, it's sad. Yeah. But l- look at it on a bigger scale. Right. We, you, any time you have a gathering of people, okay, right. you're gonna have to have security now. People have used our freedom against us. They have infiltrated the country. They live among us. Uh, some of them, we, we even let them serve in public office yep. and, uh, some of them don't like us and want to do, do us harm. And, you know, if it's a football game, if it's a church event, if it's a whatever, I think it's always good to have security. Well, and now though, you, you do see somebody even and said, there's been several church shootings, so you yeah. have to do it. Yeah. You have to have it. But I think that kind of, I'm yeah. not, I'm not surprised by it because, you know, this is something that, that Christ really wasn't silent on that. You know, when you decide to be a follower of Christ, you will eventually, if not immediately, become an enemy of society. And you will become an enemy of a sitting government, usually, at some point, uh, if you look back through the history of the church. So to me, it's it's not anything surprising. I mean, I'm not I'm like you. you. you know, I'm not, well, the, that, that doesn't make me happy, but it's, but it's not surprising. I'm not surprised by it. You, you're right in your statement. But the irony in that is the one thing that the church, okay, Christians, the true believers never wanted was the government mm. nope they they really don't want anything to do with that and what they're concerned with is post-death anyway right and the government has been an enemy of the church throughout history correct and it it really is not valid they have nothing to fear from the church no well the thing that always gets to them is if you get down to what the church really believes, and this is when you get into dictatorships and tyranny, which our government's turning into as well. When you get down to it, the government usually gets mad about this this statement. Oh, so Jesus is Lord. Right. Jesus is king. You really don't pledge any allegiance to us. Your allegiance is to him 
as the ultimate authority. So if we do something against him, you will be a problem. Yeah, we will. Well, you, but, but think I, about it. And we won't it. do it. I mean, we're yeah. not trying to right, overthrow, right, to right, your point. Right, right. There'll never be an attempt to overthrow it and replace you with a theocracy. Right. Uh, but we're not going to go well, along. some religions would. Well, yeah, but not yeah. Christianity, no. to your point. No. But, and, and really, think about it. If I am the government and say I'm not into it, whatever, wouldn't I want a society that doesn't lie, doesn't cheat, uh, believes that marriage is between a man and a woman for life till death do them part? And to be well, now, good citizens. Now, your government right now wasn't like that. Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, right, but yeah. but you, you would think that would create a stable society that anybody who is governing the, those yeah. people would want other than their their twisted, demented thing of, I want you to pledge your allegiance Correct. to me. And that's where it always runs aground. Yeah. They can't get past that. All right. I know we need to break. Can we come back? Because somebody here is saying he they have more information Sorry. on the Trump Bible. No, no. Uh, the point you just said we needed to talk about because of the other caller. But when you see somebody saying that somebody's father-in-law just ordered the Bible, yes. Would, would you on. like to would you Rick. like to know more about I'd that? Like to know. Okay, so because we don't know, we're, 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 we're not. I'm not really. I mean, our first reaction no, was what it was, and it probably fine. was was everybody's. <laughs> Very had a little fun with it. Does it? Now they do include John one, right? In that, in that, in there. <laughs> John two Corinthians. <laughs> I don't know. We'll be back. We'll take your phone calls. Uh, Nate, you hang on. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Scotty McCreary, some different country artists. And then uh, I got my own record deal. And most of my music is, is known in, in Christian music. But I still write songs for other artists and with other artists. In fact, I got a country song out this Christmas that I wrote with uh, Maddie and Tay, who's such a great group. And uh, and so it's been kind of a fun, you know, it's been a real blessing just to move to Nashville, be in a community of great artists and songwriters and for me to get to kind of dip my toes into different worlds. And and who would have thought it would take a song about turkey to get me on the Rick and Bubba show? (laughs) (laughs) Dreams come true, man. Dreams come true. But really, if you think about it, Matthew. (laughs) <laughs> and and you probably are, if if you know our history and you know some of our characteristics, someone probably would have said, "Now, if you want to get on the Rick and Bubba show, write a song about turkey, right. <laughs> food in general." <laughs> it's actually the way you get on the show. It, it, it's, it's, <laughs> Yeah, is that what you tell Garth Brooks? I don't know, man. <laughs> well, now, he wrote a song about country fried steak, and he got right on. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people Zach don't Brown, know. Zach Brown, little chicken fried. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we had heard. The food is the way to your heart. Yeah. Well, we tell that Zach Brown story all the time. They they were on the show. We heard chicken fried for years, fi- for five years, years before, before anybody else heard yeah. it. And you know how those funny moments this 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 actually happened, and now it's going to tie to to Turkey. See how we do this? This is why we're <laughs> still here. <laughs> so we we did a Rick and Bubba event uh, for many many years called Turkey Toss, and so like on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, uh, some years we did it the Wednesday before, but we we kind of used that as a backup day in case weather was an issue. Uh, and we have people throw frozen turkeys for in, distance for distance in giant parking lots, <laughs> and then we're out on the stage doing the show, and we usually have a band play or whatever. Well, we, we, they had played turkey toss. I mean, lit, picture Zach Brown Band on a stage Wait. with people throwing frozen turkeys as they uh. played. Picture that. So they hit big the last year they were scheduled to play at turkey toss, and they'd already done it once before. And <laughs> and chicken fried goes to number one. We're all really riding around one day, and we come in, we go, Dude, I just heard chicken fried on the radio. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, because I couldn't figure out what category they'd be put in. I didn't know if they were country enough to be country. And they certainly weren't pop music, you know, of the sure. time. They almost sounded a little Van Morrison like, and I'm like, who's going to play that? Mm. And uh, so it was kind of cool that the country music embraced them. So they get the number one song in the country. They were riding around in a van they called Oprah. Uh, that that Bubba and I think uh, had to help them with a the generator. Yeah, me and Greg got the air conditioner. Yeah, going, they get yeah. the air conditioner working it. Wow! And all of a sudden, Speedy calls and says, "We understand y'all have the number one song in the country. I guess we can forget." Y'all playing at Turkey Toss. <laughs> and to their credit, they said, absolutely not. We're said, coming. Yep. Said, we'll be there. We'll be there. Now, this time, a giant tour bus pulls up, you <laughs> yeah. know, for Turkey Toss. And it yeah. was freezing, Rick. It, it was cold. And they, oh. and, and they and got they out change, there. Number one. I got one question, Joe. Did they change the words? A little you, bit of turkey just a, fried. Yeah. <laughs> Get on a Friday night. No. Yeah, no. they got, how about they, so they went ahead and played Turkey Toss, even when they could have easily said, ah, you know, that's. We're that, out. Right, we're out. Man, that's class act right there. Yeah, it is. Hey, we want to come back and chat with you some more. We come back. Since you've got the guitar there, 
I mean, you want to fire it up? Yeah, we, we got to fire it up a little bit. Okay. Let's do it. All right, we'll come back. Matthew West is with us. Uh, gobble Gobble is his Thanksgiving song, but there's <laughs> there's so much more to Matthew West than Gobble Gobble. <laughs> and uh, all that information is in show notes. You can watch the video, which I think you'll love with the family for Thanksgiving. And you can also see all the information about uh, the great music that he has written and performed. MatthewWest.com. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. 866 We Be Big, Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, Team Rick and Bubba, all here. Uh, and we welcome back for a brand new hour. There's Bill Bubba Bussy. Hey, well, Rick, glad to be here. Honored and privileged. And thank all of you for spending a few hours with us each and every day. Yeah, we are spending time uh, and hanging out here and, and, and really talking Thanksgiving and his new Gobble Gobble song that a lot of you have liked. Some have asked for it to become the new tradition on the show versus the other Gobble Gobble song. Uh, Matthew West. I'm going so Matthew West going is uh, is with us, and we've been hanging out a little while if you're just now joining us, uh, and he did play uh, the Gobble Gobble song, and uh, we've been catching up, and uh, we he, he mentioned that he wrote a quarantine song, uh, and, you know, our very own Eddie Van Adler wrote one called COVID-19, You Ruin Everything, <laughs> uh, and uh, and that's, uh, that's on our new CD this year. So, I yeah, I, I think a lot of musicians and, and songwriters were, you know, you're, you're inspired by whatever situation you're in, uh, and you wrote this one from more of a, a, a kid's point of view of how it looks to them, the things they can't do. Is that what <laughs> it was kind of the, the, the motivation? Well, it, it was uh, my family and I discovered this new thing during uh, lockdown. It's called walking. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Nine minutes to the top of the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show. We're back. 866. We'd be big. Our number. Uh, we'll get to more of your phone calls uh, coming up now. Nate is an enterprise so we had a woman ask us how do we feel uh about uh, trump selling now we know god bless usa bibles um uh, for 59.99 as he faces mounting legal bills and we're hearing this is a lee greenwood bible um so He's proud to be an American. but nate said he can shed some light on it nate go ahead Hey, my father-in-law showed it to me last night, and uh, the the quality of the cover is very, very nice compared to the the standard uh, budget Bibles. That yeah. like it has a really good leather cover. It's soft. It it uh, flexes very, very nicely. And nothing in the Bible says Donald Trump. Um, there's there's the typical uh, introduction at the beginning for the authorized King James version, and then on the back of the Bible, like the back pages, they have uh, kind of like a small booklet where the there's a cover page of the booklet that has the God Bless the USA written by Lee Greenwood and it's signed by him. It's not an authentic signature. It's a copy of, of that page. It's all handwritten, but uh, it looks really nice. And then there's all the founding documents for what made our nation in there. So uh, okay, okay. it's just, okay. it's a really, really nice Bible. Um, I, I don't see any political motivation in there other than he's just promoting it. So do you know about the money? Because people are saying it's not going to his political campaign, but is it going toward, is he, he's definitely certainly not endorsing it for free. He might be. I wouldn't think he would be. Um, and, I don't know on that. Yeah. You know, on where the money is going. And uh, it, some are saying it's going toward all these mounting legal fees that he's having with the, you know, the left trying to put him in jail. Um, I don't know. Well, I think you, mm-hmm. I think with truth going public, mm-hmm. um, and I, the numbers I saw were pretty good on it. I mean, it went up like forty percent. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's got enough shares. If he sells it, he'll. I mean, it's oh, worth yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. So okay. Well, that well, did go public, didn't it? Didn't I read that? I, I heard it was, Bob. I, I think. But so what you're saying is okay, Donald Trump, read. and what I'm reading here is he is nothing but like a celebrity endorser. Endorser. Mm-hmm. Who's been hired by Lee Greenwood to endorse a Lee Greenwood themed God Bless America Bible, which the Bible itself is just a King James version of the Bible with historical American documents and the lyrics to God Bless America in it. 
<laughs> is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. It is Leave easy it to read with mm-hmm. large print okay. and a slim design that invites you to explore God's Word anytime, okay. anywhere. Well, and the cover made yeah. with hand-tooled saddle leather. No, Greg. You remember them cowboy <laughs> yes, books? I, I, do. Story? <laughs> I do, Greg. So, so mean, he once shot a man just for snoring. Yeah. So time life. Yeah. Donald Trump Each just says, life. "I'll bring awareness to this Bible." Uh, it is not a Donald Trump Bible, so that's incorrect. Uh, uh, it, well, because he's pitching it, it's going to get <laughs> oh, it's going to get coined. I got that. you. So that's probably what that is. And you're right, Bubba. Trump's Truth Social soars nearly forty percent on its first day of trading. So you're right mm-hmm. on that. I see that in here. And and with his <laughs> shares, I, I thought uh, he had. Uh, I saw somebody doing a story on that. They. Uh, da, 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 let's All see. right, here's Where's Lee in Montgomery. You think this is Lee Greenwood? I hope it, it is. is. Lee, welcome. I want to know about his basketball. Oh, what boy. he thinks about March Madness. <laughs> well, he he's intense about it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's why he's very passionate. <laughs> Go ahead, Lee. If tomorrow you decide to read the study Bible I just wrote, <laughs> you'll find strong divines are referenced in the headers and footnotes. I provided ample margins. For you to write down observations and all of the proceeds go to Trump's campaign donation. <laughs> I don't know how That's quick he excellent. put that together, but it had to be quick. That's Lee excellent. looking good. Uh, sure. uh, what what if you what Lee if you what if you were reading the Trump Bible? Mm. While wearing your Trump branded sneakers, right? Oh, I forgot about that. And those. you use the Trump trading cards as Bible markers in there. Tra- has his own well, trading cards. Here's what I'm wondering. About that. <laughs> no, all that is right, and they're lumping. <laughs> as Bubba's right, it's doing this in the story. They're lumping this into those items, but does it really belong in those somewhere? Items? Lee Greenwood's in it. Yeah, because this isn't really a Trump product. It, Trump's endorsing someone else. Somebody he, else wrote it. But he has. Well, there's no doubt about <laughs> that. Thank the Lord. Yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, but he. Uh, and uh, I'm but I, I don't know. It just feels. It just look. It, it, it feels. Oh, well it feels. It feels strange. It does, Rick. I Doggone mean, it. And then this thing with Biden mm-hmm. yesterday and the Observation Appreciation Day. That boy. Trans. It, it even upset Caitlyn Jenner. Easter. It, it even. Upset, did you say Caitlyn Jenner just Rick, Rick? Caitlyn Jenner, except for the fact <laughs> it's turned into a woman. Right. It, the brain has. I mean, he he he's conservative. He, I mean, it's unbelievable. They well, don't think that the trans uh, women should be able to compete with regular women. Well, what what I would think, two things came away. Now, people are saying this is something that's been going on since 2009, <clears throat> that March 31st is Trans Awareness Day or whatever. And, and that, that may be, and, and, and I want to make sure we, we say that. But there's two problems with it. A, why would you not be smarter or wiser, maybe a better word, than to make a big deal out of it when it fell on Easter. I would have just let it rest if I was in the conference don't double room. Down on somebody it. said, hey, we're going to make a big proclamation. Hey, let's don't make a proclamation. You know, it falls on Easter, too. There's a no win there. Let's just don't say anything. Let's just let. Now, they'd already said you couldn't put any religious phrases on the Easter eggs at the White House thing. Somebody told me that. Oh. So they were only going to deal with the bunny and the secular <laughs> side of Easter. They were trying, you know, they always try to have it both ways, which, you know, God's not a big fan of that. Uh, usually doesn't share his glory with, you know, bunnies mm-hmm. or the trans community. But, but, but what, why that was so poorly thought out, it didn't seem to make any sense. And then here's my second part. What in our current society are trans people being denied? Yeah. What awareness? I mean, they, they are get, they're, they're getting to do whatever they want to do. They're quite visible. Uh, I I don't remember the last time we showed a trans person no on anything. Yeah, not publicly. I don't. What, what plight? If they got a good surgeon, you don't even know. Something that's interesting. <laughs> right. 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 Give it to you, I mean, isn't that the thing? The, yeah. Something that's, they talk? that's interesting is that on the White House's English speaking social media, it's tons of transgender uh, visibility day stuff, but on their Spanish social media si- uh profiles there's no mention of it at all yeah i i don't understand to me if it's been around since 2009 then i would just have let it kept going if i'm a, a left leftist but i would have been smart enough to go there's no reason with november coming to cause some controversy with the christian community over this let's just let's just let it ride shouldn't they have put that day maybe on february 29 <laughs>
<laughs> That's adjustment. Apparently, you just put your phones and devices down and just walk and talk to each other. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Uh, 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 and so one of the things, you know, I'll tell you two things that we would do on those walks. One of them, we would joke and say, all right, what's one thing? If this was at the height of lockdown. What's one thing you could do if you could do it right now? And I thought they'd pick some big thing, like, let's go to the beach or something. And they were like, uh, I just want to go to Target and buy a bunch of crap. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and so I made it. So, and then the other thing we would do is we talk about, hey, what's one surprise blessing of the day? Like, what's one thing you're thankful for today that maybe you're surprised about? And those two things, those walks really changed our whole demeanor for the day. And as a dad, man, you're just trying to figure this out. Like, how do we, right. you know, not how do I take care of my team, my band, my crew, all my employees, but really, you know, how do I take care of the people inside the walls of my home? So we wound up just writing, I wrote this ode to 2020 from a dad's perspective, even just about all the things we miss. And, uh, you know, maybe this will uh, hit close to home for somebody listening right now. You ready for a little quarantine life? Let's, Let's hear it. Let's go. I wish that I could go to Target. It's been a few weeks. I'd spend a couple hours shopping and buy something I don't need. Last night I dreamed I went to Starbucks. I heard him say, welcome back. Then I woke up and drank a bad cup of coffee through a homemade mask, and now I'm sad. <laughs> quarantine life, quarantine life. Can't lose weight, but I'm losing my mind. Quarantine life, quarantine life. Killing that Corona with the Clorox wipe. It's lonely inside, but we're gonna survive this quarantine life quarantine life it ain't all good but it's all all right i think i might have had a birthday <laughs> but i don't know what month it is and on the days i take a shower yeah i consider that a win that's true that and true. every day my wife's complaining because they closed the salon and now she's looking like a stranger to me. I always thought she was a blonde. <laughs> oh, quarantine life, quarantine life. Friday night toilet paper shopping online. Quarantine life, quarantine life. Made the Tiger King famous overnight, yeah. <laughs> but it was gonna be fine. It's quarantine life, quarantine life. It ain't all good, but it's all all right now. I want to leave my house. I want to touch my face. I want to <laughs> hug my friends. I never thought I'd say. I want to go to work. I want to wear some pants. I want kids to go to school. I love them, but oh, man. I want to play a show doing what I love. I want to go to church and crack a barrel of brunch. I want to leave my house. I want to touch my face. But it's just another day in this quarantine life, quarantine life. Oh, I'm sick and tired of this quarantine life, quarantine life. Friday night toilet paper shopping online. <laughs> it's lonely inside, but we're gonna survive this quarantine life, quarantine life. It ain't all good, but it's all all right. Yeah, quarantine life. Oh, well, you uh, nailed it. You yeah. nailed it. Yeah, you were you have been in the quarantine life. <laughs> Made the Tiger King famous, man. That's a that's a tearjerker song, man. I'm working on a new album inspired by the year. That's going to be on that album. The album's called Dumpster Fire, so it's going to be in store. Uh, <laughs> I'm just I'm just Dumpster Fire. Well, we were laughing in in the break because we were asking uh, Matthew has when's the last time he did a concert, and then his first line was, "You talking about in front of people?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shoot, With man. The, yeah. I might be singing a Christmas song at the Opry here sometime this holiday. And I'm, I'm already nervous just by the thought of it. Cause it's like, man, being up on stage, it's crazy, man. You know, we're, we're out of all, us musicians, man, pray for us. We're out of routine, but, uh, <laughs> you know, but it comes back to you fast. You know, I mean, just even getting to talk to you guys today in my mind, what I'm thinking about as we're talking is that there's somebody out there listening at least they told me y'all had some listeners. Well, on. Well, we, yeah, we, <laughs> every now and then. Every now and then. Somebody finds us by accident. <laughs> quarantine <laughs> life. Quarantine Daddy, life. the radio won't change. That's right. Where are these guys? <laughs> yeah, you know, we usually, we usually have golden ticket seats in here. 
people watching right. in a live studio yeah. audience. Now we do have a guy outside in the mask looking through the window today right. yeah. for his 40th yeah. birthday. Yeah, and uh, but uh, happy birthday, sir. Yeah, mm. so we, we'll have to get you here and let you uh, play here in the studio when, when things get back to normal or somewhat normal. But mm-hmm. we were talking in the break, and I actually think think this shows a lot of humility because he could have just kept it to the people that were there. But Chris Tomlin. To your yeah. point, you know he did, he just got to play the Opry, and he was going to introduce this new Christmas song that he has, and then they start, and, and he doesn't know where to come in, <laughs> and 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 he just stops the band and says, "I'm so sorry, can we do this over?" And he looks at it and said, "I haven't performed in front of people in almost a year." <laughs> I mean, it, 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 you know, you think you somebody? How many times has he been on stage and sang and? But he got oh, up there and it felt weird. Mm-hmm. It does. I mean, you know, when you're, it's like a muscle, man. I mean, when you're when you're out of that. That routine, I mean, normally guys like us and Chris Tom, all the artists, like, you know, we're doing 80, 90, 100 shows in a year, and your communication, I mean, throughout the year, it just gets stronger, and your ability to sing, your voice gets stronger because you're used to – and so it's it's going to be an interesting thing. I have a feeling like a whole bunch of us, when when and, and when life goes back to normal, we'll be three so- three shows into our tour and calling the doctor to say <laughs> – we, our voices are tired, you know. Yeah. So. No, you're, you're right, but I'll tell you one thing. Whenever you guys are back out there, don't miss these early shows. I mean, yeah. I, I think yeah, you're going to yeah, see things real. you never saw before. <laughs> Six minutes past the hour. As uh, we work our way back from the Big Boy Studios uh, out on the bleeding edge of technology from Sweet Home, Alabama to the rest of the world, Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here. Coming to you on multiple platforms, live and archived uh, everywhere. Everybody say it. Hey. If you missed the recap uh, uh, from the vacation, we had a lot of those earlier in the program. Catch those on the archive today, either on our YouTube channel or our podcast channel. Welcome back, Bill Bubba Bus. Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for joining the little party we call Rick and Booba. We we have uh, been celebrating because we didn't get to celebrate Bubba's 60th birthday. We were on vacation and doing best of shows, but our first chance to celebrate today, and Edgar's brought us a great cake. Uh, and uh, we've been celebrating uh, Bubba turning 60. Uh, so, Bubba, I, I hate to drop this on you and Adler, uh, but I, you got the same email I did, and they're starting to come in. April the 8th, we have another eclipse. Uh, we've had two in seven years. Seven is a big biblical number. And here <laughs> come the end of timers. Okay, here. two eclipses in seven years. Okay, <laughs> you're right. Um, now this is this is what I heard. Now I, I'm going to give you. I, I was just looking in are the break. You, are, you at, know what you're about to do at two reports. Okay. okay. Um, of course, with the eclipse coming, the second time in seven years, a lot of interest is in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that will be next Monday, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, they uh, there are reports out there that the the eclipse in 2017, which we went to see, by the way, in mm-hmm. Nashville. Adler was with me. Yep. Remember that? And Adler's going to total darkness on this one, too, aren't you? I am, yes. You're taking Ruby? First father-daughter solo uh, plane travel. So, yeah, I've taken Ruby to Austin, taking a three-year-old on a plane by myself. Nice. Uh, according so, to, to – and I, I want to get back to that. You better hope the rapture comes. Yeah. Uh, according to Fox News – Fox 2 um, – they say that there are several online reports that say the path of the 2017 eclipse crossed in the, we're talking about the totality where it, it really, you know, shows out, went across seven cities named Salem, mm-hmm. supposedly echoing God's proclamation of peace seven times. Coming up next Monday, this eclipse will go across North America. This time it will cross seven cities named Nineveh. Uh Uh-oh. Allegedly, these two paths will converge over a city named Rapture. Mm -hmm. Now, people Uh, have gone and run uh, all of this. Uh Uh-oh. I don't know how your email has been. I attempted to listen to some video one guy sent me, and and it was a very kind guy. 
and I, I have, I, I, and I, but it, it was the guy was rolling off this stuff, but just so much of it. I tried to listen to it, Greg, coming to meet you on Saturday to go to Ron Greenwood's uh, mother's yeah. visitation. And it was just so much. You just couldn't handle I, 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 too just, much for the brain. He just hit me with so much yeah. information. I so, I, I, just but too those, much. Those, are, those are the basics that I've heard. What you okay. hit is the basics. Now, right. this story says. And it forms an X over America, like you said. An X. Because they said this. Where they the, cross is 2017. Right. It came from the Elon southwest Musk. to the northeast. And this one's this is the going northwest, right. southeast. Yeah. Yeah. I told y'all Elon um, Musk was in the final point. Yeah. You did. So good. you can see where this stirred everybody up. This story says that that there were only two towns named Nineveh which experienced a total eclipse. The other six were partial, and ac- according to this story, um, which that makes eight. That doesn't add up. Mm-hmm. Um, now, they say that these two, the, the X where they say this will cross is a place called Carbondale, Illinois. Okay, they're saying that's where the X is from these two. But now I go to another story, and it's called Eclipse2024.org, and they've got all the apps so you can track mm, it, sure. the glasses to look at it, and they sh- they list uh, the place, <clears throat> Rick, as Rapture, Illinois. Mm-hmm. I think that happened to their basketball team the other night. And mm-hmm. they, they actually have a simulation on here that will show you what it's going to look like in Rapture. Um, and it's, it's a, it, it, it's a, you know, you get the totality in this. Well, the guy that I was listening to as well, that, Greg, the, look at this that right the, for four the, minutes. Yeah. The very kind, um, listener wanted me to listen to too. He also look, makes look the point when it pops, when it lights up. Yeah. yeah. He, he makes the point about, you know, total darkness, um, uh, when Christ was on the mm. cross and that these, these, this totality is something God has been using uh, as signs, you know, since the fall. Um, but it, but if I'm not mistaken, the account about darkness was for three hours. Correct. And that would be not eclipse. Right. It doesn't match up. Right. Because the, the where we were before, we had about two minutes of it. Right. They say this one, because of the angle that's coming in time of day, you can get about four minutes mm-hmm. if you're in the totality. Oh, double totality. But it is <sighs> here is the other difference that I, I do know. We were in a low sunspot cycle on the last one. We're in a high sunspot cycle right now. So the fireworks coming off the sun, you could possibly see if you're in the totality, is will be much greater than it was before. Bubba, <laughs> you are intelligent. If, so, it's, if it's not cloudy, though, y'all. I yeah, may if it's be, cloudy, it's all, it's all for oh, naught anyway. Oh, I, may be, I'm, I may be flying to Austin mm. with a three-year-old for no reason. Correct. Like, right. Yeah, the, that's a the good cloud forecast. Cover about, looks terrible. I'm going to be in Huntsville, Texas, all weekend, and everybody has been—not everybody—but I've gotten several emails going, "Hey, Hounds, you need to keep the team an extra day, and y'all try to see this." Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need and to. Are you, you willing? Need, I mean, you need no, to. Oh, no way. We've it, missed too much class as it is. You need to. That's, everybody uh, keeps saying it. Everybody. I, I mean, I'm I, getting I email after this. email. I, I saw. I Are saw total eclipse when I was a kid. But we were never in the totality part of it. Yeah. You know, it was always some. And even if you're in 80, 90 percent of it, it's not the same as yeah. that total. The thing that we went to, Adler, and I think you, it, it was it was very, very weird to see that. <laughs> it's so cool. It is very cool, but it is weird when all the street lights start coming on and the dogs start barking and all the birds quit flying. And and it's uh, it's right there in the middle of the day. You're like, ooh. Kind it's a weird. sunset all around you. It's a 360 degree sunset. Yeah. It is wild. Are you uh, going to remind Ruby about it the rest of her life so she won't forget it? So you like finally, it was your time? I That's finally so explained it to her. I had like basketballs in my hands. Like here's the sun. She's here's never the moon. No, no. It's going to be cloudy. And she actually right. understands it now. And now it's going to be cloudy if I just shut up. It just been like, hey, we're having a fun, f- fun trip to go see friends. You know, it would be fine. <laughs> now fly. it's going to be incredibly disappointing. And this yeah. is probably what the good the news is though. The, the the Texas barbecue <laughs> in Austin is fantastic. Yeah, yes, so. we're going. It's a food trip. Yeah, Tex Mex trip yeah. I mean, that's funny that's the cloud uh, cover uh, that's a joking cl- cloud oh, cover okay. but that's oh, how it that feels <laughs> my goodness oh. so um do do we th- dare do we dare yeah, so the, the there road? is there is some oddity to this sure there is and some of it may be um exaggerated a little bit but 
according to that story, rapture is going to be in the totality of it. And let me throw this at you, too. We won't have another one in North America till 2033. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We've got Greg Young. We won't have another one at coast to coast in the U.S. till 2045. But if I'm not mistaken, the 33 one uh, will come right across our state. Really? If I'm not mistaken. If, now, that's a long I don't time think so. from it, now. It, well, it is. It, is it out? Have you seen a, a, a map? Because uh, one of them that was path. coming up later, maybe it's the 45. Rubio one, actually be able know. to remember that one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, I mean, it, like the, the the totality of it was like Demopolis, Alabama. I mean, okay. it, was, it was crazy. Oh, I don't remember wow. which one that is coming up. Yeah, maybe we can hunt. But it's in the future. I mean, that's a long time in the future. Uh, but Bubba, here is uh, an example of the difference between 99% totality and 100%. And yeah, it is a big line. deal. It's, oh, wow. It's wild, y'all. It really is. It's going to, I mean, I'm not going to be able to and see it. And it pops, but, you know. buddy. When it goes behind there, it lights yep. up everything around it. Fine. I'm going to miss it. It's fine. We'll be right back. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. <laughs> it's true and you're going to see you're going to see artists and musicians more excited than ever i mean true story it's like and this is you know every industry has been hit hard i do think that there's you know it's interesting how divided our country is because we we're all finding ourselves on some pretty level ground throughout this yeah. year too even though we're still so divided but you know i mean look my guitar player just had a he's got a one-year-old baby girl and he's got to go hang some drywall for his father-in-law. Why? Because exactly. that's what a Nashville musician does, man. Right. They work, and when they can't do the work they love to do, they do the work they have to do. And you know what? That's not just the music industry. I bet somebody listening right now is nodding their head going, you know what? That's been me right now. Like, one lane's closed. I got to go find another way to provide for me and my family. And and then we know that God provides, too. So when I think about what this year's meant for, for me and my family, for my team, my musicians, man, I, I got so many people who help me do what I do, and I'm and I love them so much, and uh, and so for their sake, even like, man, we hope and we pray that we'll be back on stage once again soon. Matthew, we just hope we don't see you down at the airport playing for tips. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. that was always so interesting to me when we'd fly into Nashville because you see you see those people and you go, wow, these people are really trying to make it, or they're headed back. You know, yeah. well, you know what we're going to do for you though, if that ever happens, God forbid. Yeah. Huh. Everybody, just keep moving out like we don't know it's him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rick, don't we know? Isn't that Matthew over there? <laughs> no, no, just keep moving. It's Gobble Gobble song, Daddy. <laughs> Here's my promise to you. If you ever see me at the airport playing for tips, I'll be wearing a turkey costume. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you touched on this on, on, on a, 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 a spiritual point, though. And it's really, I think, if you can get this mindset and something that, that – that God has been teaching me, and, and now we get about that teaching. You get in this situation, and you know that God is sovereign, okay? So you know that none of this caught him by surprise. Nobody ran in to the throne room and says, you're not going to believe what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> There's a pandemic. 2020 is out of control. And, and so what you have preach. to do, what you have to do, though, and, and this is what's helped me a lot through this, Lord, what are you trying to teach me? Mm. Yeah. So what are you mm. teaching? Because nobody teaches like the Lord. So what are the things that you're teaching right now? Because... I know that you allowed this because I know you could have stopped it. So uh, and so so what are you teaching us as as a macro as a country as yeah, a society as yeah. a world but also what are you teaching us individually in our own individual lives. Right. And, and w- when you start to ask that question, here's what becomes possible. You it, what becomes possible is you get to actually look back at 2020 as a year that made you better and stronger and wiser and your character was shaped because you started to look at it from what's possible here what could i be learning what could i be taught here how can i grow this year as opposed to going well let's just pretend 2020 never happened i mean look throughout history it's it's out of the ashes we always talk about rising up out of what out of good stuff no out of the ashes man and i think 2020 is the ashes and the reminder that i've loved this whole year is in John 16, 33. It yeah, says, baby. in this world, you will have trouble. Not Fear your mind. God, mm-hmm. God's not surprised. But he said, take heart, because I have overcome the world. And man, this that, you know we got so much to be thankful for today. And maybe this year is a year for us to not think as much about what we want, but to be thankful for what we have and uh, yep. and to ask what we can Preach learn it. along the way. Preach, Love it. Amen. That's right. Hey, hey, don't you say we don't have anything to be thankful for tomorrow. We got a lot to be thankful for. That's right. Huh? 
Matthew West. Thanks for being with us, buddy. Yeah. It was hey. my honor, man. Thank y'all so much. Uh, we enjoyed it, Matthew. Thank you. Thank you. And, and you're normally we're not this kind of northerners. Yeah. You know, this is. <laughs> you, you're fitting in. We thank God for your wife. <laughs> I'll send y'all some giblet gravy. <laughs> we'll be right back. See you, buddy. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Uh, and we have Jeff Dunham joining us now via Zoom on the Rick and Bubba Show. Jeff, welcome back. Ah, uh, thanks a bunch. You know, I was sitting there trying to remember the last time I was with you guys in studio was like, I don't know, in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. I think you were here. We went to lunch. We made you late for local TV. I think yeah. that's how it Oh, was. yeah. That's absolutely right. Yeah, I was late for, lo- uh, late for local TV, and I got kicked off, and they weren't happy. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but our lunch. Oh, was- I, I remember Walter having to beg forgiveness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but our lunch was fantastic. Let's remember yeah, we the were good la- we were having a good time. That's why you were late. We got carried away. Absolutely, I don't remember where it was, but I I loved that place. It was great. Yeah. But you know what's you know what's sad? I'm going to alienate myself from you guys now. My my wife has gone completely vegan. Oh come on, Jeff. <laughs> you could have left that out. What when you got tofu <laughs> turkey tomorrow? All right, folks, uh, Helmsy's on the phones right now. You can join us at 866-WE-BE-BIG. You can talk about the eclipse coming up on the 8th and all that's wrapped up in that. Uh, we mentioned uh, the deal, uh, the, some stories. We've talked vacation stories. If you have questions, uh, comments, uh, Helmsy's ready to take those at 866-WE-BE-BIG, uh, and we'll chat with you about it. Uh, a couple of things you need to be aware of coming up this weekend. Bubba will be in Birmingham, Hoover, Alabama. Uh, he'll be at the banquet roasting the Hoover, Alabama police chief, Chief Nick, uh, with uh, other uh, local folks that are um, that do what we do for a living and, and uh, local celebrities, and it'll be a blast. So if you want to be there with Bubba and the gang this, uh, this Saturday, find those details at rickandbubba.com under upcoming events. Two man churches on Saturday, too, one in Mobile, Alabama, West Mobile, Baptist with Andy Blanks, the other, and Laurel, Mississippi with Rich Wingo at Salem Heights Baptist Church uh, this Saturday as well. And you can find those at themanchurch.com under events. So I did I did have the guy, as if you guys have questions, and he was asking, uh, and, I, and I understand the intrigue about all this, even from a spiritual standpoint. It is interesting. And you and I in the last 30 years and three months have, have, have had to say this over and over again. You know, as people of faith, we still can never, ever, ever ignore that we were told by the very Jesus that is our Lord and who redeemed us that no one knows the day, the hour, only the Father. Now, when Jesus was saying that, he had, had, by his own will, removed some of his glory— but now is the glorified Jesus, so he, he would know as well now in the Trinity. So anybody that tells you when something's going to happen of the return of Christ, they're wrong because they don't know. Uh, and now he did say there would be birth pains and there would be signs in the heavens and, no, and, all, the that, season. Yeah, and yeah. all of that, all of that. But I had somebody ask me, the guy who emailed us, and I said, look, I, I'll, I'll listen to this video. I'll watch it. Uh, I'm not saying it's not important, it's not interesting, any of that. But honestly, as a follower of Jesus, it really won't change the way I already live my life. Jesus told me that I was to be his disciple, that I was to make disciples, that I needed to know enough about what he said and what the Word of God was that I could teach people to obey all that he commanded, and that I was to do that until he returned, or I died. That's how I live. And it, this doesn't change that in the least. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, because when I think about things like eclipses and all of that, I don't know about all of you, the thing that has broken my heart the most of you saying, I wish I had more time, was people who keep dying versus the rapture, yep. right? I, yep. mean, I mean, because we all, we're, all, we're all running out of time. As far as when we'll face the Lord, so he and he and when he gave all these different, when he was telling all these different analogies, teaching time after time after time, he is teaching us 
that the return of the Lord or our earthly death will be unexpected and that we should be doing what he told us to do and our true concern would be dying and facing the Lord or the Lord returning and we're not doing what he told us to do. Yep. He told us this over and over and over and over. So it took me a, a, a you know longer than I'm I, I'm embarrassed it, that it did. Uh, I I hate the parts of my life that I wasted not following those instructions, but I follow them now. So whatever happens on April eighth, and what happens in the next seven days, I'm just gonna keep doing what he told me to do. You know, emailers have also brought this up. Who in our founding fathers, as we settled this country, thought it was a good idea to name a town Nineveh? Right. <laughs> right. right. And how could there be that many right. other? Right. Yeah. I mean, somebody play a joke on yeah. somebody? Right. Well, let's let's hit this. Let's hit this too. So when you have somebody like this, this long video, and and it was very interesting, and and I didn't listen to all of it, so maybe he said that. But how many times? How many times have we done this show? that we come back on the air, and I'm just going to use this day because the one we have now, on April 9th, mm -hmm. and, we're, and we're all still here. The church has not been raptured. Christ has not come back. We're all still alive. Are these people like weathermen? They never admit they had the <laughs> forecast wrong? No. I, I mean, we've had, uh, Rick, keep in mind, never. we've had uh, Y2K. Remember, oh, yeah. we, we were going to oh, have yes. it with that. Oh, yeah. We've yeah. had various comets come over. You know, we had the, the purple shoe bunch, you know, yeah. kill themselves out Hellbop. in Texas. Hell yeah. bop. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, they're Hellbop. they're wrong. Like you said, over and over again, they're, they're their their record on this is horrible. So why do we follow their advice? Right. Well, and another thing I think we have to be very careful of, and a friend of mine or give them credibility. Right. And a friend of mine just texts me, and I and I think he's he's right. You got to also, and I'm not saying this is what's happening, so don't hear me saying that. Okay. Um, but there's also very plausible that the adversary loves this kind of stuff because if if if, if he can get us more focused on an eclipse. Versus that lunch you were going to have today and talk to somebody about Jesus, <laughs> or that that what you were going to do, and and you go, instead of spending the time talking about redemption, you're now obsessed with with this. And and if we were honest in our sin nature and our fallen state, Rick included, all of us are trying our best to get a heads up that maybe I can get my act together and, and mm -hmm. right the last minute if I can figure out what the timeline is. Mm -hmm. You know, slide but, in. Right. But Jesus said, don't do that. Like get your turn paper. He in. said, he said, I wouldn't let that be my strategy. <laughs> no. And so thief in the night, mm. uh, you know, the uh, twinkling of an eye. It sounds like, and Jesus kept saying, it sounds awfully unexpected. I don't feel that April 8th, it feels unexpected. <laughs> it feels like everybody's anticipating something because of all these so-called signs. And um, so I wouldn't I wouldn't put my eggs in the we're all going to be raptured April 8th basket based on Jesus telling us and us experiencing in our own lives how many times we've been told that was going to happen. <laughs> I'd just be ready to go today. Yeah. Did that video yeah. that you watched, Rick, um, mention the CERN, the world's largest, uh, what is it, Hadron Collider? Yeah, the particle accelerator. Sp part particle accelerator potentially opening up like a, you know, like a portal from no. hell or well, something like that. Well, they've been saying... I, I missed that one. Yeah. I missed been, that one. They, okay. they, they thought it was going to open up a black hole, mm. but they've been saying that since they were talking about building it. And right. they've, they've built it, they experiment with it, they've had some wonderful experiments and breakthroughs, no black hole. Are the clouds going to hide that too? Uh, it might, uh, right. but they are kicking it off uh, on uh, on April eighth as well. Yeah, so if you want to, probably going to rapture. I see the interest of this and how it can be <laughs> fascinating, and what you, been using and it. what y'all did was a fascinating. That's fine, <laughs> but don't don't take today and not do what Jesus told us to do. Worrying about all the stuff tied to an eclipse right. on the 8th. Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Now, some of us may die our earthly death before Tuesday or whatever day it is, whatever the night falls on. But I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that I feel very confident mm -hmm. that if the Lord allows me to continue to live my earthly death, I my mean, earthly life till then, and I don't pass away, I'm going to say the world is still going to be operating on April the 9th. I'm going to predict that all the predictions of the rapture on the 8th are incorrect. I think you're right. And I feel really strong about that. Yeah.
I feel pretty confident. <laughs> The CERN logo does have 666 in it hidden. Are you serious? That's something, that's something to think about, though. <laughs> Bubba, yeah, Bubba, you're 100% right, Rick. Bubba, now can I safely get down 65 today? Now yeah. That, yeah. Wow. That's, that, that, that's, that's a it little more dope. Maybe an 18-wheeler with Rapture written all over it out there. Bottom of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Well, yeah, uh, no, it, with the – okay, so – uh, this is just a mess with, you know, the family. Are we going to get with my in-laws who are older yeah. or, or, or are we not going to? It's just a mess. But let's just say we do like last year. So they they cook. We cook a turkey. And so half the people have it and half the other. And, and their family, the other side of this family split. Half of their family goes and half of them don't. So I'm just I'm just kind of caught in the middle. Did you know she was a vegan when you were dating her? No, she wasn't. Okay, see, that doesn't this. count. That does, see, that's a, see, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I was tricked. You were. <laughs> but, you know, uh, so what does everybody else eat? Do they still, I don't know. If, what, if you're vegan, what do you eat? Yeah, well, I could, uh, a vegan Thanksgiving is what? All the sides. That's Just it. Just the sides, okay. But y'all don't, have, yeah. y'all don't have dressing in California, right? Of course we have dressing. Do what you, does that mean? Well, I heard stuffing. Some of the northerners do stuffing. I, don't know about, I didn't know about California. Oh. Do you what's have it in a like in a you pl- a big platter? Whoa, you dip everything. it out or what? Stop everything. He said, "What's the difference? <laughs> Is this the day that you don't want to be on the show anymore?" Are you <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I just, I'm like the dog. Just fill up my plate and I'm happy. I don't know what I'm eating. It's stuffing and dressing. I, what's the difference? Oh, what is Jeff, it? Jeff. Oh well, my Okay, gosh. hold on a second. You I never know, had I dressing. You never. I had... know the answer. I know the answer. So stuffing comes in a pan. You make the stuffing in a pan. Is that right? No, no, that's, that's dressing. dressing. That's dressing. Oh hell! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dr- dressing is like you cut it almost like you're 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 uh, almost like you're cook- cutting a cake, a and casserole, you, a casserole kind of thing, it out. and you dip it out and put now, it. Now, some your places in Kentucky they put it in balls. I but that's know, a whole other. That's, that's a whole. That's another, another show. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> stuffing stuffing has like the croutons in it and and the pieces of the inside of the turkey. Mm. You know, dressing is is all uniform together like a casserole. It's, it's, okay, I I I I need to watch the Food Channel more often. I have <laughs> this is a, it is. This is a. And you know, in my Thanksgiving growing up, we just my mom and dad would just go to Luby's or Wyatt's cafeteria and pick it up and bring it home. Yeah, my yeah. dad, they didn't cook a turkey. They were lazy, lazy. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. it's a. Uh, you know, it, it's funny though. The thing about marriage, there's a scene and I can't think of the name of the movie. And my wife actually talked to me about it. Mm-hmm. yesterday as we were in uh, a bit of a disagreement about what we were going to have for dinner and I wasn't crazy about what one of the choices was and she said well, I, I want you to eat this with me and I said yeah I gotta be honest with you I don't I don't want it I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't I don't like this and she always reminds me we do this of this movie and I can't remember what it was but it was a vegan wife who turned vegan it's, it's your story mm-hmm. and so right. he, he's trying to talk to his daughter about marriage and he says I am sitting here right now and I'm eating a cheesecake Made completely of tofu, and, and look, and he goes, and he looks, and he says, and I don't like it, but I'm eating it. <laughs> you know, so yeah, you know what, you do, you do what you got to do. So okay, I will tell you what, I tell you what, she has come out with a line of chocolate chip, chocolate chunk cookies. There's the dark chocolate, there's the regular chocolate chip, and there's the oatmeal, mm. and they are completely, uh, it's a kit. You know, you, you're the mix. Yeah. I'm going to send you guys some, okay. and you have to honestly have somebody who knows how to bake bake them. Okay. They're easy in the oven. You mix it up. It's just the, it, all you do is add water and any kind of oil you want. You mix them up. You bake the dozen. And I'm telling you, if they don't hold up to any chocolate chip cookie I, that you have, I'll be greatly surprised. Okay. And you can't tell. They're, they're vegan, and they're also gluten-free. And so all kinds of people love them. And I'm like, ah, this is going to be horrible. She has perfected this recipe over four years, and now we're starting to sell them. And I, I, I'll send you guys a couple of bags, and you have to honestly tell me what you think. And okay. I, you're not going to hurt anybody. Oh, I will. Feet. No, I will tell you this. You know, we, <laughs> and we, I don't know what gluten is, but apparently it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I've been rooting for gluten. Yeah.
This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba. com slash Bubba. Uh-huh. I know. A lot of you got... I see them. You talk to me about them all the time. These Raycon Everyday Earbuds are fantastic. Uh, and uh, you know what's coming up uh, as we move through the spring? Mother's Day. Mm-hmm. It's not too early to be thinking about getting mom some of these uh, Everyday Earbuds from buyraycon.com slash Bubba. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of moms out there that sure would like some peace and quiet. Uh, and, and that's offered. These earbuds have, uh, you know, they, you can have the awareness mode if you want to know what's going on around you. Or if you just want to go off into your own little world and have the peace of listening to what you want to listen to and shut the outside world out, you can. Now, the beauty of the Raycon Everyday Earbuds is they are about half the price of the other uh, premium audio brands. And then we get you, for mom or for yourself, an additional... 20% off by going to buy, buyraycon.com slash Bubba. Buyraycon.com slash Bubba. Same link, too, at rickandbubba.com under sponsors. And we also get you free shipping. Uh, so go get these wonderful everyday earbuds uh, for the mothers on your list. Save that They'll like that you save money. All right, so buyraycon.com slash Bubba or rickandbubba.com. Click on the sponsors button. All right, so uh, we have Tim standing by in Tennessee. Uh, commenting on what we just talked about. Tim, go ahead. How are you, buddy? Yeah, you was talking about the city of Nineveh. Yeah. You know, God blessed them. So I'd, it'd be awesome to have a name after Nineveh because they repented and turned back to God. Yeah, but later in world history, guess what? They turned away from God again and he wiped them out. So, oh, okay. yeah, so oh. yeah, they, they, they had a moment uh, yeah, of, of stay. You You're know, right. And, you you and, may be right. I, mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess in the reading of the story, because Jonah didn't want to go to it and he hated them so much, right. it kind of has a negative connotation, I guess, at first thought. Well, but maybe on deeper uh, a deeper dive, you may be right, sir. Well, he, he did, you know, he hated. Or you may be right down the road. Really. Yeah, well, he, he hated those people. Right. Now, this is total uh, theories, but if you know the history of the time, a lot of people said, you know, the, the, the Ninevites, they did horrible, horrible things to people. And many people say that part of Jonah's, de- he despised them because they thought probably people that may have even been in his family are definitely people he knew had been tortured and brutally killed yeah. by them. And he wanted God to wipe them off the face of the earth. He did not want them to repent because he knew that if they repented, and he knew if he preached to them what God told him, they would repent. And he didn't want God to be gracious to them, uh, but uh, which is why we talked about many times on the show. You end the book of Jonah, and he's still mad. Uh, and uh, and 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 they did uh, they did repent, uh, but uh, but later in world history they went wicked again, as societies tend to do, mm-hmm. and not learn. And God did eventually wipe them off the face of the earth. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go to um, Linnell. Is that right in Birmingham? Yeah. Uh, 1047 WZZK. Linnell, go ahead. Um, I was calling concerning the eclipse. Mm-hmm. My my daughter lives in Kerrville, Texas, which has been deemed the best viewing area to be in to see the eclipse. And this little town of a little over 25,000 is expecting close to 500,000. Oh, so so they have been warned to buy their groceries and buy their gas before <laughs> next week to be prepared. Mm, <laughs> so the pumps will be empty yeah. when everybody gets there. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Look, you, and you throw some of this uh, prophecy th- folks in there, oh, you're going to have yeah. a – it's going to be a wild bunch right there. You show. know, it, it was – I remember when we went to Nashville um, – the number of people that had flown in, it, it was really incredible. I mean, it looked mm-hmm. like a, the Air Force was having a, you know, a private jet get together. I mean, it was just planes everywhere. It yeah. was odd seeing people tailgate outside of private jets. Was, yes. 
It's a little bit different of a tailgate than we were used to, yes. I think, Bubba. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that, yeah there, there was a plane from Michigan got out and started cooking out immediately. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, they had their act together. We also, <laughs> by the time when we were gone, this Baltimore Bridge thing. Mm. Wow. Mess. So That is so crazy, and the fact that we have such good video of it. I mean, there's so many cameras out there now, and when you have a big structure like that, you know they have a lot of cameras on it. But to be able to see that thing and that hit and that disaster, I mean, it was crazy. So, yeah, and what uh, Speedy was telling us, and I heard this too, so the ship realized it, it was out of control and it could not keep from hitting the bridge. They lost control of the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, takes it too long to stop. So they knew they were going to hit it, right? Mm -hmm. and, they, and that's or why. They, or they just knew they were out of control. They might hit it. Is that why they shut everything down ahead of time or tried Look to? Look at that, buddy. Look at that. I know they were saying that the uh, captain of the boat let out the May Day, which mm -hmm. meant uh, less people were on the bridge at the time, which yeah. helped. Less yeah. traffic. Yeah. Yeah, because I know the police tried to shut it down or tried to stop traffic, but you, you see a few cars go by uh, right at the very yeah. end. Here's a time lapse of the moments before. You can see the times going real Look quick up here. All the cars, trucks, semis going across. This bridge is, what, 1.6 mm. miles long? Oh, look at this, power Bubba. Loss. Here comes the ship. So yeah. there's power uh, loss number one, uh, and it's just a black ship. Just Is it just a dead in the water at this point? Mm. The power back comes on. back on. All this smoke comes out of the top, which is making people think that this is a hack, mm -hmm. a, a cyber attack, in right. which the boat was directed directly at the bridge. Um, I don't know about any of that, but um, I know that the black box on this boat's uh, data is missing two minutes, a two minute chunk. Mm -hmm. Is that right as well? Yeah. Uh, but man, look at that. That it's is a, a mile and a half of road just gone. And just how quick it went down. Yeah. And this bridge was, I think, in the 70s it was built or whatever. Some of the new modern bridges have what they call these dolphin. Uh, I guess, concrete um, protectors around the beams to where something will either be slowed, slowed down or they'll run ashore before they actually hit mm -hmm. a beam. Of course, this, these, this bridge was built, you know, before they started doing that. But, uh, yeah, it's just weird. He was, it was the 18 uh, times sped up uh, portion that he was just showing how it did take a hard ride. It was kind of weird how that happened. But, um but yeah, unfortunately, there's some crew members that were filling potholes on the bridge, uh, <laughs> construction workers that that lost their life. I think they found two of them, though, right? I don't know the status of of those, uh, but pretty sad stuff. And right now, there's a story we have in our show prep about how the crews are now starting to, uh, the divers are going in to try to um, get a lot of the wreckage and stuff, and they're also uh, trying to open up a temporary channel near Baltimore. Uh, so, because, you know, this is a, the other a boats huge port. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huge uh, hub. Like wow. uh, automakers and others are really use this. Mm. The Clyde. scale is just amazing. It really is. Stuff. Clyde out of Huntsville. Clyde, go ahead. Welcome to Rick and Bubba. Thank you. Uh, that's Clyde. Clyde. The eclipse got him. It did. Oh, no. Clyde. Glide to glide. I don't want to stay with Clyde. Are you? I wonder if he's still talking. He doesn't know that uh, we're not. We can't yeah, hear him. Can't, can't hear him. Farron out of Alabama. Farron, go ahead. I just got a question for Bubba. Yes, Do you sir. think this eclipse stuff's gonna mess up my crappie fishing for Monday? <laughs> you know, um, where are you fishing at? <laughs> Logan Martin. No. Probably will not affect you in the least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, if you're where it gets dark, it might get better for a minute. Do you, yeah. <laughs> how, how, all right how, how, do, how do the crappy respond to light and dark? what's well, the best time to catch don't, them? don't most fish like it to be a little shady yeah well how, how do crappy respond to 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 darkness versus light what's the best time of day to catch them i can do it all day long all night long it don't bother me <laughs> <laughs> i remember going by the bait shop with dad and getting live minnows and going out there and him putting us on crappie and let the magic begin and boy, that's a good eating fish too. Yes, it is. You talk about a, a good tasting fish. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, we'll come back, uh, Clyde. Sorry about you, buddy. I mean, we 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 had you lined up ready to go, but your cell fell out. We come back, March Madness, uh, the Final Four. The final, the final four. four are ready to go, and we'll discuss that uh, when we come back. Uh, if you want to catch the show some of the segments you might have missed. Don't forget there's daily archives. You can get those on our podcast channel or our YouTube channel. Never have to miss a minute of the show. We'll be right back. 
Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba.
We're back. Uh, Ten minutes to the top of the hour. Also, while we were away, March Madness. Of course, it's, I heard Helmsley mention this in the kickoff hour. It feels weird to talk about March Madness and everything that's about to happen in April. Uh, I guess April Madness uh, yeah. will be this weekend. This is it. It, it, you got the Final yeah. Four this Final weekend. Four. And then, how about this? The National Championship game on the day of the eclipse. Yes, baby. Uh, Watch it. How about that? <laughs> so, uh, the four uh, are Purdue, right? Yeah, Correct. Yeah. Connecticut. Mm-hmm. Correct. A road tide banner. Correct. Mm-hmm. Who else? North Carolina State. Yep. I was wanting to see if Rick could work through it. I was looking. Uh, you were doing so well. I, I didn't well, have it. Now, nope, Purdue and UConn both were number one seeds expected to be Rightly there. So. You just play yep. that out. Uh, Alabama was a fourth seed. A road tide. Uh, U- North Carolina State was an 11th. Is that right? Correct. 11th yes, sir. Yeah, they got hot. And uh, they all have their unique personalities, these teams, Rick. I don't know if they you really do. The Purdue team has a guy 7 4. Bring it. Zach Eady. You might as well not worry about shooting it in the lane because it's from a geometry standpoint, it's impossible mm-hmm. uh, with him standing there. Um, North Carolina State has an interesting player. Uh, it's DJ, what's his name? DJ Burns. DJ Burns. Mm-hmm. Rick, he Fun does not look like yeah. the atypical big man in basketball. He looks like he walked off the offensive line and just went to basketball practice and he doesn't fit the mold. He's, he he's he doesn't man. move uh, very well either, <laughs> but he's very smooth with layups and shooting and things of that nature. <laughs> he's, he's a big, big he's guy. He's a big fella. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is, right. he, he's a wide body, buddy. Look at him. Mm-hmm. Oh, he plays basketball? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for real. And really good. Yeah, but watch him in the paint when he gets to jumping around and pushing people. Man, he's a hoss in there. <laughs> he doesn't dunk a whole lot. He has a lot of finger rolls, a lot of high off the glass, a lot of well, think, jump back shots like that. I think dunking would take too much effort. Well, see, that's, that's the kind of stuff you get with him. Right yeah. there. He kind of backs you in and then fades away. Mm-hmm. Good, though. Look, number 30 ain't got a chance. I mean, that's tough to defend. Oh, it really is. Yeah. It really is. So, and then you got the with Purdue. You got Zach Eady, who yeah. just is seven four, and he's going. I mean, he doesn't even have to get a ladder to cut the nets when they win it. And UConn has been a favorite. They won it last year. It was last year, wasn't it? Yes. Years are running together. They were uh, quite a power. Dropped off a little bit. They appear to be back. Alabama shooting the three point shot. They can. They can. There's Rotate. no lead. There's no lead safe with Alabama because they can shoot their way yeah, back. Yeah, UConn is everybody and experts. I, I don't know mm-hmm. a whole lot, but I know they think it's going to be very difficult to beat UConn. And Purdue is one of the only. They think that's who has the most fighting chance on it. Hey, they they went on a 30-0 run against Tell Illinois. Me that. I, I, I mean, think about that a minute. That, we're, we're in a college basketball game in the Elite Eight, and a team goes 30-0. and 0. I mean, you don't even that's hear that nuts. little league. No. You know, that's and crazy. they've beat teams by 40, by 30. I think the average they're beating teams is like 27, 28 points. Of course, they haven't faced a tide it's crazy. Yet. Mm. Road tide. Well, and Alabama it, and Clemson was a good game. Uh, it, Alabama, was. It, it was just a – they were just bombing back and forth. It was and crazy. It was, I had somebody – Alabama was down, what, 13 at yeah. one point? But that's nothing, by the way. They should, no, yeah. I had somebody ask me yesterday, what, what do you think Dickie and Admire thinks about this? And I said, well, I know what he thinks. What I do. Now that Saban's got time to spend on other sports – he got the basketball team to the Final Four. <laughs> yeah. A road tied. Got his office. Yeah. He's doing all sports now. You heard? <laughs> hey, you heard the coach mention him. Road tied. <laughs> Saban's taking them to the Final Four. That's it. How about I didn't know this was Alabama's first time to the Final Four. Yeah. I thought they had sure been was. before. Sure. Yeah. They've time. been to the Elite Eight a couple times. It would have been Clemson's as well if they would have pulled it off. So mm-hmm. both of them were fighting for that Final Four honor for the first time. And mm-hmm. NC State hadn't been back since, I think, 83 when uh, Val- Val- Valvano was there. Yeah. So they, they pulled the upset over yeah. five slamma jamma oh, yeah, on the last that. shot of the game. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I remember that one. So do you think yeah, that if you are if you are a basketball expert, and certainly we are, but uh, <laughs> but but I'm just saying, um, if you're just looking, like Bubba said, so that everybody thinks it's going to come down to Purdue and Connecticut. Yeah. Well, yeah. they would on be paper. the favorite just on a paper. Road tag. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, if Alabama shoots like they did against Clemson, they beat anybody. Yeah, well, well, we'll we'll see how that goes. And uh, and and Helmsley also. Rick, no- they actually run the offense we dreamed of in L- in like junior high. Mm-hmm. They either shoot a three or a layup. There's there no you go. in between. No in between. <laughs> yeah. If you're in the middle, you just take it on back. Sure. Out and try your luck. <laughs> try it. And, and it's yeah. and it's funny because and I I was 
I was semi pulling for Alabama during that game, and Sears, their point guard, he'll fire it up from anywhere. And I got frustrated with him. And you'll get when you got guys that'll fire these threes up constantly. Well, all of a sudden you've missed six in a row, and now you're down by ten. But so quickly Sears makes like five or six in a row, and you're like okay with him now. You yeah, know, it's I, such a battle within with these guys. Yeah. I don't know which coach said this. Well, you know why, don't you? Because three's more than two. <laughs> I remember that somebody says, "Why do you like the three point shot so much?" And I forget what coach it was. He goes, "Well, three's more than two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you start running the number, and, th- and that's what that's what these kind of offenses right. are based off of. Right. That once you get proficient at shooting a three, and your team can shoot at a certain level, mm-hmm. the the numbers suggest that it's a much better chance to shoot that and, than than just do two. And and what's different about Purdue is they don't do that. They mm-hmm. say. We're going to give our big man, who's seven four, the ball every time, Just so and he's going to have he's going to have thirty five or forty a game. Mm-hmm. And if our supporting cast can get a few shots off and make some buckets, we'll have a good chance to win. And, and that's normally what happens. And that's that's wise. Yeah, you know, figure out what you got. Now, I also saw footage. Speaking of sports, that Mac Daddy was now he he doesn't miss a Jack State game, does he? No, he keeps the scoreboard for, yeah, yeah. for Jack State and that's, baseball. That's Helmsy's dad. If you yeah. if you don't know that, yeah. and. Uh, is he how is he with the team right now? He he's I think he uh wishes they were a little better. Um yeah. now he'll be vocal. But he will. <laughs> he will. That it so when we're done with practice and their play and I will go over there and watch a few innings, check in, I'll go upstairs and say hello to him and just kind of, you know, check in with the people, mm-hmm. make sure everything's okay at baseball. Mm-hmm. You know, Eli goes I know they now. like to hear from the women's tennis coach. Oh yes, of course. Always. <laughs> so, Any pointers? And so I, I go over there and I like to look at a few innings. Hey, let me tell you that stadium is is wonderful yeah. to watch a baseball yeah. game. Yeah. And so, uh, but I've noticed that when I go up there, dad'll make comments. He doesn't know he's loud as he is. Oh, you know, yeah. like things like, uh, imagine that another walk. So he says that out loud. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't think he realizes he does. Right, but he does. Right, and you don't know and, who could be around. Well, I mean, no, everybody's around. Like yeah. it's, uh, you got stats people. You got, right. uh, you've got the. I mean, Western Kentucky's uh, this weekend. Their radio guy was four chairs down. Oh boy. And so, uh, so he's up there in the action, and then in the booth next to him, you've got Eli Gold and Jim Case, former baseball coach. At Jacksonville, that is doing the TV broadcast. And so this weekend, I I flipped it on ESPN Plus. I was at the house Saturday, and I flipped it on. Well, Dad sits like right in the corner. I saw that. Yeah. And I guess if he moves at all, he's going to be in the TV shot when they open up the game. I love that. And uh, so I had a little fun with that, sending it to everybody. (laughs) And and Dad, by the way, is now, which it kind of caught me off guard. He's texting now. Really. But here's what's, what? Here's well, what's, maybe April eighth is something. Well, <laughs> here's what's funny about that Mark it. is I had this emergency number that he would only use to like it was a flip phone. He would only use that for emergencies. That was it. Like if you need to call mom or whatever, or, or somebody need to get in touch with him, he rarely even had it on. Well, I didn't realize that mom had swapped it to an iPhone. Oh boy! And so dating back, I'd had this number under her name. Not his because I, he's never going to call or answer. No, it's a waste of time. And so I didn't realize up until this weekend, I guess it was Friday, that he has been texting me random things since August. <clears throat> and I thought it was mom texting That's me. That's unbelievable. Things. And so uh-huh. some of these times you. where it would show up as her, and I, I'd just pick up the phone and I'd say, hey, just thought I'd call. It's easier. I'm driving. Well, mom probably thought I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> because, but, because I and she just we just have a conversation. But I thought in my head after I thought, well, she probably thinks yeah. I'm a nut job. Yeah, yeah. Hey, because mom, that, yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I thought the guy he killed us not getting hit right there. <laughs> but I like, thought I'd call and talk to you about it. And here's the weird part, and this this goes to show you the big heart, Mac Daddy heart. He does have a big heart. Is some of the things that he was sending me didn't sound like him. Uh oh, at all. Okay. And so that was another reason Dollar I reserve. thought, well, it's definitely mom. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's not definitely not him. That text was almost encouraging. Yeah. Well, there were there were some encouraging <laughs> texts going on. And I thought, well, that, well that, that can't be right. You had his phone at some point, right, Mom? She goes, no, I didn't even know this was going on. So, Mac Daddy's texting now. You see your relationship in a whole different way now. now but now I've texted him three times. He hadn't responded. So now I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the hour. If you leave us, have a great day. Catch the Rick and Bubba archives if you missed any of the show. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass 
the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, there is no other. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Waking on that blubber. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. 